Wait, he said, uh, that Ollie's record, Ian Evie's my brother, what's that about then? And I went, oh, I don't know, I, I, I heard, um, it was about someone who had a disabled brother and, um, he was lifting him in and out of a car or something and someone said, oh, do you want a hand? And he went, no, yeah, he's not heavy, he's my brother. I.e., mm -hmm. this isn't a burden for me. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. Carl, what did you say? Uh, I'd say. No, I'll tell you what he said. He went, well, that's ridiculous, he was still heavy. <laughs> and he <laughs> said, don't turn down help. <laughs> <laughs> Which, we were talking about that because a new feature we're starting about this time every week. Oh, yeah. Uh, Are we start about this time every week? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll do. Um, that song's got a good story. Okay. I mm, love, love it, snappy. Go on, go <laughs> on, on, go um, on. There's loads of songs out there, isn't there, with, uh, with songs that you couldn't fade out. When you hear them on the radio and that, you don't want anyone to talk over the start or the end. Uh, yeah. Because oh, but remember we did this one before with, um, Killing a Georgie by, um, Rod Stewart. Yeah. And I was a bit worried that it might have been a true story because mm. we were, you know, joking about it. And, uh, he went, oh, you know that Killing a Georgie? He went, I think it is a true story. I went, why? He went, I listened to it again. And Rod Stewart at the beginning says, this is a, uh, one of my best friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> it's genius. So there's loads of songs out there, and what I want to do, we want to get the audience involved in this, so mm. if you've got, like, a favourite song that's got a really good song. If you've got song, an audience. Like, yeah, go on. Uh, and they email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. And they say what the song is now. What would examples be then? Examples, ones that jump to mind straight away for me. Elvis, In the Ghetto. Yeah, good one. Brilliant. Andrew Gold, Lonely Boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't know that one. Eminem, Stan. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good one. You couldn't fade it out, could you? Because you go, well, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm saying. Not just any sort of pop song that keeps repeating itself and, you know, it's like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it skips or, you know what I mean, if you turn the radio off. Yeah. But I'm talking Ernie, about songs. Ernie, the fastest milk in the world. <laughs> Yeah, that is a good story. That is a good story. Oh. Yeah. Do you know that one? Yeah. Yeah, it's, well, it's a story, yeah. Ted from Teddington, he drove the baker's van. Well, oh. uh, So what, what have we got then? Have we got one- So we're gonna kick, kick it off today with, uh, Stevie Wonder, Living Just Enough for the City. Okay. And, uh, just, just briefly- Sum it up. Right, yeah. if, you if, you, if, if you are nipping out, maybe you're in the car and you're about to pull up somewhere and get out, what it's all about is, there's a lad who's, who's growing up in, like, America in some rough area, right? And, uh, he's trying his best to do well and get a job and everything, but because of where he's from, he's stopping him doing that, right? It's like how I grew up on an estate in Manchester, mm. I had to leave there and come to London to mm. do all right for myself, yeah. right? Uh, and it's his whole family and it's a tale of, like, how like his, how his man works dead hard and works loads of hours, but the kids are always well dressed and cleaned. It doesn't mean just because you haven't got a good job you let your house run down. Do yeah. you know what I mean? She's looking after it. The the sister, you know, she hasn't got new clothes, but they're always clean and her knees are clean. I think it says in one point. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Excellent clean uh, knees, always so, important. So will we give it a listen? Let, let Brilliant, it's it? a great well, track. I don't think Stevie can do it justice. <laughs> After that explanation, <laughs> right, so. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure oh, he's going to talk about it. like some sort of like backing tune to try and, uh, <laughs> try and pep it up a bit. Yeah. You have really locked it so, for socks off so it. Brilliant. It's, I'm, it's, I'm looking forward right, to the clean knees. It's a new feature. Uh, <laughs> what is it called again? The, the story in that song's really good. Here's Stevie Wonder. Right, songs with good stories that you can't fade out. Yeah. Uh, Although you can heavily edit them for yeah, them. Yeah, I noticed you didn't, you, you didn't play the, uh, the full version, which no, has obviously radio, got it. the complete story in. You've, um, you've just played a, uh... I haven't heard the other, that's all version. I know. Well, in the album version, uh, he, he gets goes abducted. to jail. He gets abducted as well, and he comes back with a big beard. Yeah, and he's no. covered in hair. No, yeah. he goes to, he gets, uh, arrested and goes to jail. But, uh, it's, he's, it's just, you know, it's just because he gets picked up because he's black. And he hasn't done anything wrong. There's a whole <laughs> other, there's a whole other sort one. of section. Maybe we should change this section. No, what we'll do, right? Abridged versions of songs. Yeah. No, next week we'll play the second bit and it'll be like, uh, like Star Wars or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, go on. Remember, remember last week we yeah. started a new feature called, yeah. uh, That Song's Got a Good Story in It. And, Brilliant. And I love your catchy titles. They're excellent. Right. And the idea was it was a story in yeah. a song which meant that if it was played on the radio you couldn't just, like, fade it out because you've got to have the full story. Yeah. Right. Well, last week we started the feature with Stevie Wonder. Uh, living for the city. Yeah. Right? But you played the version where it fades out. Yeah, I didn't know there was more to it. So, 
Steve told me what album it was on. Yeah. I've gone and got it. We've got the second half to that story. Yeah. This week. Yeah. So, you've got half the story. What was it? What had happened is, like, <laughs> the lad's living in Mississippi. There's not much going on there. <laughs> Mississippi. That, that's uh, someone off Rainbow's mum. Yeah. Um, living- what? Mississippi? Yeah. He- his dad's- was his- his mum was a cleaner. Yeah. Trying to get by. They didn't have a great life, but they still looked after the kids and yes. stuff. There's more to it than that. Have you got it ready? <laughs> There's more to it than okay. that! I, I should hope so! We'll probably do it at about half past three. So look okay. forward to that, the second it's half of Stevie Wonder's Living for the City, <laughs> a week later. <laughs> <laughs> I love a show that's carefully planned. <laughs> so listen, that, I- I'm- I- watched got, the tomato This isn't thing. a show. This isn't a show. This isn't a radio show. <laughs> this is- I don't know what this is. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> we, we just might as well start banging tambourines and uh, It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is rubbish. <laughs> right? But why- <laughs> Some people emailed in. <laughs> Put him in a wheelie bin! Went to Blackpool! <laughs> right? Um, some people emailed in the stories. Songs with stories in it. One of them was Babushka. And he went, what's that? And I went and asked Katie Bush, I went, what is it? I said, oh, it's about a woman who dresses up as another woman to introduce her husband. He went, they wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just dismissed it like that. Why do you think it would work? Because you'd- you'd know. I mean, say like- say like, um, right, Suzanne, right, who yeah. I go out with, yeah. right? She can see me from, <laughs> say if I'm coming down the high street, Yeah. she knows it's me by the way I walk. <laughs> right. So, just the fact that this woman went and put a wig on, there is no- <laughs> I know, but you're saying that she put a disguise on and he's yeah. like, oh, I fancy her, and he texts her out and he, he doesn't know it's his missus. It's just- <laughs> you're, not, you're not buying it. I mean, I'm- I'm controlling this Where is the flea? Where is the flea with your brain going to Glasgow? Perfect sense. <laughs> So right. last week, yeah, you were playing your feature, um, that song I shouldn't switch off because I'm enjoying the story. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, we played Living for the City, only you played the single mix, which yeah. doesn't have the entire second act, if yeah. you will. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> Carl, you've not heard it before. I've you're excited. Heard it before. You're excited um, to hear the second act because, as far as you're aware, there was a young guy, he's living with his family, they're fairly impoverished in Mississippi, but, you know, they're happy, they're getting on all right. Mm. But you're not even aware that he's, he's moving to the big city. No, it just fades out. Well, and that's I've, the I've, city in question. I mean, I've liked this song for, must be, you know, three or four years, mm. and I've always listened to the single version. I had no idea that I didn't know the full story. So, um... Yeah. It's not- I mean, it, I mean, and I know you- your- your attention to detail, you like to know the full story, like, where everything well, was- Well, the whole idea of the feature is to say, yeah. you know, you've got to yeah. listen where to the, the song. Where was the lead plate thing? Where was the lead plate thing? Where was the lead plate thing? That was like a few- few years where? back in- Where? In, was in, it? Where in was Britain, it? In Britain and Scotland. Yeah. It was a problem all over the world. They had to deal with it. <laughs> You're making it up now. Is so it something you saw in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. So anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, so the Lion so and the Witch, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. So far then, what what do we what did we learn in this story from We Stevie learned so far from Stevie that there's a young lad, he's as I say, he's, he's got a family, he's fairly happy, except they're very poor and they struggle to get by, but they're happy and they're doing it. Anyway, he's moving to the big city. Mm. Carl, this is the bit you didn't realise. Just play the track. Okay, here we go. So this is halfway through. This is now, halfway yeah. through the tune now. This is you've not heard this before, okay. have you? Let's okay. go. Sorry, I accidentally played an episode of Kojak. <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> we were gonna play a song. Carl, what did you make of that then? Yeah, what's happening there then? Eh? He, he, he was living with his family, he was fairly impoverished. He's moved bus, to the new- bus he was on, was it? Right, so- So, so what's your take on it, Carl? After hearing that, what I've worked out by it, the first part that we heard last week, uh, everything's alright, but it's not that great living in Mississippi, right? So he goes, oh, I'm gonna go to New York. There's plenty of work there. Yeah. They'll- they'll sort of accept me as, you know, and everything. So he goes there, and uh, the weird thing is, He's hardly, like, been in New York for a second. <laughs> he gets on a bus, all of a sudden some cop is arresting him. He's like, what's going on? And then he's got ten years. I mean, didn't- what well, you can't hear, because the levels are quite bad. I mean, I work with sound. I can't really hear what's going on. You're criticising Stevie Wonder, I'm sort of guessing that he didn't pay his bus fare or something. And, uh, <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> he got ten years for that. I, d I really don't know what was going on. Right. Oh. But you're not happy because obviously it's quite dangerous. Do, do you think Stevie Wonder left out some vital ingredients in the story in your in your education? Like where it was or <laughs> at least he got where it was. You can tell what year it is. It's uh, right in the mid seventies there, that funky that funky New York seventies sound. Alright. Yeah. You're pretty disappointed, aren't you? You're pretty what? worried. So what went on? Yeah. 
Well, you know, well, you know, you're aware, Carl, that that, because that shows quite a bad image of New York, it's quite an intolerant city, by all accounts, they arrested a guy. But it is quite Seemingly bad, for being black. That's, that's one song where you shouldn't go to New York, killing a Georgie Rod Stewart, that lad, he was doing all right in Scotland and said, I'm gonna go to the big city, he got done in. Yeah. Seems to me it's that you don't go there if you've- if you've got, like, problems, don't think New York's the answer. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you saying? That if you're- if you're a bit fed up with your life, but you got, you know, you live with your mum and she's, like, really nice and you got friends, yeah. and life's not that bad, yeah. don't- don't- don't go and have- don't go and be murdered or what? What are you saying? Don't go and be murdered, well, don't go and- Well, leave- leave- what, 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 go on. Leave home, but don't go to New York. Right. There's mm -hmm. other places. Where would you go? Sheffield? I don't know, but yeah. But so you, you're a little, you're a little mank lad, weren't you? You're in your, you're in your garden. We had your train set. Your brother blew up. There was a horse next door, and you thought, ah, oh, I want to go to London. So do you know what I mean? You've so, you're 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 like that. Yeah, but you're you're all, in many ways like the fella yeah, in well, that song, and like and like um, Georgie. No, because in many I, in many ways you are a bit like Georgie, aren't you? I had a car, so no, are you a little bit like Georgie in many no, ways? I didn't what? get on a bus. I had a car, so I wasn't gonna have the problem he had for a start. Right, but I mean, I suppose there's loads of things you can look at that story and take out of it. That's what I like about the feature, right? <laughs> what? Keep, him keep him hooked, right? Yeah, we've still got a uh, song with a story in it. Yeah. You don't want to play Babushka, do you? He doesn't like the idea of Babushka. I told him that as a story. Yeah. And, uh, he doesn't like it. A devil went down to Georgia, someone uh -huh. sent in. You know, he's looking for a soul to steal. Yeah. Doesn't like it. Won't you like that? Do you know the song? Not particularly. Right, it's a- it's a song about a lad who goes into a pub <laughs> on a, a normal night and- <laughs> <laughs> It's it. It's in, uh, sort of the deep south of America, yeah. New Orleans, something like that. It's, yeah. you know, it, it's not the old Kent Road. Right, okay. Okay, go on. He goes into a pub, there's yeah. a devil in there, oh. he's getting a bit cocky, he's had a bit to drink and he's saying, do you want to- uh, sort of gamble your soul away with me, and we'll see who's best at playing the violin. Yeah. And, uh, I think the lad wins in the end, but it- it's not real enough. Where's the one? Oh. <laughs> what, what? Not like the shadow that got fed up and started pushing kids off bikes? Rick, I think you're in referring Boston. to- to stuff that no one made sense of yeah, last week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't think well, you should okay, refer to okay, last okay, week. Let's, let's, let's... We're on to another feature. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this one is- <laughs> <laughs> Rick, were you not at the planning meeting? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Go on. This is, uh, that song's got a good story in it. Oh, is this that- oh, god. So tell us the rules. Yeah. Right, the rule is that it's songs that we play on the show every week, and there's a lot of music out that they just keep saying the same I'll thing I'll just tell- what is it? What's the, the song with the story with this week? With a week? good story. What's the song with the story this week? Just say it. It's Gene Pitney, 24 Hours from Tulsa. Oh, I'm really sorry about this. If you're an XFM listener, we gotta listen to this. Go on. Well, do you know what it's about? Yeah, isn't he getting- trying to get back to his girlfriend? Yeah, he's been working away. Um, yeah. lives in Tulsa, he's but he works quite far away. Right. And he's Would this back. save us having to listen to the song? Well, it's, it's always good to sort of- Hear the, hear the story before you hear the story. It's like, it's like, you <laughs> know- Sure. You, you I like this before a film. Yeah, no, go on, go you on. Might, you might read the book before you see the film, type thing. Yeah, so never in my case. <laughs> he's, he's working, he's working miles away, his missus is in, in Tulsa, he's driving back, yeah. And he can't wait. He's only about it. 24 hours away, and he's, I remember. He's, he's about 24 hours away, and yeah. he, uh, he's a little bit tired on the way home. He's thinking, oh, I don't want to look a mess for when me missus see, sees me. Mm. So he says, uh, right, I'll, uh, stay at a motel, get some energy and that, you know, for mm. when I, uh, see ya, have a Neutral shave. Rain bar. So he yeah. pulls over at a motel, yeah. and he's locking his car up, getting his suitcase out of the back. There's a woman in the car park. He's <sighs> like, oh, she's all right. She looks at him, he thinks- Sex FM 104.9. I don't think the suitcase in the boot is mentioned in the song. I think that's maybe a 12 inch mix or something, I've not heard that. <laughs> well basically, right? Oh, so no, I don't remember- I'll play the record, for Christ's sake, let them listen to it! I don't remember him saying, cool, she looks alright, <laughs> in the record. <laughs> yeah, well done. Yeah. 24 hours from Tulsa, Gene Pitney, song with a story. Hmm. You yeah. are quite upset by the, the lyrics of that song, aren't you? I just think it's a bit annoying that, um, <coughs> right, he, he loved this woman. Yeah. Um, everything's going fine, he's only 24 hours away from home, I don't know how- what sort of distance he's done, but, <laughs> but he can't wait to get home, <laughs> and all it took was some woman in the car park to sort of- <laughs> Give him the eye. <laughs> give him the eye. And every- all the- all the- all the, like, the good times he's had with his missus go out the window. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. That's the dangers of falling in love with a prostitute. 
<laughs> oh, God. What I like about it, though, I, is the fact that he's writing this to his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, talking about rubbing it in. Yeah. I was kissing her and getting off with her. We were having a did, wild didn't time. take as long I was as going Carl did explain it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but did, did you hear the very end? Because yeah. he's the loser, because he said, and he can never go home again. Yeah. yeah. So even though he's got this new girlfriend and that, yeah. and he can't see his old mates. He has falling in love with her. He can't see his old mates anymore, he said. He can't see his old mates anymore. Yeah. I say it's over and listen. I say song, uh, next time you stop at the Granada <laughs> services, <laughs> yeah. on the way back from, you know, Swansea, <laughs> I'd be say, careful. There was a song that was a bit like that by Jim Reeves, um, probably at about the same time a little bit before, right? It was just called, um, just a hundred miles from Mary Ann, right? Mm. And, um, it was him and his horse going through the snow, and he right. was turning. He stopped at a little chef. <laughs> no, yeah, he fancied another donkey. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, it's really sad. It's made me cry when I was little because he got there right, and he he wouldn't leave old Ben the horse, mm. and then they, and he dies in the snow, and then so he dies in the snow. <laughs> it's gone again. You've gone again. <laughs> that, I get the same way, teary eyed with uh, two little boys. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Why not? It's just. Do you think I'd leave you dying when there's room on this horse for two? Climb up here, Jack, we'll soon be flying back to the rank so blue. It was just like when they were playing with a little horse's head uh, when they were little, and he was a soldier and he helped him, and he returned the favour in a war, which to me is a bigger favour <laughs> than just letting him have a go on a hobby horse, but, uh, yeah. a lot, lot, lot braver, if you, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, last number one of the sixties as well. Christmas yeah. 1969. And it's, of course, well, based on truth, that. It's actually, that's a history lesson right there. It is based it on is. fact. It's yeah. a famous, famous it person. I think it was Cromwell. Winston Churchill and Cromwell. Yeah, yeah it's Winston Churchill and Cromwell. Cromwell and Winston Churchill. <laughs> yeah, they were both lived ages ago, so they lived at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Literally ages ago, so they lived at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's it then. Is it? Yeah. Were you listening to anything we were saying then, Carl? Did Did you understand any of that that me and Steve were just chatting just about then? That Rolf Harris uh, did a good song about right. somebody who's got to carry on a horse. Right, and what, what, what was about the stuff about Cromwell and Winston? Uh, what, what do you think that was about? I, I missed that. We're doing humour. We're doing a little bit of humour. It was a satire on you saying age is not being specific. Do you, um, did you, do you like that stuff we do? Yeah. <laughs> That's it then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just a cat looking out a window at a dead m a mouse or something. You can't- <laughs> you can go, come here! And it's just looking at the mouse it could eat. You, you wanna- you wanna press the buttons and finish, don't you? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Play a record or- No, that's it. It's ads and that's it. <laughs> okay. Go right. Goodbye. Well, what a wonderful ending. We've <laughs> <laughs> got anything lined up? Uh, yeah, we've got the song with the story in it. Come on, okay. Carl. Let's do something. Quick, play a record. Song with the story in it. But never mind that. They're listening. We, this, we discussed this off air. Come on. Play a record. Right. Play it. It's King's. Yeah. King's. It's a song with a good story in it. you got to listen to the words. <laughs> Carl, what was that? That was your little song that's with the story. Uh, that's another it? little feature that we do every Saturday. <laughs> uh, so song. make sure you tune in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a song that's got a good story in it. There's a lot of music about these what's days. What's that story that, about then? What's that, that story you about? You don't know what they're going on about. Whereas that, classic from the Kinks called Lola. Yeah, what's it about? Um, I'd listened to it for the first time properly this morning. Yeah. And what I've worked out from it is, is a fella who goes out for a normal Saturday night out, he's yeah. in Soho. Yeah. He's having a, he's having a Coca-Cola or whatever. And he, uh, yeah. he sees, he sees this woman and he can say, oh, she's all right. Yeah. Won't mind a bit of that. So he wanders over and he sort of gets talking to her. He looks at her and she's got a great figure, nice face and all that. Lovely knob. And, uh, and she speaks and he yeah. goes, oh, God. Got a bit of a bloke's a voice. Yeah. <laughs> Not a <laughs> yeah. bit of a voice like a bloke. But he thought, but, you know, that's her only down point. Sure. So yeah. he's, he dances around with her and I think he sits on his knee, I think he said. Yeah. Anyway, it turns out it's a fella. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, a sobering yeah. lesson. Yeah. Um, um, what do you take from that? Look, always sort of, if you, if you think you might be talking to, uh, a bloke in dress, just, just look at it, Adam, his sort of Adam's apple. Right. <laughs> okay. And he'll probably have a hairier arse than, than a woman. <laughs> yeah, I think you've gone too far away then, though. I think you've already, I think you're already, you're already getting too close. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> no, pun intended, definitely. There was a pun intended. Oh, was it? Alright, was it? Yes. Alright, alright. Okay, we well, don't be disgusting then. <laughs> no, you don't. I do like a good track. I don't like everything that comes out and everyone raves about. Yeah, you thought the iPod wasn't worth it because you, you you named the five tracks you'd like. What was it? It was In the Ghetto, Babushka, Living in the City. What was the other one? Uh, Killing a Georgie, and there was one other one or something, and you just only like songs with a story. Yeah, but then there's a reason to listen to it, isn't there? Well, no, only once. Going on. 
No, because you might forget the ending. Listen to it again. Yeah, anyway, you might, we, yeah. You've been listening to Babushka quite a lot, is that right? Because you've, you've really got into your head now, you're trying to decipher well, the when story. Well, when I've been sort of asking for songs with stories, people have texted and emailed in and whatever, and I've had, I've had a couple, you know, last time we did the show. So I've gone, oh, right, that sounds interesting. Uh, and Babushka, when I was away on holiday, I listened to it a few times because I liked the story. It's a good little story going on. You got some thoughts on it though, have you? Uh, a couple of questions. Well, we'll, we'll have a listen well, to let's it, have a uh, listen to the track and then I know you've got some queries you'd like to raise. It's just about a, f a woman in it who, uh, I don't know, she's ugly or something, aged badly, and her husband gets bored with her. Have a listen, see what you think. Right. XFM. <laughs> Listening to Magic 105.4, all the way back to 1979, Kate Bush Babushka. <laughs> so, um, we yet would like your suggestions for songs which have stories in them, which um, may entertain Carl. They could shoot to the top of his list. What do you think of that, Carl? That has a, has a, a little story there. Uh, I like it, but. So she she tests her husband, yeah, she writes him letters, she gets a letter back, it's a pseudonym, Babushka's her pseudonym, it's not a real name, but her real name is, uh, uh, Molly Strank <laughs> from Ealing, um, <laughs> and, uh, Eva responds, she goes, oh, he's, he's, he's you know, so, uh, in real terms, he's, he's having a bit of a, an illicit affair behind her back, because he doesn't know it's his wife, so he goes, oh, well, I'll take this a bit further, see how far I go. He turns up, she turns up, she, you know, he gets it on with her, and he's falling for her because she's acting like she used to act, you know. It's, yeah, it's, but was yeah. he just playing along with it? Was he like, no, 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 he's not, because they'd have said that in the song. They don't leave no, it Some people that, do that, don't they? Well, it wasn't. Kate Bush would have said, and by the way, he's playing along. She'd have given us a clue. He's not. He's falling for it. <laughs> she went long incognito. He thought it was another woman. But how much work can you do to yourself to, if, say, say, if, like, uh, <laughs> I, I wrote a letter to Suzanne, yeah. right? Saying, She'd uh, know it was you, it'd have egg stains on it, it'd be spelt wrong. No, but, and you'd but, you sign know, it Carl, crossed out, uh, Babushka. I wrote to, uh, I wouldn't pick Babushka. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a ridiculous name, that wouldn't have worked anyway. You just get a vision in your head of, I wouldn't have answered a letter from someone called Babushka. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the point. If Kate Bush is listening, please call in, because I'd love her to have a conversation <laughs> with you. I mean, that would be great. Forget Helmer. No, no, Helmer, you keep trying. The fat German, we want Kate Bush and the fat German. What I mean is, though... Now, wait a minute. What worries me is he didn't answer the last phone call. What if Kate Bush does for <laughs> well, if anyone knows, Kate Bush. If anyone knows Kate Bush, give her a call now. She's probably not listening. She's probably doing yoga or something, I imagine, or making a, a lentil soup, or, or maybe just, like, repotting some plants, right? But, or practicing piano, right? But if anyone knows Kate Bush, she's got a number, call her up now, say, tune into XFM, there's a little bald mank fella wants to talk to you about Babushka. Right? No, but, but how much... But how much? Don't worry, you'll, you'll, you'll get your chance. The phones are going. How that could be Kate Bush. Be Bush. You no, that could... not. Don't worry about it. It's that could Bush. be Kate Bush. Oh, oh, I know for a record. fact it isn't. Okay, okay. Uh, answer it. What about another feature we'd like doing? What? Song with a story. Okay, he's been working on this, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, hasn't he? He's yeah. like a producer, isn't he? Yeah. But with a uh, round head. Just, just, you know, I was saying that, you were saying I don't like music, but I'm saying I do if I can hear what they're singing about. And there's a reason to sort of listen so is to it. So, have you turned into 50's dad? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, but you know, it's like, it's nice to have a song where you go, you know, I can't turn it off because I need to know how it ends. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like <laughs> a mini- great. It's like, like a, a mini film. You can't film. sit through a film unless it's got a grotesque in it. He can watch the Elephant Man because he's getting a glimpse of this- he's waiting to see the bloke's face. That's all he's waiting for, right? And so, uh, three minutes is about as much as you can maintain his- uh, well, uh, well, last week we did, uh, Babushka. Yeah. Uh, you know, that woman dressing up, mm. sort of tricking her husband, then it sort of backfires and that. Mm. Um, don't know how it ended properly, I don't know if they split up or whatever. But this week, <laughs> this week... There's no follow-up. Kate Bush isn't now penning the, the, the sequel. Mm. Right, go on then, what's this thing? Pinball Wizard. Right, okay, what's the story there? Um, it's about this sort of deaf, dumb, blind kid. Right. Who's good at pinball. That's it. So I don't believe he would be good at pinball. But even if he is, it's a lot to give up, isn't it? Just for that. Well, he didn't give it up. No, but it's not like, it's not like, well, you can't even say to him, oh, you know, a lot of bad news and that, but you're good at pinball. 
It's just a bit, bit rubbish. I mean, does he even know he's playing pinball? <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it's not hard, it's just moving the thing, you know, just hitting the buttons hard. Yeah. It's not like, you know, if he was good at Pac-Man or something, you'd go, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but- Wouldn't scan, would it? <laughs> well, I mean, what, what were they thinking of? What were the Who thinking of when they wrote this? Well, let's have a listen to it. But, yeah. you see, now being the Pac-Man wizard- It kind of works. Yeah. He, um, he's deaf, dumb and blind, though. Yeah. That's pretty grim, isn't it? It's rubbish, isn't it? Well, don't say that. I think that's alright, I can't hear you. No, but it is, it is like, it's, it's just the worst, isn't it? I can't imagine what that would be like. It's pointless. I'm like being a tapeworm or something, isn't it? It's just- <laughs> No, no, but uh, what I'm saying is what sort of a life is that? It's, it's horrible. It is a bit like being one of those creatures deep in the ocean. Well, look, look can I just, can I just answer your questions? It must be terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, job done. But would you want a song about it and, you know, is this, is good at pinball? But it's not a real person, which, I mean, well, we, we were getting on to the realms of well, let's, people's let's disabilities, listen, but he is not a bloke that existed they sang a song about. Well, listen to it, anyway, let's- well, it's not a true story, I don't need to listen well, let's to have it. let's have a listen. Oh. Okay. Pimble Wizard, by The Who, a little song with a story there, about a little deaf, dumb and blind kid. Thoughts, Carl? I just, uh, it's depressing, like I say. Uh, I don't know why. Is he enjoying, is he enjoying playing the, the game? I don't know, let's get Pete Townsend on the phone. Carl, what are you talking about? I'm just trying to Listen to the lyrics, right? Deaf, don't like it, he can't hear, uh, no bows and bells, he can't see any flashing lights, he plays by sense of smell. Now, I'm pretty sure that isn't a scientific document Pete Townsend is reading out there when he wrote this song. He's making it up. But I d but the thing is, with all songs or stories, there's got to be a little bit of realism to it. What, do you know what I mean? Why, well, why bother putting money in it? Just let him hit, hit the buttons if he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's a fair point. <laughs> That's a fair point. That is a fair point. Yeah. That is great. Yeah, oh, well, I think you've made Daltrey and Entwistle and the whole crew look fool, like fools. Yeah, they won't get fooled again. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. We're supposed to do it. I mean, of all the thing, I mean, it is horrible. We're not like having a go. This is what I always worry about when we play. But at the end of the day, that's what he's singing about. So we're not having a go. No, but and it's not a real person. It doesn't really exist. I, I say again, it's a fictional person playing pinball and always getting a replay. Okay, this what? fella's saying that he's good at pinball. He's played from so to point. But there's this little deaf and blind kid. He can't believe it. He cannot believe it. If you had to lose something, Steve, right? Uh, it wouldn't be money. That's true enough. <laughs> your sight or your, uh, or your ears? What? That's too much, I can't decide. That's, uh, that's too painful. Sight or your ears? What about, what about you? <laughs> Intuitively it would be hearing, cos I, I couldn't- uh, no, no, I think it's gotta be sight for me. Yeah. Well, you're always together, so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, is it almost time? Well, I've got to ask Carl. I'm sorry, I've got to ask oh, Carl. Oh, sorry, go on. Ga Carl, what would you rather be, deaf or blind? <laughs> when did this question ever really come up? Uh, when is it, when the doctor goes, well, listen, um, you've got to ask, uh, well, we can operate, we can either lose your eyes or your ears. Yeah. It's up for you. This, this is never a decision that has to be made by anyone ever in life. But it, go on then, would it, you rather it, be, it, would you rather uh, be blind or deaf? It depends where you live. So. I'm not even sure these are PC terms, blind and deaf anymore. Would you rather use your sense of sight or sight of hearing? Depends. What, depends where you live. What do you mean it depends you where you live? Well, if, if, if say if, uh, say if you lived in, like, a barren sort of, you know, Africa or whatever. Right. right. Now to see, right? Sure. So, you could lose your, lose your sight. Sure. But, but if, if you, you lived li in a woman's locker room? Well, if you lived in- <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite noisy. Yeah, it's quite noisy. Well, well, <laughs> stop banging that door. Yeah, I'll have my sight. Leave yeah. hearing. But, yeah. if it, but if you live in like New York, low to see, but a little bit noisy. Sure. So. Perfect. That it's is a brilliant answer. <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> once again. We've got a song with a story. Yeah, doing that. What is it? Uh, I don't want to sort of tell you what it is yet. Because right. the song isn't that great, do you oh, know what I mean? Good. It's not a song oh, that, like, that, that's like an XFM song, but every time I hear it on, say, like, Magic or whatever, yeah. I have an argument- 105.4? Yeah. I have an argument with Suzanne that, you know, what I think it's about, 
And mm. she says, don't be stupid, it's not about that, and I'll say, no, it is. And so we're gonna decide who's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what song you're talking about, and I don't know what the argument is, but Suzanne's right. Definitely. No well, doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I'll listen, but I'm hoping that once people sort of listen to it again with my thoughts every well, time. Well, I this hear it song and... sums up what people should think of you. It's don't believe a word. All right, that's the sort of links I'm capable of. If that was a bag of Sony, then nothing. Carl, are we doing your uh, story with the song? Is that what you are doing? Yeah. Well, excited about it. Like last, what was it the other week? We did uh, Babushka. Did Babushka? Yeah. Um, pinball wizard, you said if he's deaf, don't and blind, he doesn't even know he's playing pinball, which is. I just <laughs> said, don't, don't go putting money in it. That's all I'm saying. Let him play pinball, but don't waste twenty p or whatever. <laughs> good point. <laughs> um, this week, right? Do you know, I was saying it is a good point, actually. It is a good point. Again, though, it wasn't a documentary. It was what? just. It's, it's not. Didn't really happen. Yeah. Well, do you know, I was saying sometimes I listen to song. I, I like a song to be. Obvious what it's saying. Pinball Wizard was a good song. You need a song to be obvious. Uh, in the ghetto, you know, it's a kid growing up and in all that rough yeah. area, gets killed for nicking cars and messing with guns and that. Uh, mm. living in the city, growing up in New York, rough area, how you cope with it and that, right? Mm. But they've got to be as simple as that, otherwise okay. I'm not that I've happy. got a brand new combine harvester. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll about like the key. machine. It's brand new. Yeah. It's brand new. But, it's even though it's new, he's willing to lend it out to other people. <laughs> No, but what I mean is, if you start trying to be clever, yeah. the, the story's lost on you, isn't it? Yeah. Not, 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 not necessarily me or Rick, but yeah, sure. Go on, on, on. Think we, we know what you mean. Go on. On primates, yeah. Well, this, <laughs> this song here, right, it's not an XFM <laughs> song and you'll probably hate the song, to be honest. Go on, what is it? What's the song? Yeah. It's Wonderful Tonight, right? Eric Clapton. Okay, it's alright. Right. It's, it's a, a, it's a, bit it's sort of a sort of bluesy here. sort of ballad from the- like seven is, yeah, it's all right. But I'm always arguing with Suzanne because every time I hear it, I'm getting different pictures in my head. Yeah. Of like what's going on, right? Okay. And I'm convinced it's about like this little cripple fella in a wheelchair, right? And he's knocking about with his wife. Mm. And we don't say cripple anymore, do we, Steve? Do we say cripple? I, I don't think we've said that since um seven is. I think it's the seven is when we stopped. All mm. right, little mm. just a little fella in a wheelchair then. Okay. Um. And the story is all sort of, uh, mm. you know, how he's, how he's being pushed about by his by Again, his no, that's not literally. By his wife, she's wheeling him about, what do you mean? He's wheeling him about, they go to a party, everyone sort of looks round and looks at him. What makes you think, what makes you think that he's in a wheelchair? What's the clues? What's the words? There's, there's loads of little things, it's like, uh, well, like I say, uh, something about his wife walking around with me. And all that, well, cause she is just pushing him about. But well, oh, 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 walking around. If someone said, "Oh, she was walking around with me," I'd think they were both walking around. There's a few. Th there's a few. But that's not. Well, well, there must be another. There must be a reason why you suddenly thought that fella's in a wheelchair. Right. Is my wife's walking around with me? Put on your makeup. And I feel alright. No, and, 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 and she's always saying, "Do you feel alright?" And that she's always <laughs> asking him how he is. <laughs> yeah, but she's uh, just. Just listen. Let me play, right? <laughs> <laughs> and try and try and picture the scene, right? But now I'm only thinking well, of a little fella well, in a wheelchair. Well, have a listen to it, oh. and, and you know, just just everything that's being said. Okay, understand why I'm thinking what I'm. Th that's what I'm picturing. But that doesn't mean it happened. You picture people that are half man, half moth. It doesn't mean it's possible. Do you know what I mean, Carl? What you what you think is usually not true. Suzanne is totally right. There is no reason. I have never ever thought that Eric Clapton was singing about a little fella in a wheelchair. And the one clue in that, that was two, isn't it? Are you all right? Well, let me say that, little cripple. Right, and uh, uh, I'll give her the car keys. Oh, well, why's oh, she driving? You've got any legs? Pushing him around and that. No, 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 no
Right, well, last week- Look at him, he's in a genuinely foul mood uh, no, He's actually rocking. Yeah. He's actually rocking like Rain Man as well. Last week we did, like you say, Eric Clapton. This is the section where we play a song with a story. I think every song, if it's a good song, it's got a story. You've got to listen from, to it, to, sort of, you know, from the start, mm. you get in the middle, you're going, oh, how's it gonna end and all that. Yeah. You wait another minute, you know the ending, you're happy. But, uh, but, the thing is, as Steve said, um, you know, sometimes you're disappointed with it, so it's not a good story. And as Steve said, I'm not sure you're finding what you need in a song for a story. Why don't you read a, bu uh, a book, a novel? If you want a really good story that engrosses you and kind of, why don't you read a book? You're not gonna get it from a, a pop no, song. There's no time for a book. Song's three and a half minutes. And that's it, is it? And that, that satisfied your... Well, yeah, it gets you thinking for a few minutes, then you move on. This then you one, stop thinking. Two <laughs> minutes fifty, this one, right? And it's brilliant. Go on, then. It's about, uh, last week we talked about the, the little cripple fella, right? Mm, this one- was, uh, As I say, I don't think we say cripple anymore, but go on. Alright, this one, someone emailed in saying, if you want a song about that, this is a song you want to listen to, right? Right. It's about this fella who, uh, basically something happened, I think he's in a wheelchair, right, mm. for some reason. Uh, you thought that last time. His wife, um, you know, likes going out. She doesn't take him, take him with her when, when she goes out. Right. Is um, it Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town? Yeah. Good, brilliant song. Well, we'll just play it then? Yeah, great song. Alright. You've painted up your lips and rolled and curled your tinted hair. For God's sakes, turn around. What do you mean? Oh, it's just, uh, it's a good story. It starts off well and night, you're feeling yeah. sorry for him, but then he says, where's my gun? Yeah. Cause well, she's a slut. Why? Because she's going off. Yeah, but what, what does, what does he expect her to do? What? Just cause it, it, he paralyzes his legs fighting for his country, presumably in Vietnam War, says that crazy Asian war. So he's gone, he's fought for his country, he's taken a bullet, he's come home, he can't walk, he should be a hero, and then he, his wife's going out putting it about downtown. Why do I never meet women like Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> it's the start of a new strand in the show, a new quiz, a new competition to replace Rockbusters. Now that's quite a tall order, but yeah. what have you done? Right, like you said, right, if you've only just tuned in, what it is, I took, and I'll be taking, a well-known saying every week from the show, something that crops up a lot. Uh, first one that sprang to mind was... There's a little gay fella standing next to me in the urinal? That's next week. Okay. This week... There's this airy Chinese kid, right? Yeah. That's cropped up quite a lot. Sweeping the nation. Right. So what I've done, I've got five songs. Yeah. And I've edited them together to make that saying. You've got words you've, f from songs where any part of that sentence occurs yeah. to recreate it. Yeah. Now, what do they need to do? Do they need to say what the song is? Just the five songs? I mean, I, I was going to say song and artist, but if you want, just the song. So five, there's five things there, and if someone doesn't get all five, it's still worth emailing in because yes. we might give it to the one who's got the most and then, yeah. uh, Can I suggest, uh, we go for artist rather than song, only because sometimes it's quite tricky to get a song title, sometimes it's more, obs it's very odd or it's not quite what you think it is, so maybe artist is a, is an easier one. Do you, are you happy with that, Carl? It's your competition. Right? I mean, Steve always does this whenever I come up with an idea. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure it's just the best it can yeah, be, Carl. Yeah. Yeah, no, he came up with a few game shows and Steve was going, no, it's no good. And Carl said to me, he said, it's the one the office ever got on telly. Yeah, but, well, we shall see how cheap his chimps plays out, but yeah. frankly, the fact that- <laughs> The fact that you said to me, Steve, I've come up with the best game show ever, it's called Cheapest Chimps, what's the idea? I don't know, I just like the name. Uh, it's something to do with chimps. I thought, well, I'm not sure that's the best- the best game show ever. And well, what was I the th other one you came up I with that you told me I think a few people will be disagreeing with him, Carl. I think people will say that Cheapest Chimps could be the best game show ever. You know- when I was at school, people like you, I really didn't like. You're a stirrer, Gervais. He flits, doesn't he, from one side to the next, Carl. The one thing, we may argue, mate, but at least we're consistent. Ricky Gervais flipping from one side to the other. One day he's Carl, on Carl's side. When was the last time Steve wrestled you to the ground and got you in a leg clamp? No, you're right. Never. What, is, is that supposed to be a good thing? Well, did you see us? Yeah, I saw you struggling in the- in Carl's office earlier. He was punching my legs to release me. We were on the floor. And I was squeezing him with my mighty legs, wasn't I, Carl? Right. It was like, I imagine that's what a crab feels like when an octopus has got it. <laughs> we were playing that, weren't we? So anyway... <laughs> 
So, <laughs> I'll play you this clip now. It's ten seconds long. We'll play it a couple of times because you'll need to take it in. Mm -hmm. Uh, so here it is then. Uh, what are we saying? We're saying artists? Let's go with artists. Artists. So email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Name the fa five artists it has taken to make up the saying, Give there's that email address Chinese again. kid. Give that email address again. ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. There's this right. airy Chinese kid. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> play it again. Let's play it again. There we go. <laughs> I think you better play it once more. Uh, I've got. I've got. I've Have you got, got them all? Yeah. That's nice work. There we go. I can just go. remind you now that the prizes include a uh, Red Dwarf DVD, Marion and Jeff, the first series of that on VHS, uh, a Live Forever Britpop CD, and also the very best of Leb Ze Led Zeppelin. Let's play one of those actually while we're here. Brilliant. Rock and roll. and what is he to you. We have not had any successful answers on your quiz, Carl. We've had people who've got what you get a maximum you put of four. A duck in a microwave. Yeah, yeah. Bill with us. Nice. All right. Cheers. Um, and uh, th so I'm not talking about I'm not talking about um, cheapest chimps. That that's safe. That's, that's going to run that's, and run. Yeah, that I that is going to run and that's run. That's really got legs. Uh, we, I'm going to check the press Monday. I can only assume it's a triumph. <laughs> exactly, another Pilkington triumph. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give the prize, if you don't mind, Carl, to Karen and Jeff Gillian, because they're the only one that got, they were the only couple that got uh, the second answer, which was very, very good. But tricky. they got four today. But they only got four the right. four is the top answer, so should we give so the answers play it, now? Carl, and then tell us who each one is. Right. <laughs> So there you go. I didn't know the second one. There's but the Sari Chinese kid. So the first one, the last. Last. There she goes. Right. That's George Harrison. No. That's Philip Bailey. And that's Deacon Blue. Right. So it was it was the Lars. Yeah. What's the second one? Strokes. Oof, that was very tricky. That is hard. George Harrison for Ari. Hard. That's all I could get. It was Ari. Uh, Ari Christie. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, Chinese Phil Bailey. Chinese uh -huh. War is. Yeah. And Deacon Blue, Real Gone Kid. Real Gone Kid, yeah. There's this airy Chinese kid. Very, yeah. very hard. I love the fact that the normal bit of that, like, the normal bit is like the well known phrase, there's this airy <laughs> Chinese yeah, kid. Yeah, exactly. Like, nothing happened there. That's normal. <laughs> there's this airy Chinese kid. As a phrase that often. In fact, you're right. We must have said that phrase 20 times today. <laughs> what? When was the last time? That was said twenty times. Never. I don't think it's ever been said anywhere. There's this airy Chinese kid. I don't. I mean, even in China. I don't think it's that worse. Very rare. Definitely not said in China. <laughs> uh, songs a phrase. Uh, what it is? Songs a phrase. Go we, on. We took a phrase from the show last week. It was there's this airy Chinese kid, right? Yeah. Today we're going back to the good old line of, uh, about you never see an old man eating a Twix. Sure. Right? Uh, how long is that? No. You'll never see an old man eating a Twix. You'll never see an old man eating a Twix. It's not as many as you think, though. It's not that many. Well, how is it not that many? Right, well, first of all, anyway, don't worry about that. I think there's about five, I think. Hang on a minute. Oh, God. Why do we leave him alone to do this, I don't Steve? understand. Do you know what I mean? He it's like, I'll tell you what, we were flying six, them. six different songs. Six different songs! That's a lot to get, Carl. But what happened is, I couldn't find a song with Twix, so we've changed the chocolate. Oh, this is rubbish. <laughs> We're not doing it. We're not doing it. No, oh, you've got to be punished. We're not doing this. Do it next week. No, like no, 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 shut up, Carl. No, uh, well, just no, 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 no. We're he's not put doing a lot it. of effort in. So what? You're right. He's got to do it right. He's got to do it right. No. There's too many. We said too many. It's not. He's changed the thing. It's not a one of those. It's ridiculous. No, it's it's only pointless. Rick. If only his parents had spoken like that to him sometimes <laughs> in the past. Do you know what I mean? We wouldn't right. in this discussion. You're not there. doing oh, it. Come on. No. We're not doing it, Steve. What, have you, uh, what do you think? What I'll tell you, we've got the prizes, but yeah. I'm not even going to bother giving. I'm not even oh, going to no, bother. No, I, I think we'll just share no. them out amongst um, right, um, homeless. Uh, absolutely. No, no. There's, there's troubles in the world, and I'm not going to let you faff around doing nonsense like that. Oh, well, it's ridiculous. Well, let's, let's do. Carl, 
The big question, as we know at the moment, is whether we're gonna let you do songs of phrase or not. Rick, I should tell you now, mad. there has been a flood of- oh no there hasn't. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was thinking there'd been a flood of emails, but it was people agreeing with you, Rick. I know I know Tony Blair has been trying to get through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, um, no, I'm just checking the emails. No, there's there's absolutely nothing supporting so you, Carl. No one gives a side either way about. No, well, that, no, that's not fair. There was there were a couple of phone calls, weren't there? One was the guy saying you should. I think the other one was you, Carl. Was it phoning from the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Can we so, do it? Can we do it? Right. Uh, no. If you don't like it, we won't do it next week. But, but, you've, but, but I've made it. I don't know what. I don't know why you did that. I we I thought of uh, lots of stuff that you could do. You chose one where you have to have ten words and six songs to choose. You haven't got Twix. I don't know what you've substituted Twix for. I okay, I mean, I, I've got to say now. I'm going to sit on the fence. So I, I'm quite intrigued. Okay, right. What, to what, hear it. what have you substituted Twix for? Well, you, I can't well, tell yeah. you. Because you sure. can. No, I can't no. because people have to listen to it and work out. Alright, let's just no. hear it. Let's hear it then. No, 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 no. They, ha they know what- they have to know what the word is, they have to tell what the song is or the- or the artist. I prefer just to play it. No! You've got to tell them what it is because they might not even know what word they're I looking think for. Just, let's just- he let's hear him out, Rick. Right. Please. Right. Democracy, that's what we're fighting for. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Right, if you turn them up. Right, okay, I've got the headphones on. Go on then. Right. Okay, so right, hang on, the phrase originally <laughs> was... Is, uh, you never see an old man eating a Twix. Right, and we're trying to identify the, well, a number of songs which you've used to make up that phrase. And you email in xfm.co.uk slash ricky with as many as you can get and whoever gets the most right It's so complicated. This it is, is so not. complicated. Right, here we go. Here it's we go. I'm baffled I... by the email address. <laughs> I couldn't uh, figure that out. the email address again? <laughs> xfm.co.uk Slash Ricky. Right. Right. And there's um, some link on there, is there? That yeah, that right. you just press and it comes through. Oh, Brilliant. Isn't that? Right, here we go then, right? An old man eats a mouse. I missed a little bit at the end. <laughs> Let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. A mouse. Ba ba ba. Let's hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh God! So okay, right. Right, so we'd say the prizes, Steve. Right, so how many songs were there? Uh, Do we know? I think it was six. Oh. You think there was six? And you'll never see an old man eat. Um, f oh, it might be five. Five or six. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, email in the answers and how many there were, and uh, you might be in with a chance of winning on DVD the original series of Citizen Smith with Robert Lindsay. That was good. Uh, Paul Whitehouse's uh, Happiness, the first series of that on DVD. We've also got a couple of CDs here: The Best of Britpop, Live Forever, Oasis, Blur, Radiohead, and all the rest of them That's on there. Right. Supergrass's uh, current album as well. That's I right. think it's a current album. Yeah, it is. And um, okay, less convinced by this one. If I tell you that some of the artists include Adela Mitri <laughs> and uh, Deacon Blue, then I know you'll be rushing out later, Rick, to buy this. Scotland Rocks! <laughs> a compilation <laughs> of- Is Wet 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 on there? Uh, let's see. What the about Bits? What happened to Bits? Let me see, I'm not gonna- I tell you, it doesn't- I mean, we've got Gun on there. Oh, yeah. We've got- Oh, uh, baby, lately. Uh, Aztec Camera. Yeah. Uh, Big Country, obviously. Uh, Proclaimer's not on there. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, where's Runrick? There they are. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> and uh, obviously Rafferty, Baker Street. Do -do 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 -do. Brilliant. So that's uh, that's definitely worth um, entering for, surely. So xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky. Uh, play it one more time. Yeah. Just, just in, right. <laughs> <laughs> class. Pure class. Well done. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Brilliant. Right, now listen, so that's that done. Yeah. We've done that as well. Yeah. We're running out of time, we've got okay. like five minutes left. Winner for Songs of Phrase. Alright, give us the answers. Right. This, we did this at the start, we haven't even got time for the film thing today. Oh. Oh. But, we'll do that next week. Mm. Uh, 
Song's a phrase. It was a phrase, uh, you never see an old man eating a Twix. I love the fact that we go, we haven't got time. Like, it's- we've had such important stuff and it's been so jam-packed and interesting. We don't- not that it's been drivel with yeah. gaps we could have filled much better. Yeah. Don't yeah. look at it like that, like, oh. What, with his film quiz? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, song's a phrase, you never see an old man eating a Twix. <laughs> we had to get change it to Mars Bar. <laughs> here's- here's what we had. Jerry and the Pacemakers. Echo and the Bunny Man. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> David <laughs> Bowie. David Bowie. <laughs> <Bowie. laughs> and the Beach Boys finished that. Oh, off. what do you mean I thought that one was? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, Who's the winner? Oh, it doesn't matter. You've got to give the answer. It was that one you didn't know it was us. Uh, it was Jim, Neil Young, wasn't Jim, it? Jim Crochet, is it? Old oh, Man yeah. River, it's right. called. Jim Crochet. Something. Old Man River? Yeah. Jim Crochet sang Old Man River? I don't think so. What was it? Who cares? Right. Well, people- oh, I can't believe this. Do you- <laughs> oh. Old Man River, it was. Let's- Let's give the prize to Jim Crochet wouldn't have sung Old Man River. Well, let's give the uh, Paul Robeson. Let's give the prize to Mitchell Sterling, um, who has got some of the answers right. <laughs> <laughs> On XFM 104.9. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing that great quiz again next, yeah, week. next week. This week we're. Um, do you remember the story about my auntie having wind for five minutes? <laughs> Yeah. Your auntie, was it your auntie Nora? Auntie Nora, um, she was on a lot of medication and stuff, <laughs> sure. and I think that's a side effect that comes with it. So, um, yeah, she had wind for five minutes, so I thought we'd, we'd dig that one out. Okay. A classic line, uh, me auntie had wind for five minutes. Okay. So I've got loads of songs here. How many is that? Um, me auntie had wind for five minutes. Seven tracks. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, why do seven... you learn? Okay, so you need to identify, if you can be bothered, the artists. Yeah, That's what we're artists. after, isn't it? Alright. Okay. Let's Just times. remember, as many as you can get, because the yeah. winner would probably be, you know, it gets five or something, so don't worry if you there's a couple you can't get, because you could still probably win. Here go we on. Go again. <laughs> I, I, can I just, what's the email address? It's, well, if they go to xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky, they can just they send can, them through there and that. send them through that way. Right. Uh, which of these is the, uh, the prize bag? Yeah, don't we get them mixed up? <laughs> uh, that's, that's the one, is it, Carl? Yeah. Alright, so let's see what hot treats you could win. Um, as I get them out, Carl, do you want to play it once more? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I recognise all of them except one. Yeah. Right, let me or see what we've got two. here. Uh, <laughs> oh, once again, Carl, you excelled yourself with an arbitrary collection of DVDs. Just hanging around, were they? Just hanging around. Um, again, I'm always interested to know which of our XFM listeners um, has tastes as broad as this. Go on. Uh, we've got the recent BBC adaptation of The Hound of the Baskervilles. Brilliant. Mm, okay, fair enough. That's we've right. got, uh, what's this? Is this the. This is um, something involving air. The band Air. I yeah. think it's a, a single at best. Yeah. Now, this is probably worth having. This is the current Flaming Lips album. So you've excelled yourself there, actually, Carl. That's not bad. An XFM mouse map. Oh, they're, uh, they're as common as muck. Oh, hold on. That's a ma you can't give away that mouse mat. It's a piece of foam. <laughs> now, I was going to dismiss the um, the oddball sci fi movie K Pax featuring Kevin Spacey and Jeff Bridges, but Carl, is it it's signed, signed by Kevin it's Spacey? Signed, yeah. Yeah. It's signed, yeah. It's an actual. So, that, so uh, win that and put it on eBay for £4.50. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Man alive. What is that? Just look oh, at their faces. Oh no! Carl! Don't give that. No one wants that unless it's ironic. Series 1 and 2 on DVD of popular uh, northern based sitcom Bread. Buy it, sell it, the game's getting hard. Cause someone's dealing you a losing card. <laughs> all right, they all had a go, all the actors <laughs> had a line on that song. Oh. Uh, play the clips again. Play the clips again, I really want to win it now. Here we go. I can't believe this hasn't been done before. <laughs> the emails, I should point out, aren't flooding in on the No, but it always <laughs> takes time when they go through the website. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So, th they'll be arriving in a bit. Do you want to play it once more for those that just joined us? Alright then. Oh, 
<laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> My auntie had wind for five minutes. Brilliant. Genius. Name the artist. Right, I'm gonna play this thing again, cos it is a bit slow today, the email. Oh, yeah. uh, cos right. it's too hard! It's not too hard, there's just clips of songs. What are the artists? Email in. <laughs> XFM.co.uk. He's getting annoyed cos he put the work in and well. no one's good. He's getting annoyed! Oh! Remember, I think Kevin Spacey. Uh, and the signed K-Pax DVD is probably the only incentive to try and have a go at that one. Do, just think you could win by getting one of them. <laughs> exactly. Nah, come in They're coming now. <laughs> okay. This is electronic. Right, let's get the answers, let's get this out of the way. Songs of Phrase. Songs of Phrase, uh, just in case you just tuned in, it's a new feature we've been doing. Uh, we take songs and chop them up and that, and uh, it's, a f it's a phrase that has cropped up on the show a few times. This week, we, we, uh, we were going back to the classic, me auntie had wind for five minutes. <laughs> going back to the classic. And, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a, have a listen. Okay. Yeah. Right, so what you had there is you had the knack. Yeah. With my, 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 my Sharona. Uh-huh. Uh, auntie was some Manson track. What, you don't even, you don't <laughs> even know what it was. Um, auntie everything, I think it's called, some album track, right? Then you add Bill Medley, Jennifer Warns. I have had the time of my yeah. life. You add Bob Dylan. Wind. wind. Idiot wind. Blowing in the wind. Oh, blowing in the wind, was it? Uh, what was after that? Four. Four was, um, two, well, four, no, six, four eight, was motorway. Dylan. Two, four, six, eight, motorway. Yeah. Tom Robinson. Tom yeah. Robinson, yeah. That was the four. Then you had the five from Manfred Man, Manfred Man, five, yeah. four, three, two, one. We wrapped it up with a bit of five star yeah. for a minute, something about, uh... Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, can't wait another can't minute. Wait. And yeah. then minute. So, they're the answers. Yeah, We're well, looking I'm for someone who, I don't think we got anyone who had them all right, but... Nobody got all right. seven, although in your little, uh, answer list then, you only listed six. Cause yeah. Because you got, your numbers went out of sync in your own brain. Well mm. done. Once yeah. again, smooth. I tell you what, Carl, why don't you next week at least write down the answers for yourself? Don't need to. Well, you clearly <laughs> do, because you get to embarrass yourself. <laughs> don't need to! You've proved that you do! <laughs> right. Yeah, what is it this week? What's the, what's the phrase? Where, um, remember the story I told you ages ago about, uh, about my neighbour having a horse in the house? Oh, yeah. Having a yeah. horse, yeah, a horse. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's happened with that? Lenny Henry doing it as a series? So, uh, uh are People nicking your ideas left, right and centre? Well, that's, that's the phrase we'll be using anyway. What? Um, uh, my neighbour had a horse in her house. How many words is that? Six. My neighbour had... So, there's no grammar either. My neighbour had horse in the house. <laughs> My neighbour had horse in house. <laughs> what I- wait, no. what is the phrase? My neighbour had horse in her house. Add or- add- is there- oh, are there any <laughs> prepositions? Are there any prepositions in this sentence? Look, don't judge it beforehand. You see, okay. I'm turning over a new leaf. I think this is a great idea. I think Carl's a genius and I look forward to hearing this enormously. Yeah, okay. And I won't be sick on your leg or squeeze your head or make you jump when you're making a cup of tea. <laughs> what have we got then? That's that right. whole, That's the silly side now. Let's get on with the proper show. Right. <laughs> song- song's a phrase. Yeah, let's yeah. redo that. Um, on to the classy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do the prizes first? Right, uh, no then, we're alright. Here they are. I haven't seen these, but I'm excited as ever. Alright, we have a t-shirt there, arbitrary t-shirt that you have probably stolen off of someone. What does it say? Is it the Red Hot, the red hot Chili Peppers? So, oh, that's, that. that's not too bad, it's a big t-shirt there. Um, oh, do, 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 do. on DVD, this, uh, should you be giving this away? This looks like it's the film Don't Say a Word. Yeah. And it's, um, it doesn't have all the proper packaging, it's literally the, uh, the disc, the DVD disc, just loose. So enjoy that. The current album from Oasis, uh, Heathen Chemistry, uh, DVD, on DVD, The Life of Mammals, the complete series, the David Attenborough recent DVD, uh, that. Walking with Cavemen, which I think is a DVD, it's all currently on TV, isn't it? And, well, there um, you go. Not also bad. the X-List, which is a good new compilation, double CD compilation from XFM with loads of stuff on there, including Nerd, Snoop Doggy Dog, uh, Athlete, all sorts. Go on then, Carl. So not bad, actually. Simple nice stuff. one. Why right, so, uh, yeah, it's a phrase that, that's been said. At some point, I've said a lot on the show, we've had like airy Chinese kid. We went back to, uh, my mum had wind for five minutes and that. Uh, today we're looking at, uh, my neighbour had a horse in a house, right? Yep. If you remember, we were talking about that probably about a year and a half ago now. Yep. Yeah, of course right. people, of course people remember. They've been talking about it ever since, Carl, I imagine. Yeah. Well, so it's famous, it's, still, it's a world famous phrase, my neighbour had a horse in her house. <laughs> right, so this is, uh, this week's song's a phrase, and what I've done is I've got songs 
with those words in that make up that sentence. Yeah. You get our email in ricky.gervais at xfn.co.uk. There's six different songs, right? You email in with what? I what don't know, there is six. Me neighbour add horse in house. Is it really that sentence? Me neighbour had a horse in a, a, a her house. It does work, honestly, it works. Okay, yeah, right. okay, don't bother explaining it, just ready? play it. Right, yeah. so here's the, uh, here it is. We're just gonna do it. Head horse in a house. Right? <laughs> what <laughs> in <laughs> God's <laughs> name was that? Yeah, name the six songs. Head horse in a house. Yeah? <laughs> oh, Are we naming the artists or the songs? Either. A artists. Anyone who gets anything can get a prize. What's more cool? Artists, here we go. Head horse in a house. <sighs> That's tricky, Carl. That's very hard. Once more. Head horse in a house. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'll give it another let down. Another let down. It's brilliant, this. No. No. How can you just say that after I've just been stuffing grapes in my face and that? Well, you, you found- you didn't get one burger in, right? Even when you tried to- to chop it up, there's three, right? So that's it. it Steve, out of the goodness of his heart, went to McDonald's, okay? I got some grapes, you- at 62. That's got nothing to do with this, though. This is my and game show here. Bob Olness didn't say, yeah, Blockbusters is good, but I never see him eating grapes. <laughs> So this yeah. is a different thing, forget that. Right? <laughs> Here's Eclipse again, here's Eclipse. <laughs> Head horse in a house. <laughs> oh, you know I said I was gonna turn over a new leaf and not criticise your ideas. I think it's the end of this one, mate. We should give, um, the prizes away. Yeah, well this is- this has been dreadful, that, this thing. We started <laughs> off well with him trying to force burgers in his mouth, and then he'd come up with this tat. I mean, this is- this is the end of this, cos it's- I mean, it was shoddy to start with, and I let it do a couple, well this is- oh, yeah. not only- well, uh, 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 I'm just saying. This is what I was saying in the pub yesterday when you tried to be sick on my leg. I was saying, come up with new ideas if you don't like them, but you diss them on air. Well, it's just disappointing, isn't it? And oh, it's in my <laughs> right. What's that? I was disappointed when I was choking before. <laughs> well, we were disappointed as well. <laughs> yeah, you didn't try. You didn't try with the grapes. You were just like right. chewing on that. You meant to just throw them in and swallow them. Songs of phrase. It was six songs. It yeah. sounded like this. Boring. Head balls in a house. Well, what are they? Just give you answers. Six songs there. We had uh, Lionel Richie, My Destiny for my. Tricky. Neighbour. Oh, that's XFM. Ooh. My neighbour was uh, space. Space yeah. neighbourhood. Mm. Had. Uh, Harry Connick Jr. Had to be you. Yeah. Right. It had. Your neighbour had a horse. Horse from America. Name. America, yeah. Uh, a horse. In, in, in was Lisa Sansfield with, uh, <laughs> Pathetic. In all the right places. Oh, <laughs> pathetic. Did anyone get that? Did anyone get that? And no one got, no one got that. Animals. So that was pointless. Alright, well, the most, well any, the most anyone got was three, yeah. and so uh, we're gonna give it to Deborah. Uh, okay, prizes to give away this week. You've, uh, excelled yourself again. We've got, once again, Scotland Rocks, the very best of Scottish music, Texas Deacon Blue. Brilliant. And, uh, Jerry Rafferty. Proclaimers included. on there, why not? <laughs> Proclaimers, don't worry, Delamitri's well, on there as well, don't worry. Yeah, 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 it's don't worry. It's oh, on there, it's based on there. I'm just checking to see if Midgeur and Hugh and Gry feature, but they do, thankfully. I don't know. Uh, the Rizillos as well. Oh, and brilliant. Brilliant, that That's is brilliant. great, so look forward to that. Is Lulu on there or not? Oh, is she not on there? Is she not on there? Is she not on there? But, uh, The wet, are the wet on there? All the wet or not? Fairground attraction. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's on there, so, Brilliant. Uh, Is Wee Hootie McToob <laughs> on there? And is, uh, is, uh, Jamboree? <laughs> uh, what's this? This is another arbitrary compilation, uh, Brilliant. called Strange Brilliant. and Beautiful. The Brilliant. Exodus album, which is quite good. Yeah. The new album by the White Stripes. Uh, the DVD Walking with Cavemen, that TV show that's on. On VHS, uh, it's, it's still got the price on there. On VHS, in case you haven't seen it. Uh, Fight Club, and the best-selling book from Michael Moore, Stupid White Men. So, actually, some quite good prizes there, Carl. Not yeah. bad Alright, Carl, what's this, what's this competition? Right, Song's a Phrase. It's where I, uh, Get a line that sort of s is said a lot on the show, or has been said quite a lot on the show. Yeah, is uh, this one stop squeezing me head? No. Mm. Oh, I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but what we're doing is um, my favourite. Uh, the Elephant Man's my favourite film. Is okay. that the phrase? Yeah, that's the phrase that we're looking at today. The Elephant Man's my favourite film. It is as well. It's yeah. His favourite film. I know. I know. Why yeah. is that again? So, because it's funny and sad, and it, it's uh, you know exactly what you're gonna get. Yeah, <laughs> they promise you an elephant man. That's exactly what you get. <laughs> yeah, it's good. have you seen it, Steve? I have seen it. It yeah. is good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, Do you remember at the beginning of the Elephant Man? Think of that, having the, that as your favourite film. I of know. all the hundreds of amazing films. I mean, yeah. uh, the, uh, I mean, I mean it's a good film and it's yeah. a moving film. Yeah. But I can't imagine it's a film I would watch endlessly again I don't and again. I care about a bloke with an no, elephant's head. I watched a Do little you know? bit of it again huh? the other night. It's one of them that, you know, just sort of reminds you. You know what annoys me when he goes, yeah. I am not an animal? Hmm. He is. Well, <laughs> I mean, he speaks like one. <laughs> and what does and the elf? He's got, got and got he looks like yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was a bit unfair because they never let him look in a mirror because he's a bit odd looking and it upset him. Yeah. So his hair was always a mess. <laughs> and that yeah. made him look worse than he actually was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But good film, get it out if you haven't seen it. That's the phrase today. Do you uh, know, um, my, uh, I remember my friend introduced me to that film and if you remember at the beginning there's a big montage because he is, uh, working in a, in a zoo, isn't he, or he's been kept in a zoo. And there's a sequence of, uh, of various, of elephants, I think, actual elephants kind of rampaging and it's just quite a sort of moody, atmospheric montage. Is he king of the elephants? Could well, he my friend, him? my friend said to me when we watched watch this, he said, what happens is he gets trampled on by some elephants and that's what makes him look like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, right. And I watched it and I thought, that's not the case. And I tried to explain it to him and he's, to this day, still convinced that the Elephant Man, it's like a, it's like when Spider-Man like, gets bitten by a spider. Yeah, yeah. It was his man, wasn't the it? The Elephant Man. <laughs> the power of an elephant. <laughs> was, it his, was it his man who got- He never forgets. Anyway. Be careful. Is it his man what? Wasn't it his man who was pregnant and then they ran over her and- No, I don't think so. That's the impression I got from it. No. You are joking, aren't you? <laughs> no. I thought, I, I honestly, th anyway, right, so the phrase is, my favourite film's The Elephant Man. Oh, well, I like yeah. Uh, there's five songs make up that, that sentence, yep. Yep. right, this week. Have a listen, see if you can work out the songs. Email in, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, right? Mm. And you win all that stuff, mm. Steve just said, so, uh, mm. right, here we go then. The Elephant Man <laughs> that was mostly done. Genius. Right. Let's hear it again. Yes. Here we go. The elephant man is my favourite film. <laughs> Five songs there. The it's elephant not, man not is so hard, this my movie, favourite film. Well, I thought we'd make it a bit easier. Make it a bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. Just, right. just one more. The elephant man. Uh, email only <laughs> ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. Have we got the result of the uh, quiz, Carl? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just play it one more time. It was songs of phrase. Is this <laughs> the last time we're doing this? Oh, I thought so. I thought it worked better this week because it was actually doable. Yeah. yeah. I think that makes a difference, Carl. We haven't done Carl's an idiot yet. Carl, you're an idiot, have we? Oh, well, that's a reason to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can end with that one right. <laughs> when you come yeah. back. All right. right, well, the five songs that made up this little thing here was Mysteries, Beautiful Blues, Eels. Innocent Man, Billy Joel, in my favourite waste of time, Owen, Owen Paul, Boom Rhapsody, Queen, mm -hmm. Girls on Film, Duran Duran, it sounded like this. The elephant man is my favourite film. There you go. The Elephant Man is my favourite film. Hang on, was Bohemian Rhapsody in there? Yeah, yeah. it is. It is, was, is it? this the Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, we're, we're going to give that to uh, Piley. He just calls himself Piley, Ian Pyle. Uh, good work, Piley. What's happened to Anders? Well, I, I was just gonna say, actually, we've not had correspondence from Richard Dicky Anders for some time. The Dickmeister, Dickmeister yeah. General, with his, his naughty, naughty, insulting ways. Yeah, Anderson used to email regularly. Anders! Get on your computer! Get in touch, mate. What just do you, tell think, us of what it? you think of the show? Uh, hold on, though. To be fair, um, he was listening w when we were pretty shoddy. Yeah, I, if he's listened to the last three weeks, I think we're owed a little apology from you, Dickster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, listen, Piley, um, we want to send you all those goodies, including Scottish rock, um, but uh, we don't have your uh, address, so uh, email in your address. Um, songs of Phrase. It's the mighty return of Songs of Phrase. No one has uh, requested that. It's no. not, not, not due to public opinion. <laughs> 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 a lot of people have requested some swearing. They have indeed. But a lot, we had a lot of emails for that. But go on, Carl. And uh, <laughs> remind us again what exactly songs of phrase is and why we should care. It's just a phrase <laughs> that we take from the show, make up by taking words out of a song, get it, it together. Right? The phrase that we're doing is no more cheeky freak of the week. No more cheeky freak. It sounds of the like week. this. No more cheeky freak of the week. <laughs> right? So. No, that's not only impossible. Play so again. You got, you Play again. I you got to email in with all the songs that you can hear there, right? There's, I think there's five songs And we just want the names of the songs? Yeah, that'll do. Okay. All right. Do we just hear it again? No more of the 
right. Yeah, it, it is possible. good. It's probably one of the best you've done. It's very tricky, though. It's a, I mean, uh, uh, that's not too tricky. Play it again. No more How many have you got? Do you think, Rick? Just uh, uh, well, I've I've noticed the same person singing twice. Is in that a, right? In a band and solo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, and I know one I track think, straight away from uh, the word. Can I just say, I do think naming the, the songs is a bit tricky. Let's just name the artists. Is that alright? Just the artists. Just the artists. Just change the rules slightly. Yeah. Um, before we play it again, just let you know what the prizes are. We've got on DVD later with Jules Holland Louder. Lots of the alternative acts he's had on there. Um, Brilliant. a DVD there, a couple of DVDs. All, with Boogie Boogie Sonic. Piano over the top. <laughs> Let's hope so. Brilliant. I can't, can't Jesus wait. Chainer on there, Stereophonics. We've got Sonic Youth, Ash, Hole, Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters. Quite good. Um, once again, Cruise of the Gods on DVD, starring Rob Royden and Steve. Coogan, that was on at Christmas, it's not bad. It's not the uh, same one. They, they haven't been sending that back. <laughs> We've been giving out different ones each we week. Have indeed. Uh, this is an album just called, quite simply, I Love You. Yeah. And you'll be pleased because there's the likes of Mel C, Cliff Richard and the Hollies on there. Brilliant. Excellent. The best chill-out album ever. We've got the Beach Boys on there, Elvis Costello, Pink Floyd, Coldplay, that's not bad. And this is the one that's most interesting, I think, the American Song Poem Anthology. I've not heard it yet, but apparently, I think what it is, is an anthology of um, recordings that were made, apparently in, I think, maybe 50s or 60s America, you could, there was a particular organisation, you could send in songs or lyrics that you'd written at home and they would oh, send it right. to music and record it for you and this is a compilation of them so obviously it's there's some quite uh, idiosyncratic and odd little things on there i think it's probably worth a listen so not bad prizes at all carl let's play it again no more well that's we got we started that going just the artists <laughs> then ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk once more carl no more See, we're just great. Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> uh, Rick, um, I can tell you now <laughs> that the the answers to songs of phrase are quite literally dribbling in. <laughs> uh, I think there's two, may maybe three answers so far. So uh, very excited about that. So who's the winner? Answers. Well, let's give us, give us the answers first. <laughs> Right, well, this was, uh, rock it's, not, well, it's not rock, so I'm calling it rock, but it's because no, I, I, well, I, I well, it's all they're all interchangeable. No Right, Paul McCartney, Cheeky Girls, Sugar Babes, Space and Beatles. Okay. Right. Brilliant. You've really, I mean, if you're not interested in it, Carl, <laughs> <laughs> seriously, mate. Um, anyway, we're going to give the uh, prizes, which are pretty good this week, to uh, James Waters from Colchester. Well, we've got Songs of Phrase, right, we? Songs of Phrase, then. Um, okay, let's uh, just have a look at the prizes. Let's just remind us again what exactly Songs of Phrase is, because I know a lot of people put it out of their mind week by week. It's a phrase that's... You know, been said on the show a few times that night. Oh, but um, you remember classics like uh, what was what was what was we had hairy Chinese. Kid. Yeah, there's there's this hairy Chinese kid. Stop squeezing me, Ed. Stop. Squeezing uh, me Carl, me. you're an idiot. Carl, you're an idiot. Yeah. Uh, you know, some cl cl classic phrases. Classic phrases, and so you use various old time songs and you put them all together, and that spells out the phrase. Uh, before we, uh, we we play that, let me tell you now, you can win. <laughs> Look forward to this. What's this? The new album from the Star Spangles. That's called Bazooka. Is that out, is it? Never heard of it. Where's Bazooka? Right? Never, heard, never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> uh, the best summer holiday album in the world ever. We've got... Th the treats on there include the Fast Food Rockers and the oh. uh, Last Ketchup. Yeah. I'm um, waiting for their second single, because I, I don't know what that's going to be about. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, is it going to be a bit more fast food? Maybe like pret a -Mange? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Uh, this is very good. Yeah, two discs set, the best of David Bowie. Um, in Spiral Carpets, the best of them. Still don't know how they spin that over, over three seasons. <laughs> no idea. Um... <laughs> Bowie's is one. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, we mentioned it last week, the American Song Poem Anthology. That's kind of a kooky collection of, uh, of songs. And, uh, we've also got a couple of DVDs here. Stephen King's Rose Red. I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to video. <laughs> yeah. Made for television. Yeah, yeah. And we'll never be seen at the cinema. And I know, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of nerdlingers listening, so they will be loving Richard Dean Anderson in Stargate SG-1. Yeah. Uh, free inside, there's a collector's car, plus you can win some exclusive memorabilia. Yeah. So I think a pair of, uh, there Right, all you've got to do is listen to these, like, 13 songs, <laughs> probably, to a well-known stupid phrase. It's, it's only seven, seven different songs, right? Well, just get the most you can. Just get, be rough. Artist or song, it do, it'd do right? And the and phrase is, um, about me dad nicking from, uh, telephone boxes. Right. You've got to give them a clue, because they've got to get, they've got to know what they're listening for. It's, it's hard enough when you know. Daddy's never gonna stop robbing from telephone box. Is that it? Yeah. Right. So what are these, what are these songs then? Uh, go uh, on in. It doesn't matter that some people don't know what that's about, do they? Doesn't matter. No, they're not, they're not, well, they're- Well, your father's a thief. <laughs> <a good point. laughs> Email only, ricky.gervais 
at xfm.co.uk. Let's hear it. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Also not, um, grammatically correct, <laughs> no. but, so it's, Daddy, Daddy, never gonna stop Robin from telephone box. <laughs> Rubbish. Unbelievable. Play it again. We, I think we just need the song, that's all we're after. Yeah, yeah. just the songs. Right. Just again? Well, this is a desperate feature, it isn't really it? It really is awful. See, Rick, if we took more of an interest in this show, we'd have come in, listened to that, we and said, said we're no not way. Play it. We'd have said, no way. I don't care how long you spent on it. We've got a reputation. Yeah. We've won awards. We've won major awards. We're not putting that tat out. But, yeah, no. You know, we, that's what. That's what but happens. we're just giving the listener what they're used to. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, I think more full them for listening. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> now then, uh, we were playing earlier Songs of Phrase. Um, we have had. I mean, the the, a the the answers I could literally count on the fingers of one hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> now the right answers, even less so. But um, do you want to play it once more, Carl? Oh God! From there was um, <clears throat> seven songs in there. Right. Read them out, go on. What are they? It was a. Uh... Oh, have you got it written down? No, I can remember them. Daddy, cool. Right. Bernie M. Bernie M. Yeah. Uh, never gonna give you from up. Rick, Rick Astley. Astley. Yeah. Uh, gonna... Um. Write them down! Stop. Sam Brown. Right. Stop. Robin was, uh, Miss Robinson by Simon and Garfunkel. Mrs. Robinson. Yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. That's not Robin. Oh. From, From Russia with Love, Matt Monroe. Right. Telephone. Telephone hanging on the telephone, Blondie. Right. And then Box. Living in a box. By <laughs> living in, in a box. box. Well, listen, no, Brilliant. I don't think anyone got them all right. No. If you did get them all right, I'm sorry, but I gave up checking the emails a long, long time ago. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I'm gonna give it- I'm gonna give it to Michelle Flower, cause she got a few of them right. Yeah. Okay, so quiz time. I know everyone's been looking forward to this. Which quiz is well, it Well, we're gonna week? play along, because he's done, uh, Songs of Phrase, where he, uh, cuts up, um, uh, bits and pieces from, uh, uh, records, you have to guess the title or the artist, and, uh, makes a well-known phrase, i.e. a phrase that we've said a lot, and, uh, the challenge is that me and Steve have got to try and work out what it is as well, before we tell- we will tell you the phrase, but let me just see if I can guess. Play it. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. the game of swing. <laughs> right, I know what that is. I didn't hear it, can you play it once right. for me? Right, <laughs> I know what that is. Right, it's why don't they play the game of swing ball? Because that's what he said when he turned on and saw people in wheelchairs playing tennis. <laughs> and his point was... Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. the game of swing ball. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. That is so naughty. This show's been a bit naughty, I think. I don't know what's happened to us. I think it's, it's like, um sort of end of term sort of madness, but yeah. I think we've got to calm down here. We've been a bit naughty there. We've uh, we said, you know, bloke with two dicks. We said Chinese people don't talk properly, which is a little bit... Offensive. Yeah. You know what I mean, Carl? Well, they don't know. Right, okay, let's leave it now. Okay, stop there, Carl. Carl does not necessarily reflect the opinions of XFM or any yeah. other human being. If you think that me and Steve have been being offensive, we are strongly behind the guise of irony, satire, and ignorance. Carl only has ignorance yeah. and hate. <laughs> yes. No, 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 but as long as you say something good about someone, you can also say something bad about them. <laughs> How does that work? Go on, and give us an example. Well, Chinese. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Great people, right? Good. That's really, the, that's the, the good women, women really good looking as, as, as younger people. No! <laughs> what are you older. doing? I'm, ju I'm just saying, as long as you... You know what I mean? There's good and bad and everything. For every well, what are the old negative. ones like? They, they, they don't age well. <laughs> what no, do you mean? The fella in Karate See? Kid, the teacher, was only about 36. <laughs> we started this! We started this! Oh. oh. Fact. Uh, so, songs of phrase, <laughs> email in, ricky.gervais at xmn.co.uk, right? I mean, I have to say, Carl, it's very tricky this week. You've got some very obscure sounding songs there. Yeah, just all we want is the artists. 
I right. think just the song, Carl, mate. I no, that's, that's hard. hard. No, that's hard. hard. Yeah, the artist. Just the artist. I know. Okay, so these are the prizes this week. Well, We've let's got... let's play it again so they can hear it. Try okay. and work out all the different artists. Yeah. Why don't they play the game of the game of swing ball? Right. <laughs> it is tricky. That is tricky. That is good. But there's some great prizes, um, <laughs> including Carl, I can't help but notice, torn from the current, well, I think today's issue of the Daily Mirror. What is giving away a it's, giveaway? It's a free CD from the Daily Mirror, which you can buy it, you spend 30p on the Mirror, you can get this anyway. <laughs> but it's still in the piece of plastic <laughs> that it came yeah. in. I love it's that. It's ripped. Anyway, there are some other treats. <laughs> oh, oh you'll be loving to get that through the, uh, <laughs> the door. <laughs> so there's a, uh, the jingly jangly sound of summer. Good vibes, a two CD set featuring music from Crowded House, R.E.M., Simon and Garfunkel in the beach. Boys. I'll tell you what, I, I've got the thought of another game. We can put Carl's into theory, right? I can, I can can tell him a sort of like a, a a person or um you know a, a people or a place right uh, or a, a profession and he's got to come up with a good and bad <laughs> a good and bad thing this, this, it's, it is dicing with death yeah. are we ready to do this well listen if we're quitting in the next couple of weeks then who cares okay um good and bad right well hang on whoa, let me just tell the, we're on the prizes here all right okay so now 55 i know okay. there's a lot of xfm listeners who are going to be looking forward to the likes of s club <laughs> eight and the fast food rockers they're all on there <laughs> i can't wait what is their second single going to be about <laughs> the smashing pumpkins this is quite a good little compilation of um sort of b-sides and live performances and stuff like that which is uh which is not bad the best summer holiday album in the world ever i think we've given that away in the past all sorts of stuff on there plus the director's cut of true romance on dvd the uh, tarantino scripted oh, it's a great film tony scott that's some great art. Movie. Oh. So there's some quite good prices, just play it once more. So come. email in, ricky.gervais, Why don't they play the game of swing ball? Just, just the artist, yeah? That's all we're after. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, anyway, right. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Ooh, play the game of swing ball. <laughs> very tricky. Brilliant. Very, very that is brilliant. All right, put uh, a song on. I'll put a song on now. What? Let's put a song on. Bit of, uh, Farrell, Farrell Williams. Yes. Good and bad, good and bad. Um, old people. Darkness, I believe in a thing called love, on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl set the ball rolling with, um, songs of phrase, why don't they play swing ball, referring of course to, uh, people in, uh, wheelchairs who play tennis, cause he was disappointed they weren't getting around the court quickly enough, so why didn't they play swing ball? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Someone just emailed in saying because, if they hit it to the top, they wouldn't be able to reach it to unravel it. Exactly. Which is a good point. Yeah. But I mean, nonetheless, good and bad in people in wheelchairs? Do you want to do that? Good and bad. Good and bad things about people in wheelchairs. Um, good and bad. Yeah. Um, I suppose, I don't know really, they, they take up less room in cinemas, they've got their own seat. <laughs> um. Good. That's good, is it? That's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, well done. Well done. That oh, was well, bad. Uh, don't know, I'll have to think about it. Okay. But, uh, well, let's leave that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you started it. Songs of phrase. We've had very, very few entries. I really think people aren't interested. They really have just given up. I mean, seriously, Carl, That's the one thing, that's the one thing you contributed to this show, Carl. And it's, it's the, the weak link, it's I think. The missing link. In the chain. The missing link. Oh, do you reckon there is one, Carl? Do you reckon they'll ever find the missing link? Wandering around Manchester. Wait a minute, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> um, the stats then. Let's have the answers if we can. Right. It was uh, well, specials. Let's play, play it once more. All right. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Specials. Yep. Jermaine Jackson. Play the game of swing. Oh. Right. It was uh, play the game of love. Uh, I think that was Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders. Right, you right. think, but you're not sure. But Louis Armstrong was the, uh, don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Queen, don't stop me now, we're having a good time and that. We're having a ball. We're having a ball. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Sorry. considering you yourself weren't entirely clear, I think it's only fair to give it to Paul Brown, who got some of the answers right. Uh, we're going to do songs of phrase, by the way, where uh, Carl picks out a phrase that he might have said once, mm. uh, tries to find words from songs to 
put it together, you've got to guess as many as you can, song or artist, I can't remember. Um, but even though you might look at it and go, that's mental, I don't know any of them, you might win if you get two, right? I mean, I think the winner last week got about three out of three. Well, I have seven. to be honest with you, I mean, last week, I mean, Rockbusters, surprisingly, was a very, very popular quiz. Yeah. It just happened to be po awful. Yeah. This one is pitiful. I mean, it's truly atrocious. Yeah. And it really doesn't even have a fan base. I mean, there's no one championing this one, Carl. Last week, seriously, mate, I got about oh, seven- Oh, Carl's face! Seven or eight that, replies. That is- that- oh, God, that's terrible. That was like when you told a kid that you couldn't afford a Christmas present this year. Look at his face! Yeah, it is a bit distraught. Carl, I what it's, you it's like Chris Evans' face when they said they were cancelling girls and boys. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I can, I can come up with great TV adventures <laughs> like that. No, you can't, Chris. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, his little glasses slid down his yeah. nose. I'm the guy who don't forget your toothbrush. Yeah. What was that money you owe me? No, you owe us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> believe it. All right. So, will I just play it to you and whatever you call it? Try and work out what phrase is. Um, sorry, it's a phrase that might have once been uttered on this show. It was said last week. Oh right. All right. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Here you go. I know you're just sixteen. But look at all of who you are. Right, I right, can't quite hear right. it. I know what that is. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what was right? it? What it is, is it's something like, right, <laughs> you're only 16, but you look 26, and the Chinese look older than they are or something, because he said that the Chinese. That is mental, Carl! <laughs> it's the most convoluted, ridiculous, racist <laughs> piece of material ever to be uttered on radio! Play again! <laughs> I know you're just 16, but look at all of who you are! That's... And look at all the 21. That's because the Chinese look older. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you've got a mental. All right. Oh, that is amazing. So, there you go. The well known phrase <laughs> you're, you're 16, look at all of 21. That's because the Chinese look older. Well known phrase there, sweeping the nation. <laughs> that's uh, that will be up there with was up. Um, and shut that door. <laughs> if they do a poll. Right. <laughs> Well, okay, play it once more. We're after, we're after the artists. Just yeah. the artists. Yeah. I know you're just 16, but look at all of who you are. That's right. Unbelievable. Alright, let me tell you what the uh, prizes oh. are. We've got, uh, I assume this is the new <laughs> album from Mower. <laughs> uh, everyone's going crazy for Mower, aren't <laughs> I've not heard people stop talking about <laughs> Mower, but <laughs> uh, there it is. We've got the new album from the Webb Brothers, um, which might be quite good, uh, the Polyphonic Spree album, the best dance album in the world ever, which is ideal perhaps if you're having a barbecue and you've got lots of eight-year-old <laughs> children coming. <laughs> the Polyphonic Spree, I look at them and I think, well, you know, you're a pretty good band, but, um, if that album sounds like a million, you're gonna make about like, 40 quid each. I know, it's extraordinary. <laughs> I mean... They're the sort of indie equivalent of the So Solid crew. <laughs> Yeah, you're not gonna make any money. The manager's getting uh, 20%. Exactly, yeah. And, um, and also on DVD, uh, Red Dwarf Series 1. So, um, some absolutely barnstorming <laughs> places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you can identify what artist to use in this well known racist phrase, <laughs> that's because the Chinese look older. Play it once more, Carl. One more time. I know you're just 16, but look at all of who you are. That's. <laughs> oh, Ricky God! Dot Gervais this at is SFM dot co dot UK. Play a record. This is radio. Yes. Just a couple of emails just to update you on what's coming in here. Go on. Um, Natasha has emailed us. She says that she's of Chinese origin, and at 27 she often got mistaken for 24. So your notion that Chinese people don't age well is obviously uh, factually incorrect. Yeah, well, we didn't need... Uh, thank you for saying <laughs> but I mean, uh, honestly, trust us, Natasha, we didn't need you to tell us that. We what? know Carl is talking absolute nonsense. Wait till you get to 30. 
<laughs> oh, dude, now this is, uh, this is quite a nice email from Paul. He says, uh, let Carl know that I have a Chinese friend called Oi. Imagine the confusing and amusing situations we're getting to. We're out and about in yeah. busy Soho. Oi! <laughs> is his surname come here? <laughs> Lightning wit from, uh, from Carl. Wait nice. till you're 30. Yeah, I know. Brilliant. I know. But no, um, actually, we've had a surprising response to uh, Songs of Phrase this week. Despite the fact everyone has agreed that it's a racialist, <laughs> they've but nevertheless uh, had a go. Yeah. So uh, keep your answers coming in. Um, Good. Because we may as well. You're a hit, Carl. I'll right. play it again and give you answers. Here we go. Songs of Phrase. Songs of Phrase. Name what? the artist. Name the artist. I know you're just 16. But looking old. Oh, she would cry. That's. That's Philip Bailey again. That's too little. Right, it was. That was uh, Roxette. The look. Yeah, yeah. Right, we had uh, You and Cry started yeah. It off. Yeah. Um, uh, 16. That's was Dean Martin. Because. Oh, yeah. Jane. Jane's That's addiction. addiction, yeah. Ch cars. Yeah. Chinese Philip Bailey. Uh, Philip Bailey, that's second out in his ad. Uh, last one, uh, we used him for Chinese, <laughs> where there was a hairy Chinese kid. He's never got so many royalties being used <laughs> in racist uh, game shows. Brilliant. Then Roxette and finishing with George Michael. Oh, right? dear. So, Brilliant. Who's right. the winner? Well, the winner, actually, uh, it looks to me like he's got all of them here uh, from Bognor Regis. It's Stuart Burr. Listen, do you want to do, uh, do you want to set up Songs of Phrase? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Um, if you've not heard the show before, I thought we weren't doing this this week. I thought, I thought we, we weren't. No, we'll we'll do it once, right? And then next week's the last one, so we'll do Rockbusters. Leave, leave that might out. be the last one ever, depending on whether Carl decides to come back yeah. in October or not. Exactly. I'm bored. Right. Of it. I told you I'm bored of it. Why are you bored with it? I get bored quick with stuff. Yeah. I told I told Suzanne the other night how glucky she was. <laughs> I haven't got not ri got rid of her yet. She's. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Things. You put, you put on a soft music though <laughs> first, didn't you? You didn't just like start getting that around. Right yeah, you, you, know, you, you, you know you're a very lucky girl. Sorry. Well, I usually get bored with you and that. Yeah. Oh, do you? are lucky you haven't pissed off. Yeah. Do you want to open the champagne or what? Well, she was annoyed the other Carl, night. What's that on your ear? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pigeon shit, aren't it? We're walking to the pictures, right? To go yeah. and see uh, Bruce Almighty. Sure. Why? And, uh, just something to say, innit? Yeah. So you were you were trying to sneak in the back. <laughs> so uh, on the way, cutting across Leicester Square, uh -huh. and uh, those fellas who sell roses, he comes over. Do you want one? Do you want one? So don't do that. She's allergic to them, right? So so he'd go away. Yeah. She get all annoyed about that because she's not allergic to them. Well, she's not allergic now, but I, I, they're about three quid each. <laughs> <laughs> but the point of that guy is not that she really wants a rose, it's that you're willing to spend three pounds on her. Taking us to the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that? That was eight quid each. Mm. Did yeah. you pay for it though? But Did didn't you, you ever, if I, if I know you, you had her dressed up as a small child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me and my son, please. Or you've made her sit on your shoulders and wear a long coat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, listen, song's a phrase then. <laughs> you oh. paid for her to go in and then you went and had a pint while she watched it. <laughs> yeah, there's no point in both of us seeing it, but tell <laughs> yeah, me about tell it. Tell me what you? it's like. Oh, right, song's a phrase. So let's explain what song's a phrase right. is. You do it. Okay, oh, really? <laughs> um, if you think that Carl is bored with life, then you will be even more bored once <laughs> you've heard this particular quiz. The gist of it is that Carl has taken a well known phrase well, or saying. No, stop me there. Not oh. a well-known phrase. Some that he said once on this show. Yeah, probably. And he's somehow com uh, compiled together a number of different songs, which have somehow <laughs> built up that particular phrase or sentence. Um, if it's anything about Chinese people, Philip Bailey will be involved. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, let's hear it then, Carl. <laughs> Right. All right, I don't I, know what that I is. I don't know what that was. This is appalling. I don't know this what is appalling. that is. Carl, Carl, I do not know what that is. What is the phrase? I just was saying last week about everyone's raving about Galileo. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. No, no, they're not. No, that sounds like not. a sort of B-side from yeah. the Buggles. Everyone's raving about Beyonce and uh, Robbie Williams. Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're, people are going pop what, idol. What are you into? Galileo's good. <laughs> yeah. Forget it. Forget it. No. We were doing songs of phrase. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh god. So what is this phrase? What is the phrase, Carl? Last week we were talking about Galileo. Right. And I just was saying, <laughs> years ago, I can't remember now, when was it? When was he doing his thing? End of the 16th century, I think. Right. And he was messing about, trying to find out about 
Speed of Light or something, is it? No, he did lots of he did lots of stuff going alone. All I was saying is Graf back then, yeah, surely yeah. everyone was saying, "Stop messing with that, make us a telly." You know what I mean? There was other things that people would have been happier with, sure, back then. Like the, yeah. Like the so now. the phrase is the phrase exactly is what the well known uh, phrase is what. Uh, Galileo. Uh, well, it goes like this, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So it's Galileo. Stop S talking to me talk about to me science. science. Make, Make me, me television. television. Make me television. Yeah. So you email in with with the bands and that. Brilliant. <laughs> right, let's uh, that, that, that is rock bottom. <laughs> of I mean, it the, is. Uh, the well-known phrase being Galileo. Stop talking to me about science. Make me television. <laughs> That's a well-known <laughs> phrase. Is the one of the weirdest things I've ever, forget jizz out of windows and things like that. That is the weirdest thing I've heard on radio as a competition. Can we have that one next week? <laughs> um, okay, well, here, here are the prizes. If you, if you think, Rick, that the, if you think the quiz has hit rock bottom, wait, wait till I tell you these prizes. No, brilliant. Um, oh. I know that, um, we're very much pushing new music on XFM and it's an alternative music yeah. station, so you'll be pleased that we're giving away, now that's what I call Music 55, <laughs> featuring the likes of Busted and, uh, Daniel Beddingfield. Brilliant. Uh, you really know how to cater to our audience, don't you? The best dance album in the world, that includes, um, DJ Sammy, Scooter, <laughs> and, uh, Liberty X on there. <laughs> so I look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, this is not so bad. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, uh, a live DVD of a, <coughs> pardon me, a performance, uh, and some, <coughs> pardon me again, but, <coughs> anyway. <coughs> <coughs> that basically sums up the prizes. So, uh, I won't tell you the rest, they're all monotonous. But, uh, anyway, <coughs> I think those crisps, Rick, have gone down the wrong way. <laughs> or, although I was eating goulash earlier. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So, anyway, yeah, that's, that's some of the prizes. <laughs> and you can win some tat. So if you can identify these artists. The well-known phrase, Galileo, stop talking to me about science, make me television. <laughs> Just it's appalling. But easy this week, I think. I those, yeah. Play a record, Carl. I mean, it's ridiculous. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. The pictures. Uh, answers rushing in, we should point out, for the quiz. Most of them agreeing that, uh, it's pointless. Um, some people have <laughs> called it, it's songs of phrase, of course. Um, some people have referring to it now as songs of arse. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, more than appropriate, but you'll be pleased to know that it's ending this week, and next week we've got the return of the even more pitiful Rockbusters. For the last one. That's back for the last one. We'd perhaps also need your petitions to Carl. If you want us to stay on the air, then you need to petition Carl, giving good reasons why he should stay, why this show isn't boring, or rather why he shouldn't be bored by it. I mean, you're bound to be bored as listeners, but obviously, uh, he's running out of steam now. What, 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 what are you fed up with? You're just fed up with, uh, in general, are you? I mean, you want your Saturdays back, do you? Just want a bit of a life back, that's all. But, but you don't do anything with your life when you you've got it. Why don't you do this instead of, like, your day job? Can't. It's more important than my day job, isn't it? That's what earns the company money and that. Know what I mean? Well. So. What you do, why don't you do a regular show then? Sack someone who's, you know, quite well, frankly not put in the way. I've done that. I did that years ago. What do you mean? It, done it. Told you, I've done a lot of stuff. Boxing. Done. <laughs> tick. Dancing. Done. No, you I turned out, the place was shut. <laughs> yeah, but dancing? When did you do dancing? That's when he, t when he went and said I want to do dancing, and he went along to the, the place and it was shut and that was it. And he said <laughs> I didn't do it anymore. That's not doing it, is it? Boxing, <laughs> he had a fight with one lad, then the lad beat him up and he didn't go again. <laughs> Oh dear, it's pathetic. Well anyway, yeah, so this uh, is basically our penultimate show. Next week's the, the final, and uh, we're all looking forward to that enormously. Yeah. But uh, that may be it forever then, and uh, this, this, you know, all for one, all, all, you know, one for all, all for one, the Three Musketeers, gone forever. Yeah. I for one will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, You've got something on your air, you know. Monkey news? Well, I was gonna say, the winner. I don't think anyone cares. Oh, come on. It, uh, someone got all of them, didn't they? Well, okay, play it again then. This was Songs of Phrase. We did this The well known earlier. phrase is Galileo, stop talking to me about science, make me television. Galileo! The most.
convoluted, banal quiz on any radio station ever. I mean, I'm including Moyles, Chris Evans, do you know what I mean? Simon Bates. That's worse than anything they ever did. Apparently, uh, Channel 5 have bought the rights. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, anyway, what were the answers, Carl? We had Queen in there, Altered Images, Thomas Dolby, yeah. uh, Beatles, Aretha Franklin, and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Well, extraordinarily, Tracy and John Burton from Colchester and Essex got all of those right. Why they would want the prizes, I've no idea, but... Right, are we, uh, Competition there, come on then, what is it? Oh. Songs of Phrase. Um, what, remind us of this? Um, we got the film one coming up later as well. Oh. But Songs of Phrase is the one where... I, I took a popular phrase from the show. Well, no, it's not a popular phrase from the show. It's sometimes something you said once. Oh. There's this airy Chinese kid. Yeah, and and I get all different bits of songs. So yeah. you know, I make up that sentence, and you have to email in with the artists that you hear. Well, what's right? the popular phrase then? What's this? What's this w popular phrase that's sweeping the nation? Uh, it's what we talked about last week. Go it's, on. Uh, my girlfriend had a problem with a marrow. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Okay. She uh, wasn't your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, but I couldn't find sort of <laughs> no, okay. blind date or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. so seven seven artists it's taken to make up this. Me song girlfriend of phrase. had a problem with her marrow. Well, that's at least eight. So, well, maybe I not. I think I've managed it in seven. Anyway, okay. here we go. Oh, what the, the artist? Well, yeah. listen, the names the of the artists. artists. Yeah, Let's what, get a pen and paper and make a note. What artist are you hearing here? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Very oh, good. Oh, okay. Right, what's so, more? So, uh, what, what are the artists? Uh, uh, my girlfriend good. had a problem with her marrow. We want the yeah. names of the artists. What can we win, Carl? Just, just, just can I just um, recap that story? Um, the girl can't on a blind date. Um, but when he found out that this girl had some sort of bone marrow problem, he said he didn't want to see her anymore. What's the point in getting to know someone that's going to die? <laughs> yeah. So just that's what you're dealing with. That is what you're dealing with with Carl Pilkington. Would you buy a car with a Duff engine? <laughs> 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 it's a fair point. Ricky Dotchervase at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> Anyway, Go listen, we're sorry, we better get back to the competition. I'm worried that we've, uh, we've lost sight of that competition, because I'm not gonna lie to you, we've had no entries whatsoever so far. <laughs> I can't believe that, because I actually got up most of those. That's actually a more accessible one. I knew, I, I think I know all the artists and I'm stuck on, um, uh, Girlfriend, but I think I might know who that is. Let's hear it again. I'm Bye. surprised. <laughs> Now I think that's a pretty accessible one. An eh? accessible quiz. Yeah. So no one's is the email up or no one's listening. No. Well, I think there's a little bit of that, but um, we I think we've accidentally closed down the texting. Oh. So if if you're texting in, this <laughs> don't is rubbish. It really is awful, isn't it? Yeah. Just just play it again. Hang on a minute. Bye. <laughs> I'll tell you what it was, we didn't give out the prizes. We didn't say what the prizes oh. were gonna be. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the emails are gonna go oh mental yeah. when they when they find out it's the first series of open all hours on VHS, they'll okay, be uh, yeah. flooding in. Let's see what and a got Bridget here. Nielsen video. Exactly. Right. Oh dear. Oh, no, God. actually, it's not too bad. Go on. The best air guitar albums in the uh, yeah, in the that's world. still going. That's <laughs> volume that's one and green. <laughs> That'll keep running and running. Uh, Some kind of anniversary box set of a Doctor Who episode with a small model one car. What's that, baby? I'm Alan Partridge series two. That's yeah. worth having, obviously. And yeah. Porridge series three. Okay, good. If not uh, watched all of them on UK Gold. Then <laughs> <them> on <DVD. laughs> there's something wrong with you. <laughs> all right. So yeah, let's hear it again. All right. Bye. Bye. Just name the artist, that's all we want, just yeah. the artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have we got the results? Yeah. Go on then, what are they? Uh, play songs of phrase. Again, this, okay, this, songs this of phrase. The phrase. These are the songs. Bye. Bye. My girlfriend had a problem with a marrow. The answer's Sinatra. Prince, Billy, uh, Bill Medley, uh, U2, Shirelles, there was also Dub Pistols in there, 
no, well, no, no one got all of them, Carl, obviously. Um, but we'll give it to Mark Cantan. He got, uh, what did he get, about six or something? Yeah. Well done, he's from Dublin, Good. so that's nice. All I've done here, I've been through a, you know, I uh, don't know what the word is, a, a bad experience. Trauma. A trauma, yeah, I've been through a load of trauma. Mm. So I'm just finishing it off with a little sort of picture for people. Go on then. In my ward. I know it's called my ward. Me, a Chinese fella and an old bloke who looked like Mr Burns from The Simpsons. Don't know what was wrong with him, but breaking wind was the symptoms. No one visited him or called him. He seemed quite lost to me. As well as wind problems, he had a colostomy. Bye. When I left, I said, see you to the old man. Turned out the other fella wasn't Chinese. He was from Japan. <laughs> I never found out what was up with him. <laughs> You've got a little picture there, haven't you, of me sat in my ward. I'm sat there with that fella who I didn't talk to. The old fella who had wind problems. And that's what a poem is, isn't it? But the detail about you thought he was Chinese and he turned out to be Japanese, how is that evocative? That's just a piece of misinformation. It's just I like, like it. I imagine a lot of people make it I like it, because you know why? It's like, he even makes digressions within his poem. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, he could have gone back and erased that, but he didn't. He left, he left that digression in, and I think that's, that's great. There was a man on the radio doing poetry, says Carl in his diary. I thought I'd have a go at doing a poem about today. <clears throat> Not really. He had, Steve, I'm, I'm a little bit queasy. He hasn't really written a poem. He's written a, a small poem. No, he hasn't really. Yes. If moths had eyes... <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> let, let me read the poem, OK? <laughs> oh, fuck. He wouldn't interrupt T.S. Eliot. OK, 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 OK. Oh, OK. If moths had eyes, would they be happier? How do they know they're not dead? <laughs> Cavemen hunting for food, but not before they style the hair on their head. What would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. Hey, it may be the greatest poem no, ever written. Just, just, you know, dissecting it briefly, you attempt to rhyme in the first four lines, but abandon the rhyming system in the last three. Is there a creative decision can we have, for that? Can we have Carl read that? By Sorry, means, yes. just, uh, no, just, you, just you read it as you would like to... So this is, uh, imagine this, right, okay. This is going out all over the world, this, this podcast. And now, um, Carl Pilgner, the new poet from Manchester, now living in uh, London, England, would like to read a, a poem. If moths had eyes, would they be up here? <laughs> How do they know they're not dead? Cavemen hunting for food but not before they style the air on their head. <sighs> what would last longer in dinosaur times? A blind man didn't stand a chance. Not with all them rocks about. I'd rather be a blind moth. <laughs> <laughs> he said it as though the last bit was going to rhyme. <laughs> he said it like it was going to rhyme. Oh, God! No, I, think, amazing, I think I, I think Stop. he feels I think he feels as though the final line <laughs> I'd rather be a blind moth is going to be one of those great you know those, it, a summation that the, somehow the moth is a metaphor I'd the caveman be a blind moth. no but there's no I'm metaphor doing, in that he really does mean he'd, he'd rather, rather be, be a blind, blind moth. moth yeah well I'm just because I've looked at the day's news can we always do that Carl can we always find a day right and always sum it up in, in your in thoughts a poem. a poem just like that. Jellyfish, when they, were, when they first came out, they were nothing. Jellyfish are, are, are nothing, aren't they? They're just a blob. <laughs> so When they first came out, <laughs> when they were first released. I knew and, by wrong <laughs> yeah. Ah, But what I'm saying is, even though they were nothing, they've grown to have a bit of something. <laughs> just to get by in a busy place. Which I don't know same. what you're talking about. It's, it's all guesswork and conjecture. It's not guesswork. I've been it's all nonsense. Week. I've been reading all this and watching stuff. Carl, you haven't learned anything. Well, that's not entirely true, because he's obviously learnt enough to have written a poem about some of these subjects. Oh, I love his poems. Are you getting into poetry now, properly? I really like it, yeah. Um, is Carl going to read this for me, Steve? If you want him to. I think so. I did one about my kidneys. What was it called? Uh, didn't have a name, he doesn't need it. 
Uh, Ode to a Nephron. Right, I did two about jellyfish. Excellent. Uh, I don't like jellyfish. They're not a fish, they're just a blob. They don't have eyes, fins or scales like a cod. They float about blind, stinging people in the seas, and no one eats jellyfish with chips and mushy peas. <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> and then there's just a shorter one about a jellyfish. Um, it would be spiteful to put jellyfish in a trifle. Uh, so. <laughs> that's great that's really good because it's jelly he's 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 done us there yeah, Steve. yeah 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 that's yeah, a really yeah. good poem it would be spiteful to put jellyfish in a trifle yeah. a little okay. half rhyme yeah um do you want the one about my kidneys yeah uh for god's sake my belly ache the doctor said it's my kidney he said he's got a stick of tube up my knob. I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> For God's sake, knob ache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, God. I'm sort of mildly disappointed that they're quite good. Yeah, yeah. No poet's ever written about jellyfish and kidneys. It's great. Oh, God, I think you might have the market sewn up there. <laughs> it is. It would be spiteful to put a jellyfish in a trifle. You've done another poem? Yeah, you said, you know, just, just do one. If you have a day where you've had a lot of emotions... Well, I, I loved the poem, and so did uh, the listeners, and I knew they would, so if you can do that every week, that would be a joy well, you for can't, me. You can't force a poem, though. No, I so know. So is easy to do, because you just write down yeah. what you're doing. But yeah. you, you've got to have some really meaty subject matter to be able to write a poem, Rick, as you'll discover. I know. Right, so, you know, you've heard what problems I had that day. Go on, then. Bubbled wallpaper. What a mess. <clears throat> Washer dry and knackered. What a mess. Siamese twins separated. One leg less. <laughs> I don't know what rhyming scheme that is again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Okay, man. Anything you can remember from school that you learned that you had to maybe uh, memorize? French. French. Not necessarily French. You could <laughs> anything. Be. Anything you can remember. This can be anything you remember from school. Apart from the orange stuff stops cancer. Yeah. <laughs> It's not the cough that carries you off, it's the <laughs> coughing that carry you off in. <laughs> Look at your eyes, Steve, where's your cough? Go on. Right, this one. Um, remember Blockbusters? Uh-huh. Right, this one, this one is good and we'll do this one. Uh, Rockbusters. And remember how Bob Olmos used to give you a letter? Yeah. And, uh, um, it'd give you a question and the answer to that question is that letter. Yes. Right, well it works like that, so if I said to you, um, yeah, I'll test it out in you, Steve, right? Um, Right, welcome to the show on that. Hello. Um, let's, let's play. Right, and I say, right, your first one is W. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cryptic clue, because it's done like crosswords. Okay. Um. So not quite like blockbusters. Well. Um, this young man prepared for his death. Right. And it's a W, so the answer. And it's not always going to be like our sort of music, it can be any sort of music that's out there. So the W is the name of? Of the answer. I understand that, but is the answer always the band name, or is it, is yeah. it, it, it's always the band name, is it, or the artist? Yeah. And, it, and so would the W be the surname, or would you have both the initials if it was someone's name? Would Elvis Presley be EP? Don't no. get annoyed, Carl. No. These are, these, these <laughs> are questions, questions that I knew would be asked. I know this, he tested it on me. So you've got to tell them. Well, well, the point. The rules. If, if it was Elvis, I'd probably do, uh, I'd do E. No, 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 give him the answer. Give him the answer. Right, did you hear the clue? No, give me the clue again then. So the, the, the letter is It w. is a cryptic clue, it's and the w. clue's fine, Listen, but and the on. clue is, this young man prepared for his death. This young man prepared for his death. Yeah. This young man prepared for his death. And it's a W, and it's his first name. That's what he needs well, to see, know. Well, see, that's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't... Well, shouldn't we have the initials? Wouldn't that make it easier? I mean, yeah, but they didn't do that on Blockbusters, it just had one letter. Yeah, they did. No, they did, they, they did. did if it was a, if... A gold run they often had a f three or four did they? letters, yeah. Well, it was normally just one word. It wouldn't have been a name or something. Mm. All right, then. W... W, uh, Y. W, Y. Will Young. Excellent.
I right, didn't so understand it. What was the young will man, prepared young... for this young man? So he's sort of mi mixed, sort of cryptic. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a good effort. That's better than yeah. usual. No, it's, that is better than it's usual. not bad, is it? So should we, do you want to play, let's play Rockbusters. Yeah, Rockbusters. Uh, yeah. How many of these have you got? No, because no, just, 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 wait, 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 wait. let's just clarify a couple of rules here, Carl. Let's just make sure we thought everything through, because I'm pretty certain when they get these things on TV, they at least have a go at them in the office first, <laughs> before they put them straight on there. I'm sure that's how it works. I'm sure Bob Ollis just didn't turn up the first day, and he goes, up, we're all wingy, it'll be fine. Bring the students in, let's have a go. I'm sure they did uh, a bit of preparation. So let's just check, uh, we've got everything, every base covered. Yeah, I've Firstly, got... how many questions have they got? I'll tell you what, let's do this off air then. Bad news is we have got enough callers to play Carl's game. Okay. The good news is we don't have to play any more adverts. Yeah. In this show. So, uh, if it doesn't work, sod it. Right, who have you got on the line, Carl? Sam. Now let's just remind ourselves, what's the game? It's Rockbusters. Okay, now calm down, Carl. Right, I know you're a bit stressed. You've got a lot to do, but don't worry, you've just had a holiday. Throw this desk out. Just throw it, let's throw it out and start again. Rick, don't get stressed. Go on then. People, it, people wouldn't think it was us if this show wasn't, you know, half-baked and <laughs> ill-formed and, <laughs> and generally shoddy. That's right. what they've grown to love. <laughs> okay. All right. Sam? Hello. Is it sounding all right today? It is. It's just about. All right. Cheers. Sounded worse. <laughs> right, then. Good. Well, and, uh, so we've got Sam on the line. <laughs> Who else have we got there? Yes, so we've got, uh, we've got Tim as well, haven't we? Hi there. All right, Tim. Yeah, Tim and Sam. Right, you, okay. you sound quite similar, lads. Could one of you affect an accent or something? Um... Which one's Tim? Yeah, it's me. Okay, which one's Sam? It's Sam. That's it's slightly deeper, slightly deeper, deeper yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they're not okay. against the clock anyway, are they? So it doesn't really matter. I suppose not. So... No, I think Steve just wanted a bit of variety. Yeah. You, uh... <laughs> okay. You understand the rule, lads? <laughs> Could you explain them to us? <laughs> <laughs> right, play it. Okay, right, hang on, wait, 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 let me, let me explain, because, I mean, life is too short. Now, Carl's gonna read out, um, uh, say three clues, yeah, and, um, just, just shout your own name and answer it, or shout the answer. Shout your own name, then the answer, if you know, and it's the person who gets the most right. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um, um... Here we go, then. Okay, then. So, so, so shouldn't it be the first of three? Well, yeah, but then yeah, he yeah. hasn't got... Yeah, he's he's got, got, got enough, I've got enough, it's fine. He's got enough clues for that. Mm. Right then, here we go. Welcome oh. to the show. Uh, oh, God. Right, uh, <laughs> first initials, S, T, right? Is that right? S -T. Well, I don't know. Oh, we don't know, do we? How do we know? Here we go. S, T, and the cryptic clue is better than the average homeless person. Okay? Sorry, I, I think, is that a band? Yeah. Is it an old band? Yeah. I think that's one word. All right, then, S. S. It's an old 70s band. Uh, better than the average homeless Tim. person. Tim? Go on. Super Tramp. Super yes. Tramp well it is. Yeah. Well yeah. done. One point two. I have no idea why that's right, by the way. You don't know, you don't understand why it's a right? Soup is a super tramp. Oh, right. Better okay. than the average oh, homeless cryptic, person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cryptic. Yeah. Okay, second one. Come on, Sam, you've got a... That's actually okay. quite good for Carl. Trust me, Tim. That's, I mean, take that. Take that as a good clue. Cause, <laughs> yeah, okay. We won't do this again. <laughs> right, one nil right, to here two. We go. Right. F. The letter is F. That's the next one we're moving on to. And the cryptic clue is the little girl is hungry. What shall we do? The S or F? I've F. got it. F. 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 Freddy. Sam. Feed her. Yes. One all. Feed her. He's pulled out. Feed of her. her. <laughs> yeah. Feed her. Okay. Yeah. So that's one each. So this is the decider, isn't it? Wait a minute. ITV are on the phone. <laughs> Well, you said first to three, so no, it's not, is it? That's what I said. Just do the three clues, and yep. who gets the most? Okay, well, we can do that now. So, <laughs> here we go. I love this. This is rubbish. Go on. So, here's, here's, here's the last one. The initials are A K, right? And the cryptic clue is exploding pet. Say, shout out your name if you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Last orders at the bar, please. Last orders at the bar. <laughs> Exploding pet. A K. You're tuned to XFM 104.9, Carl Perkinson's Quiz, Rockbusters. The format is still available. <laughs> the highest bidder, please give us a call or you can email ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is it a band or a singer? It's, I'll give you a bit more of a clue. It's, it's a, a pop band. Okay, we, we wouldn't have- no, Tommy Kitten. Yes! Oh, this is amazing radio. Oh. So who was that that won? That was Sam who won. So it's 2-1 to Sam, so he wins- what does he win, Carl? He wins some CDs and some videos. No, he's got a- and, uh, what, <coughs> and, uh, obviously now, Sam, if you're ready, take the spot, you're gonna do the gold run. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go, Carl. 
I haven't got any more. You're a fool. Right, right, stay on the line. We're giving both some presses. Play a record. For, I just... Rick, I'm gonna shoot off. This is, this is the moment we've uh, all been looking forward to. Uh, <laughs> do you want to tease him with the prizes? <laughs> no. <laughs> not really, because they no. might not bother phoning in. Or, <laughs> oh, it's not a phone, or is it? It's an email. All right. Okay, yeah. well, let me, a quick reminder then, we've got to the office. I don't want people to think that we'll just keep plugging the office DVD. <laughs> we've got nothing else to give away. No, no one gives anything away. No, no that's just hanging around in Carl's little room. Did you get a guy from HMV just to nick- did you get a guy just nick these from HMV the and carry them out? In the ponytail. Was that yeah. the story? Yeah. So we got the Office uh, DVD, obviously. Uh, we got uh, the remix, uh, XFM's remix album, uh, Volume Two. That's uh, sort of remixes of various tunes. Quite a good little compilation album here. One of those kind of the best Coldplay, Travis, Oasis, blah 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 albums in the world Excellent. ever. And Let's uh, take some of them because yeah. there's nothing in the library. <laughs> exactly. Have a look on there. Four Alanis Morissette, nine Catatonia. <laughs> I just counted in that. But thing. Uh, the big one, the big star prize that you're all playing for is, of course, the DVD <laughs> widescreen version of Children of the Corn, <laughs> Stephen King's horror film. Lest we forget, it's got Peter Horton <laughs> as the star. <laughs> so, so look forward to that. Um, are we g we're gonna uh, give Shadow away separately, are we? We're gonna uh, do that separately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll give away the, sh the DJ Shadow tickets at a separate Right, so we're playing for those DVDs and CDs. And what and we're it's an email do, competition, don't bother e phoning Email, you. yeah, the phone lines are lighting up a bit, so we'll put the phone down, get the computer started up, yep. and it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you know the answers to these, right? And the way it works, we did it last week, but if you didn't hear it, I'll give you some initials and like a bit of a cryptic clue. So, and, uh, you work out who the band is or the artist, okay. right? It's always, it's always a band or an artist, it's not any TV programmes and that. Uh -huh. So, uh, say like last week we had, um, uh, we had S, didn't we? And it was, uh, better than the average homeless person, and that was Super Tramp, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not always XFM music, it can be anything. And there's three of them, um, They've got to get all three of them. You've got to get all three See, and email in. I know. How long this intro so far has <laughs> exactly. taken. Yeah, but, but, but here we go then, right? right. First initials, L-R. L-R. L-R, okay. right? Yeah. And the cryptic clue is, uh, I'll You should have thought it through. You should have thought it out before you came in. Yeah, yeah. cryptic clue. You got it. Yeah. Um, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Yeah. Yeah. L-R. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. And don't shout out if you know the answer, cause... No. Nope. No idea, Carl. No idea. Right, okay, so there's one. Right, the second one, F L. F L. This one's actually been emailed in as a suggestion. Okay. Uh, that person who's done that, don't email in, cause you're disqualified <laughs> from the comp. Uh, so... <laughs> I'd love him to be a teacher. So... <laughs> It'd be great, wouldn't it? Just to see him one day. Can't we do that? Can't we get you a placement somewhere to, for you to teach history to sort of like, you know, 14 year olds? I think science, Rick. Science would be good, yeah. Right. Uh, 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 I'll tell you what, uh, you got a lot of, um, t just quickly, for me, Carl, explain, say, um, what can we get him to explain that everyone learns the kid science? Uh, photosynthesis? <laughs> <laughs> Right. So F L, right? F L are the letters and the cryptic clue. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. Blow okay. the candles out before you eat the cake. The letters there. F L. All right. right. We got L R. We got F L. Yeah. And finally, the third one. N S. Hold on. How many have they got to get? Three. Three. Don't worry. There's no more after this, right? Right. N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so very quickly recap, just in case we missed any. Oh. L, L R is the first one. L R. I'll take that book to the toilet with me. Cryptic clue. N. Uh, we had F L. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. And the final one, N S. How can I wash up in something shaped like that? If you think you know the bands, you just email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. You win the DVDs, the CDs, and uh, that's it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's great, isn't he? I could just, I could sit here and watch him all day do this. Well, um, so Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co uh, co uk, and we'll give the answers out just before you know we finish, because okay. then we'll keep them up. All right. Okay. Carl, well, just briefly, this is uh, module four uh, a uh, natural history. Yeah, uh -huh. just. Just briefly explain, um, uh, evolution. Since, you know, natural selection, origin of the species, Darwin, just briefly describe. That's the monkey thing. <laughs>
Competition answer time, is it, Carl? Yeah, we did, uh, we did this, like, uh, about an hour ago. Rockbusters. Yeah. Rockbusters. With Carl Bilkington. Yeah, uh, I gave you some initials. The initials sort of, uh, made up a band. We had LR, we had, uh, NS. Yeah, we had FL. Well, give us the clues, give us the clues and the answers. what? Right, so, LR, the clue was, I'll take that book to the toilet with me. the answer? Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Good. That's very good. That's very good, Carl, wasn't it? Right, okay, next one. FL. Blow the candles out before you eat the cake. Yeah. yeah? We just play them. Flaming Flame lips. lips. There we are. Very okay. Good. And the final one was <laughs> NS. How can I wash up in something shaped like this? Yeah. That was N Sync. Yeah. <laughs> N Sync. N Sync. It'd be a bit. N Sync. If you had a sink, you wash up in a sink. Yeah. Shaped like an N. You'd be like, oh, I've got <laughs> everything out. So, so, has anyone got that? Wow. Right, well, so no, there are right answers, I have to say, Carl. You've done very well. It was a, an enormous response. I'm just gonna click on one of these emails randomly. I'm not even gonna look. Who we got here? We've got Kath Turner is the winner. Kath Turner gets those great, uh, DVDs and just CDs. Like Kath including- Kath watching Children of the Corn tonight. Children of the Corn! She, she was going Children out, but corn. I imagine she's gonna can't- she's gonna phone a few friends and say, I can't come out, I'm ill. <laughs> exactly. They go, you're not- you're, you're not watching a- <laughs> Two in the corner, I go, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. And no. Uh, we've learnt as well that there are about, uh, five other sequels to Children of the Corn, so maybe we'll give those away. Yeah. Competition time, Carl? Oh, Carl's looking forward to this. He's just getting all stressed about his half hour, like it, like Pete. Oh, go on. Go no, on, it's sorry. just, uh, we should have done this a lot earlier. Cause Why? Just keep him, it keeps him locked in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, uh, if you haven't heard the game before, I'll give you some initials, bit of a cryptic clue, and those initials and the cryptic clue makes up some band. Not, might not be an XFM band. But it's a band or a pop group or an artist or something. Yeah. Uh, it's on What's email. the feature called though? What's the feature called? called? Rockbusters. Rockbusters. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you want to, uh, will we do this on email? I think we ought to because you don't like taking calls from the public, do you? Well, he can't work the machine. No, <laughs> that's absolutely yeah. right. It's yeah. not that, it's just that then ev it's pretty fair for everyone. Anyone who's like got a computer, you mean? So it's open to anyone who's got, you know, a computer or a laptop at their disposal at this <laughs> precise moment. Anyway, uh, there's some cracking prizes, Rick, you'll be pleased to know that, oh, see, once again, uh, Carl has, uh, managed to collect together an arbitrary assortment of, uh, just looking around, looking around the office. I, I mean, where did you get these from? Did you just, n did you, w I mean, seriously, where did you get them from? Because it's right, such what, an arbitrary what, collection. What have we got there? I don't know what kind of a person would want these items. Right. <laughs> it's on. such an arbitrary selection, I don't know what kind of person you'd be. Read them out, what have we got? Well, uh, there's a, a another, uh, XFM compilation which obviously you've obviously nicked from somewhere in the office. Yeah, it's Fair a good, enough. good compilation, remix to uh, the album. Uh, there's an album here which is a promo album with two pigs on the front. I think it's the Smashing Pump Friends Live. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be yeah, certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the album, didn't we give this one away last week? This well, is yeah. just a, an arbitrary compilation album, again one of those kind of, Is uh, that the actual one you didn't send, Carl? No, no. Oh, I've got, got a couple I've of them. I've got a job lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, oh, surprise, The Office oh. on DVD, right. um, which is ludicrous. <laughs> oh, I've then... seen it from here. What film, if it, like, listen, listen, uh, dear, dear XFM listener, it's half two, you know, it's just, uh, a bit windy out, you're- Probably gonna stay in this evening. Maybe do a bit of shopping, you, you got, and then, uh, in a stand evening. Oh, what film would you really want to- No, I mean, seriously, think, if you could see one film, right, what would you want to DVD, see? DVD, One DVD, of the big one releases. Of, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's, put them out of their misery, Steve. They'll be watching this tonight if they're a lucky winner. It's the movie Stigmata. <laughs> Stigmata with <laughs> Patricia Arquette and Gabriel Byrne. <laughs> um, oh, so look forward to that. That's great. That's the big that one. That is brilliant. You're playing oh, for. look at Carl's face. He's actually offended because he puts. He's the only one that puts any work into this show, and he's got s competitions. He's got educating Ricky Rockbuster. He's got, got, got the song with a story. He's got a song with a story to come that he's like <sighs> traveling. Oh, gone through him. I it's know. unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so you're playing for, uh, that for collection of arbitrary goodies, plus the big prize this week, Stigmata, featuring Gabriel Byrne. Oh, oh dear. Uh, about Go a woman who I think, um, starts bleeding from the hands. It's a horror okay. film, I think. You'll have to be, uh, 18 or over I've to take it. part. I've seen it. It's not, it's not terrible. Sure. It's all, all right, but Is it better than, uh, Children of the Corn? <laughs> which was a big giveaway <laughs> last week. I haven't seen Children of the Corn. Go on yeah. then. Right, so, uh, so Next week, Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> Go on. Here's, Go on. Here's the, uh, And Tony Banks's own <laughs> solo <laughs> <Yeah>. album, Bank <laughs> Statement. <laughs> Tony Banks, remember, is the, uh, uh musician uh, from the Much Love Genesis. But we've got that album to give away. Alright then. So, uh, 
Right. To so win those exclusive prizes. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, you've got to email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I saw a sellotape dispenser out in the, uh, uh, There's a pair of want. gloves that I don't know who's out, but they're out there and they've been there for a week, so. A pair of well. gloves, a sellotape, a sellotape dispenser, uh, and Tony Banks' solo <laughs> album. <laughs> Banks' <laughs> statement. Yep. Okay, go on. Right, first one. Yeah. Initials JT. Initials right. JT? What's the Initial cryptic clue? Cryptic clue. At the moment, I'm in a river full of logs. Hold on. Yeah? JT, and what's the clue again? At the moment, I'm in a river full of logs. Full of logs? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, who could it be? JT, at the moment, I'm in a river full of logs. Yeah, go on, right, next second one. second one, there's three of them you gotta get. Letter is W. Yeah. Uh, the clue, that lad's got bad asthma. That lad has got bad asthma. I've got that asthma. one already. I've got that yeah, one already. W. Yeah, W. Yeah. And okay. finally, the last one mm. is the letter C. Yeah. And, uh, the cryptic clue is. Um, Carl is one of these. <laughs> um, Mousetrap is that musical, isn't it? This isn't the clue, by the way. It is called Mousetrap, isn't it? There's not the, a musical. It's not a musical, it's a but play. it's a, a who done it sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> right, here's a clue. I saw that, uh, <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that on the real blockbusters. Yeah, mate. Bob Owen's going, oh, can we stop a minute? Oi, um, you with the nine teddy bears there. <laughs> Mouse up, that's a show, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I think so, Bob, yeah. Right, okay, here we go. Yeah, carry so, on. So, so the camera's back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the letter is C, and yeah. the cryptic clue. Uh, I saw that mouse trap the other night, uh, but the heating in the, in the theatre was what? knackered. What? The heating, the heating in the theatre was knackered, right? Ruined it. Well, we've got that one already as well. Yeah. I mean, these are th 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 uh, the first ones are hard, but the so, those two so are just ridiculous. quick reminder. JT was the first one. At the moment, I'm in a river full uh, full of logs. Full of logs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second one, W. That lad's got bad asthma. Uh huh. Yeah. And the last one, l uh, C. I saw that mouse trap the other night, but the uh, the heating in the theatre was knackered sure. and uh, ruined the whole thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and uh, Ricky well, Gervais at xfm .uk is the email address. You can win. I'm confused. Uh, various full of logs, treats, including I'm in a stigmata. I'm in a Gabriel river Brown. full of logs. Yeah. I'm in a river full of logs. Well, we'll do it in about twenty minutes. Yeah, you've got to stay tuned right. for the answers. It's not. It's not the quickest, so don't go rushing and sort of messing it up. Think about it. They've got to be given away, Rick. They've got to be given away. This um, is Rockbuster. We've uh, got, uh, obviously the big prize, Stigmata, this week. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna give the prize to, uh, to Ira, I think it's Ira or Ira, but she, she or he, uh, emailed in, uh, the right answers and then said if you could enclose the receipt for Stigmata, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> 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 uh, but I'm amazed by the number of responses we've had. And someone wants a copy of Tony Banks' uh, solo yeah. album, which I was mucking around, so I would be better buy that in the week to give it away, because I think that would be an amazing prize to give away. If you right, just give the clues Do again. the clues give and the then just give the answer. answer. Right. Come on. What the answers are. Right, well, the one that everyone was struggling with was the first one. Yeah. So I'll save that, so we'll go to the second one. W. Yeah. That lad's got bad asthma. Yeah, we know that. What that was it? Weezer. Yeah. yeah. Good one, well done. Uh, the last one, uh, C. The clue was, uh, I saw that mouse trap the other day. Uh, the heating was knackered in the restaurant. Yeah. In the restaurant? In the, the theatre. Yeah. And uh, it ruined the night. Yeah. yeah, so it was a cold play, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a cold yeah. play. Yeah. And, uh, JT, uh, at the moment, I'm No, in I can't think of this one. At the moment, I'm in a river full of logs. Well, I have to say there were some wrong answers. I, what was it again? It was Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Uh, we had some wrong answers that included Jethro Tull and James Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that relates to it at all. I'm annoyed at Lake yeah. when he clearly said river. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's the first thing that cropped up. Not I'm in some water full of logs at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm in some water full of logs. But he actually had to say river, <laughs> so not Lake. That annoys me. I mean, I didn't get it, fair enough. I should have worked it out. I should have tried to think like you. Get it. A lot of people obviously think like you, which is, yeah. which I'm, you know, worried about. But yeah, uh, I didn't say that. It's great. <laughs> Rockbusters. <laughs> yeah, go on. I, I give a cryptic clue. Yeah. And <laughs> and a letter, and it makes up a band. He right? never said the word cryptic a few months ago. I love it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I feel it's like our own little Eliza Doolittle. Yes. <laughs> right. Even Richard will like this one. Mhm. Mm um, here we go then. First one. There's I three of them. Go on. And you email in. If this doesn't turn Dicky round, nothing will. Right. This is an email only competition. Email only. Um, right. Here's the first one. Uh, initial is B, so it's B. a band starting with B. Okay. And the cryptic clue is, I don't like them birds, uh, they shouldn't be allowed in this area. I don't like them birds, they shouldn't be allowed in this area. Next one. Right, the next one. Uh, he doesn't like women, yet he's got a couple of kids, that's a bit weird. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> is that a cryptic clue or is that just <laughs> Is that just a, is that just a general know? point? Is that that's, yeah. that's the cryptic clue. Okay. And the initials there are P D. Okay. And uh the last one. Uh that oh, one. I've got that one. That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, quickly. Oh, <laughs> oh God. And the last one is uh oh, God. that bloke who does <laughs> <laughs> Come on! He's making me laugh. Come on, Carl. Be professional. Right, right, right the last one. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, it's making me laugh. Oh, come on, I'll well, uh, come and read them then. No, no, hang uh, on, hang on, hang on. Come on, Carl. Right, here we go. They don't do this <laughs> on Blockbusters on TV, do they? No, come right. on. That bloke who does sport on telly. <laughs> 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 He's got a little kid, right? Uh, initials DC. Uh, what? Right? Is that, was that the clue? I'm completely confused by that. Was that the clue? Yeah, that bloke who does sport on telly. Yeah. He's got a little kid. Initials DC. Okay, is that a band? Um, what an artist? Uh, it's oh, well, I'm a not cheese. Tell you. I'm this not is a well known sandwich. <laughs> is it? A, what is it? Is it Fine. a band or an artist? Right, so just quickly recap. That's okay. It's, 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 it's a Come D. on, Carl. Right. Come on. Quick, quick recap. The first one is B. I don't think them birds should be around in this area. Right. That's B. <laughs> right. Second one. He doesn't like women yet. He's got a few kids. It's a bit weird. That's P D. And the final one. That bloke who does sport on the telly. He's got a little kid. Right. D C. Okay, right. Um, the the uh, results of um, we, what we ain't got a winner for the first time. Yes, uh, we, we have. We've, we've done, done this feature for. We've got loads of winners. No, we haven't. We've done it, this feature for three weeks. This is the first time I've um, I've managed to sort of. What? Well, let's go through them then. They're what have they got wrong? The first one. The right, first one. What was the first one? Well, hang on. Let's, let's just let's just let's do them in reverse order first. So what's what's the last one? The last one. The clue was that bloke does does sport on the telly and he's got a little kid. What's that? That's Destiny's Child. Des, who does ITV Sport, oh, that's has got terrible, a Tiny's man. Child, right? No, that's, they, that's cut fine, yeah, they got that. Okay, Destiny's that. Child. What's the one? What's the one? What's the middle one? Right, Destiny's Child. Right? Child. The second one was, yeah. uh, he doesn't like women, yet he's got a couple of kids, uh, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Right? That was PD, that was Puff Daddy. That is offensive. Go on. But that, it's not Puff Daddy, it's Puff Daddy. And he's not even called that anymore, he's called P. Diddy. Well. Okay, yeah, fair enough. But they got that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, and if, so if I'm being tight, these lot are as well. Yeah, yeah. Um. Tight means means something in Manchester. Go on. Right. And the first, the first one that they, they're having problems with, I don't think them birds should be a, allowed in this They've area. They've got it. Boys' Zone. It's not, it's not Boys' Zone. It's, th what's the clue again? I don't think them birds should be allowed in this area. That is perfect. A boy Zone. No birds. No women. No women, yeah, birds, right? A boy zone. Sorry, Carl. If that isn't the answer, their clue is better than yours. That is brilliant. What was yours? Boy zone, it works perfectly. What's your answer then? Bangles. <laughs> what? I have no idea what that means. Like seagulls. So you, you don't want them in this area, so you're banning them. Bangles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, give it to Boy Zone because Boy Zone's better. Don't be allowed this area. It's a Boy Zone. I think zone. we should have a rollover. <laughs> Carl beat them. Carl beat them. You have to use his logic. Surely. But there's works. You can't do what am I thinking? No, that's not what I'm thinking. It perfectly. It works perfectly. I think you've got to give it to the the ones that got the the Boy Zone. Well, how about right? Because they didn't actually get into my my head. Th my well, thinking, heaven right? forbid. How about we just keep back the David Attenborough and they can have? I'll chuck in the L Razor. Right. <laughs> Prizes. Yes. Them. Rockbusters. Yeah. It's, uh, one of the big exciting quiz shows and this may be one of your last chances to play. There's rumours that it's gonna get ditched, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> rumours there that Carl Wilkinson, the creator and mastermind behind it, has already <laughs> grown tired of it. <laughs> it's off in the way. You heard them earlier on, the very best of the Stone Roses from that. We sure, played, uh, sure. I Wanna Be Adored. That's one of the prizes. That's a nice little, uh, Christmas compilation. Second hand now then, really, isn't it? Second hand, yeah. yeah. 50 years of the greatest hit singles. I'll tell you there's some great stuff on here. Oh, Opens, Rick, with, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. One of the, one of the big, biggest, uh, number ones of all time. If you've not heard that enough already, you're followed then by, uh, John Lennon's Imagine, Candle in the Wind, Elton John, you've got, uh, all, all on sorts one of CD, Stephen. Well, it's, uh, they've These chosen, are some the they, rock they've chosen some of the best songs by some of the best artists. Go on. Uh, Paul McCartney's Mull of Kintyre. <laughs> <laughs> That's on there. Uh, we've got, uh, let me see, Culture That is Club pretty impressive though, because they are real big classic number ones as opposed to, you know, the, 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 the song by the artist they didn't really care about. You see those things on, uh, this? is not available in the shops and it's, you know, the second
second best song artists have done. It seems odd that we're giving it away on XFM because it includes uh, Robbie Williams' Angels, yeah. uh, Atomic Kittens' Whole Again, Spice sure. Girls' Wannabe, Connie Minogue's uh, Can't Get Out of the Head, and I think it closes, well it almost closes with Steps' Tragedy. That's the penultimate track. It ends though. Uh, any ideas? Yes. Big, big hit single. But Do they know it's Christmas Band Aid? Perfect for your uh, Christmas sure, party. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, we've sure. also got the uh, Groove Armada current album. Is that yeah, from them? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And signed by the man himself, the Big Beach Boutique uh, DVD, Fat Boy Slim's uh, concert on that Brighton Beach. And uh, there's all kinds of treats on there. Uh, and includes a um, an audio commentary <laughs> by, Nor by Norman Cook. I don't know how that works. Three hours of him going, this is where the needle almost jumps. Yeah, Watch exactly. this I did a little bit of scratching. I'm not very good at scratching, but just look uh, forward to that. I'm putting a, putting a different track. You'll see me there. Yeah. There's the crowd loving it. Me. I'm just waiting. This is where I, I, put, I, go from, uh, I go from Conga Squad to Basement Jacks. Yeah. Look forward to that. Uh, this one of my own. I'll pop on what you see there. I've got, I've got Praise You Ready on it. <laughs> yeah, I just got, it, that's, got that. That's slightly dusty. I just had to wipe that down with a damp rag. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> look forward to that. <laughs> Plus, uh, I suppose this is good if you're a fan. This is a uh, box set of the first series of Linda Green. I think a new series starts this week or has already started. I'll yeah. tell you what I found when I was clearing up, Rick, because I know it's not a big movie this week. We normally give away a big movie. Oh. I was moving house this week and yeah. I found a video that you're more than welcome to if you're a fan. But um, No, it stars Kurt Russell. Executive decision. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that to give away if you're interested. Uh, Executive decision with Steven Seagal in a uh, cameo as well. So uh, <laughs> oh, great. I think he's I think he's on TV this week, Rick. So if you <laughs> miss it this coming Channel Friday, five? you don't tape it this Friday. Well, here it is on video. Bring videos. it in because I think Carl's excited about that. I think Carl would like to win that, There's wouldn't some you? Great prizes well, there. How about if you come up with an extra Rockbusters today? For the for the, like the bonus prize. I don't think I'm the man for the job, Carl. I think it has to come from your unique yeah. take on the world. Carl, you don't I don't think you've quite worked out why you're funny. Right, and just a quick example, uh, the f one of the first ones we did, it was like AK and the clue was Exploding Pet. Yeah. And it was Atomic, Atomic Kitten, Kitten, right? Yeah. So you understand how it works now. These right. are your clues. The first one, <laughs> um, that army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> so that army has got some well nice trenches. <laughs> Excellent. <Yeah. laughs> and the initials there are <laughs> DW. Do you okay. like some of the questions for 15 to 1? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So that army has got, got some a well similar nice phrasing. Trenches, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second one. Um, what were the initials there, Carl? On that person. D D W. D W. Yeah. Right. Uh, the second one. The top of them curtains are all wrecked. All the materials all worn. <laughs> Out, We've got to get him on telly. We have got to yeah, get him on yeah. telly because his little face and his so that's, his gestures. Yeah, that's and the God. second one. The initials being H V. Okay, the top of those curtains are wrecked. All the materials are all worn out. Right, H V. <laughs> and, <the, laughs> and the final one. Um, here's the final clue. Um, I was in Texas the other week. Right, I tripped and landed on my knees in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the initials? W H for that one. So I was in Texas, I tripped up, landed on my knees in a puddle. So that's W H. Incredible. <laughs> okay, so the first cl clue was uh, that army has got some well nice trenches. Yeah. That was D W. Who's that? Dandy Warhols. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> All right. That's good. Yeah. Uh, the second okay. one. The top of them curtains are wrecked. All yeah. the material is worn. Yeah. H V. That's yeah. uh, Holly Valance. Oh, he got a phone call for a woman saying that I haven't heard it, and she went. She was he was talking to her off air, and she went, eh, "What is it?" Uh, so and so, so them curtains. She went, "All oh, right." He said, "You know the thing around the top of the um, curtain is a palmet, not a valance." And he went, "Cut her off." Yeah, <laughs> but my aunt is always making balances on everything. I'll tell you about that next week. Right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Right. Is this the one that farted for five minutes? Yeah, yeah, the very same. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we'll talk about that. Uh, I was in Texas, I tripped up, I landed on my knees in a puddle, WH, yeah. uh, Wet Knee Houston, right? Wet Knee Houston. Yeah. So you a maniac. Rockbusters. Well, this, what, this, what all, this is what this they're what all reading and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD, we've got the film Human Traffic on DVD, uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2, uh, on CD, uh, Groove Armada's, is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well, they're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the, You uh, will love- you <laughs> didn't think you liked Indy. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> exactly, and that's got, uh, Feeder and Travis and Badly Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. 
plus my own copy, six ninety nine it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington, <laughs> if you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so what right. are the clues? Do you what know what a says? pelican, uh, I read the other day, that mm -hmm. has to turn its head upside down to eat. Give us the clues. So, Rockbusters- Well, let me just explain. A, a bird, a bird has a, has a gullet, an esophagus and a gullet is all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food. Uh, so a bird has to, can only rely on gravity. Yeah. So it, it has to have its head up and has to shake, it can't eat. You were gonna it. say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Rockbusters, um, you mentioned it earlier, one of last week's was, it's a cryptic clue and then some initials. I was in Texas, I fell in a puddle on my knees, knees got wet, uh, WH, Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of thing, thing we can Use of the with. word knee twice there in the cryptic <laughs> clue <laughs> and in the final answer. And the word answer. wet. I think you're yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which is wit. Right. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm writing cryptic these clue. down. Go on. Making it of them. Um, the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E? Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again? The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally, I really, really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. No, give, I think us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. Right, I now I've got that one. Right, okay. so that is great. That's it's Rockbusters. Mm -hmm. It's the results. Yeah. Carl, yeah, yeah. give us the winning answers. Right, Steve, you search for a winner. I so will. At yeah, random. We can yeah. slip into that. So the first one was. The fella's only got one badge left. I have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now? Yeah, Steve? give the answer, yeah. I think on. you should. That was Elastica. <laughs> yeah? E Elastica. The band Elastica. I'm right, not doesn't sure- work. No. Doesn't work. The word- the word sticker and the word- and the ba- yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker, it's Elastica. Yeah, but, like, Elastica. So, <laughs> someone's got it. Oh! Um, so, so, so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is Islastica, then it works. <laughs> God, if only Justin would have named it different. If she'd have just gone, let's call it Islastica, <laughs> then we'd have, yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite? Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done- we've done the obvious Doesn't ones. work. Uh, Doesn't work. Miss Dinner Mate. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dinner Mate, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. They don't count. <laughs> and the last one, <laughs> I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm gonna give you that. That work. yeah. <laughs> Right, um, that's the end of that feature, until you can get ones that work. Okay, so you won't hear any more of that, because <laughs> it's rubbish. You're running out already. So, Rockbusters, um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, you can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. And what's the initial? That's C B. C B. C B. Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. All right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had, a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening. Because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hope he hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's Interesting. that's M. M. Right. right. That Scottish fella has made an error. Right. Okay. And, uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them? Yeah. All right, what's the and that's, there? that's G. G, I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Uh -huh. G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about, CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. All right. 
Scottish <laughs> fella. It doesn't work, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, that Scottish fella's made an error, that's M. And, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M, that's G. Email in, ricky.gervais at XM. Um, first one was stop throwing that fruit about. Stop throwing that fruit about, the that answer is. C B, that was Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Okay, right. yeah, I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The, yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, innit? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fella's made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, does anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in. I'm really, I'm going to right. think it's us then, it's because I, I, I was thinking mistake. I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake, and but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah. Moment, we got rockbusters. Okay. okay. So uh, these are mine. Um, number one, you've been dunking that for too long. That's L B. Right, so oh God, that's too easy. That's yeah, but too I easy. I always tease them, don't I? Give them something to make them feel like they're going to win something, and then I, I hit them hard with a tricky one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, go on. So the first one. So that's the cryptic clue for a band or an artist. Their initials are L B, and yeah. the cryptic clue. You've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one. Uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub because the table ain't big enough. Right. <laughs> Could be an old artist, could be a new one, could be a band. What's the initials? Uh, F D. All right, F D. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. And the final one. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. All right, yeah. that's that's the third cryptic clue. The initials being G K. All right. Yeah. Well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. They're the three clues. All you gotta do is email in ricky.juvay. <laughs> That's great! That's genius! Which one? The last one. Alright. That yeah, is genius. Any, That's the best one you've ever done. Alright. Uh, ricky.juvay's. <laughs> <laughs> That's great! Uh, I'll the middle one. At UK. Okay. Email in them three answers, you win the stuff. Well, you uh, better give us the answers. Let's again. give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was, um, you've been dunking that for too long. That yeah. was LB. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one, isn't it? Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one, because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. That's Gladys that is Knight. brilliant, huh? And the one that, uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub, the table ain't big enough, FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah? What? The dominoes, you play dominoes in a pub, the, the dominoes fat. Pub tables are quite small. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, winner. you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not after last week, no. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so if you haven't heard it before, I'll give you some initials. It work, you know, it's like initials of an artist or of a it's band. It's blockbusters. And, and a cryptic clue to who the band is. There's two easy ones, one difficult one. <laughs> uh, first one is, um, That'll never get off the ground. Right. Yeah. That'll never get off the ground. The That'll initial? never get off the ground is the clue. Not LZ. The initials are LZ. You are joking. Two easy ones. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, and then you've got um, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. <laughs> right. Say it again. That woman has got a pair of her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's H H. Right. It's a bit of a difficult one. And then the uh, the last one, you'll get a uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them, right? You'll get what? A right load of bacon off them. Uh huh. Um, that's L. L. Yeah. So uh, once you'll again, very quickly. You'll get a right quickly, load of bacon off of them. You'll get you'll get a right load of bacon off them. Uh -huh. So first one that'll never get off the ground. L Z. Uh, that woman has got her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's <laughs> H H. Brilliant. And uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them. That's L. And so, it's an email only. Yeah, we have, yeah. We've got, uh, <laughs> the first clue. <laughs> You're upset, so Carl. miserable. I, I'm a bit fed up today. The weather's- I knew when I was walking in today, though, that I'd be- But that um, video, there's lots of- there's lots of weather on that video, so they can- whoever wins this can go and see sort of the weather you were talking about. <laughs> uh, the first one was, that'll never get off the ground. Uh, LZ. Yeah. The answer there was Led Zeppelin. 
So easy. Um, yeah, but I said that to you. There's always two easy ones and a difficult one. Go on. The third one was you'll get a load of bacon off them. Go on. That was L. Uh, long pigs. Right. Yeah. And then the second one was, uh, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. Yeah. HH. Yeah. Yeah. That was Ermin's Hermits. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the three that's the three answers. I'm sure well, I'd like to give the prize this week. This <laughs> Herman's Hermits. What, what, there's a lot of Herman's <laughs> Hermits. That is genius, Carl. That is genius. Oh, Herman's Hermits. So there's so many people who are worthy of the um <laughs> of the prizes, obviously. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I noticed Heat magazine sort of put a bit of a spanner in the works. Why? Because they were saying, oh, maybe it'll be a Christmas edition of Rockbusters. And I'd already sorted them out. I wouldn't worry, Carl. Well, what I've done, I've cleverly tweaked them to make them Christmassy. Oh, so the Christmas bit in it has got nothing to do with with it whatsoever, but I just thought... <laughs> so you mean yeah. that clues have a Christmas element? Well, yeah. But, 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 but it's nothing to do with the answer. Nothing, yeah, it's nothing to do with the answer. <laughs> right. So why don't you just ask the normal ones and I'll, I'll ring a bell, I'll yeah. shake some bell. Well, I'll go ho, 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 ho. of that, but in sort of speech. Right, Brilliant. so the first oh. one, um, there's a load of letters, uh, there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and, uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh! No, give it, give it to us again. <laughs> oh, God! Right, so, there's a load of letters asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Oh, and have a good Christmas. Right, right. But bear in mind, people, that the Christmas element may not be relevant no, to these clips. No, I've got nothing to do with it. I don't want to, okay. you know. And the initial letter is F, right? That's F. All right. Right, Next the second thing. one. <laughs> uh, ask your mum if you should. After you've wrapped the presents. <laughs> right, so ask, ask your mum if you should. Ask your mum if you should after you've wrapped the presents. That's, um, that's S. 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 All right. All right. Okay. And the last one, um, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter, but it's busy in there because it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably what brought it on. So oh. that's, that's B. Right? Oh. B. B. Oh, God. So they're the, they're the three, will I just, uh, recap? Yes, please, yeah. Uh, I've so, I have no idea. So I can't even, one. I don't know what to start thinking, I, well. Alright, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Have a good Christmas. Uh, have a good Christmas. <laughs> uh, second one, ask your mum if you should. After you the prison. S. And the last one, a couple of people were arguing arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. But it's busy in there because it's, it's Christmas. It's busy because it's Christmas. That's a B. Yeah. So they're the three things. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the last clues of the year. You had, uh, there's a load of letters there asking for advice. Put them on Claire's desk. Go that on, was no F. That was for Foreigner. For Rainer. I Claire, don't know what you mean. Claire Rayner, she took advice, she gave people advice, so that's a furrow and a That is shit. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, that might be Christmas, that is absolute dark. A lot of people got the right answer. I know, yeah, well, well that annoys me well. even more. Number the two. second one, ask your mum. Foreigner. Yeah. Foreigner. Um, second one, ask your mum if you should. That was S, that was Shalimar. 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 Right? No, bizarrely, what was the clue there? Ask your mum if you should. Now we got a lot of people saying smashing pumpkins as the answer to that. <laughs> well, I don't know who's saying that today, mum. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum. Smashing Thanks pumpkins. Thanks very much. <laughs> nice bollocks. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Right. Smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> your dad bought them for me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And the last one. Um, <laughs> Lovely plums. <laughs> <laughs> what my Victoria's? <laughs> oh God! Right, we've got to wrap oh. it up. We've got to wrap it up. Come on then. Uh, a couple of people were arguing in the supermarket at the fruit and veg counter. <laughs> that was B. That was banana drama. They were like having an argument. What do you mean banana drama? <laughs> what, what, no, wait, 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 wait. What group is banana drama? What group is banana drama? So. You're a fool. You're a twat. <laughs> well, you say that, but you accuse her. You accuse Carl of that. You're also accusing lots of the listeners, including the winner, yeah. Nicola Rogers uh, of London, and she wins those great prizes, and she got them bang on. So banana so drama. Can, so can we finish there now? Yeah. yeah what do you so mean? What do you mean? Can we finish there now? Just, just play the ads and go. What? Rockbusters.
Rockbusters, uh, first one of the year. Um, Do you want to explain it? Okay, so yeah, we've got some new, some new listeners. Like might it. have, might have. Like you never it. know. Like Chance to win some stuff. Um, I'll give you like a cryptic clue, and some initials, and it sort of makes up a band. So an easy one that we did at the start was uh, an exploding pet, A K, atomic kitten. Yeah, right, that's how it works. So there's three of them. Um, it's email only. You email in Ricky at XFM dot co dot UK. And uh, you win all that stuff Steve was talking about. Right, first one, uh, £42 for a torch. <laughs> £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Uh, that's D. Right? That's D. Yeah, so right. Just give us a, give Write us that it down. So £42 for a torch, that, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of enhancement. <laughs> yeah. Digging up his growth. Oh, okay, go on. That's, so that's D. Uh, the second one, um, he'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Say that again? He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Is that he will fit some chocolate to your feet? He'll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. And the initial there is A. That's A. Yeah, and uh, the third and final one. Uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? <laughs> do you right. think- say it again? Do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? That's <laughs> WP. Right, now I'd better warn people. Um, you really gotta get into the mindset of Carl here. These are not real cryptic clues. These are not cryptic clues that you do in the Guardian or the, the Times crossword. Um, there's usually something wrong with them. Uh, it is usually, um, uh, what's the word? Um, completely change the word in order to make it fit. Yes. Often. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be careful. Don't be surprised. Exactly. Okay. Um, do you want to give us them again very quickly? All right. Uh, first one, 42 quid for a torch. That's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? All right, that's <laughs> D. Uh, second one, it'll fit some chocolate to your feet. I can't think of any. I can't a, think. That's A. a. And, uh, do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? W.P. Right, so, uh, Ricky at xfm.co.uk. Uh, right, here uh, we go. Then the first one, uh, 42 pound for a torch. That's a bit pricey. Go on. That was D. Yeah. That was Daylight. Wait, I thought delight, and I thought um, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I actually thought delight doesn't work. Second one. There's no um, one. No, wait, wait, wait. Dear light, it doesn't work. It's delight. Second one was. No, no, Carl, it doesn't work. Yeah, but if we're gonna continue with this feature, you've got to tweak them a bit, right? People <laughs> have got it. We've had loads of emails, more than ever. So, do you know what I mean? Let them decide. Mm. If they don't like it, they won't email in. But they lo they're loving it. They've right. all come from the same institution. Um, <laughs> right, go on. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. That was A. That was Aerosmith. Right. Aerosmith. You've yeah. heard of a blacksmith? But a smith is just yeah. a workman. It doesn't um, necessarily- No, you can have anything. You can have a locksmith. You... A smith doesn't just mean it does shoes. Right. Do you think- you... Aero Cobbler oh. would have worked. Unfortunately, there isn't a band called Aero Cobbler. Get ready, get ready with a winner. Um, do you think your kid will, uh, get that strawberry for me? That's Wilson Pickett. <laughs> Rockbusters. It's a structured <laughs> show. It's a new leaf. This show in the new year is going to be structured. Set pieces, um, hitting our marks. Do you know what I mean? There'll be time checks, uh, uh, weather checks. <laughs> a bit cold out. Um, if you if you if you're driving, careful on that. <laughs> so do the prizes. Or check for traffic. Like yeah. If it's bad. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, again, an arbitrary selection of uh, goodies. What are those politicians doing? <laughs> Was that XFM news? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, what have we got? So we've got, uh, for those that are a fan of the movie Donnie Darko, which a lot of people rave about this year, a sort of weird teenage movie, then, uh, there's a sort of, uh, sweatshirt there. It is actually quite nice. It's not bad at all. It's, uh, it's medium, so if you, if you're a bit of a bloater, yeah. don't bother to apply, unless you've got a friend already. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we've also got here, um, a Graham Norton video. Certificate 18. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> please don't phone up unless, or, d sorry, don't email in unless you're above the age of 18. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think, the best of his TV show. Yeah. Look forward to that. It's um, a big stiff video, that, isn't it? It's a big <laughs> stiff <laughs> cock of a video. <laughs> Thanks oh, very much. I meant you the, can't say, yeah, yeah, you meant the bird. Yeah. Um, there's also a fairly mediocre British wartime thriller, Enigma, um, which a lot of people, it was hyped for a while, but it's actually interminable, I've seen it. <laughs> um, the, uh, first series here of The Kumars at number 42 on DVD, uh, I think that's award winning, so, uh, that's available as well. We've got two CDs by the look of it. We've got, uh, Pulp's Greatest Hits, which I don't think sold very well, and so presumably they are giving that away. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Johnny Cash's um, current uh, album, uh, American For The Man Comes Around, there's some good cover versions there. Again, another big sell. A big yeah. sell. We're really pushing um, this. But it, it, yeah, it's a quite kooky. Uh, Johnny Cash here does covers of things including Personal Jesus. Oh, right. By Depeche Mode. Yeah. Uh, we've got Bridge Over Troubled Water, his version of that. <laughs> Desperado. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's, it's not bad. That's probably the best treat in that bunch. And, right. Um, I'm assuming there's some questions there, Carlo. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we uh, go. If you're a new listener, the way it works, I'll give you a cryptic clue and some wow. initials, and it sort of makes up a band. Yeah. Um, makes more sense when you hear it, I reckon. Not particularly. Well, not really. Although so, people do get it. I yeah. just worry about the. The state of our listeners. <laughs> Go on. Right, so there's three of them. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. I email repeat, only. it is email only. We don't have too lazy <laughs> to answer the phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here we go then. Number one. Um, there's, there's normally two easy ones and a difficult one. Sure. So here we go. Uh, number one. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Don't argue with him, he ain't gonna change his mind. Yeah, that's AA. AA. That's, yeah. So Just that's the first one. He's not going to change his mind. Um. What do you mean, um? You just just got them written out, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what the answer is, so I don't write the answer down to Oh, this for God. Don't <laughs> worry, they get it. <laughs> yeah, don't well, worry. Um. But you, well, you can't remember it. You came up with it. There's only three. I know, I know. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not weird. It's incompetent. <laughs> right, the second one, anyway. <laughs> I, I hope you get this. Um. <laughs> I hope you get this. <laughs> Yeah. And tell us the answer. This is a shambles. Hang on a Come minute. On, Go on. He always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. <laughs> and you don't know. You don't know that is. It'll, I'm sure it'll come to me once I see it on email. If, if what I'll do you mean? If, once they get it, you'll agree with them. I'll know if it's the one I had down as the answer. This is brilliant. Come Imagine on, Jeremy Paxman doing that. Going, yeah, University what, Times. Is that right? <laughs> Go on. Right, so uh, that's give that us, one. Give us that one again. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. P. But you're confused. I don't understand how you can be confused. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, what's the, the, third, the third one. Uh, oh. I'll have to put that woman in the oven. And that's A B. All right, quickly give us them again. Right, so the first one. Don't argue with him. He ain't. He ain't going to change his mind. That's A A. Um, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. That's P. And, um, I'll have to put that woman in the oven. A, B. All right. So the answers to this week's Rockbusters. Yeah, yeah. Can we you had, give us the clues uh, again in the answers? Yeah. Uh, the first one was, um, don't argue with him. He ain't gonna change his mind. The initials there were A, A. That's Adamant. Adamant. Yeah. All right. That's, That's good. That's, That's good. a good one. Uh, second one, he always gets what he wants and doesn't worry about anyone else. Uh, that was P. Uh, that was Pix's. Uh, <laughs> Pix's. Pix's. Pix his. It kind of works, yeah. yeah. And the uh, third one. I'll oh, have right, to, I'll let uh, you have that one. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to put that woman in an oven. That was A B. That was Anita Baker. <laughs> Anita Baker. <laughs> it's good. Anita Baker. Anita yeah, Baker. I'll let you have all three today. Okay, right, do the clues quickly. Tell them we're, it'll be a rollover, so we have to do three new ones. Do you not write these You're down, You're such Carl. a I don't, I don't write the answers down in case Ricky looks over the thing and sees the answer. Why would I cheat? I'd rather you do something right with your life. Right, well, the clues were I've got three other jumpers like this one. Yeah. That was FT. Yeah. They got that. Four tops. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Good, well done. That bunch of people can't make up their minds if they'd want to sit in the sun or not. That was C, they were getting that. That was charlatans. Charlatan, right? A bunch of them charlatans, right? What? What? what do you mean? What's Char- <laughs> What's Charlie? No. No, sh it's like, shall I go out? Shall we? Charla. Charlatans. They got it, right? <laughs> Where I went wrong with this one, uh, the Jamaican fella, he had to have some aspirin. Why? Um, it my fault, you know, I'm not, I'm not cutting, there's no point passing the book or anything. Um, I said FD, a lot of people were saying, uh, Fred Durst, like f f four Edurts, which is a good <laughs> one. Yeah, which would have been as good as any of yours. But I made an error, so we'll roll it over. No, we'll no, no, roll, no, 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 what is the answer? We'll roll, we'll roll well, the what is the answer? Over. Jamaican fella what? Add some aspirin, why do that? What's the, what's the thing? FP. FP, it was Frida Payne. <laughs> Frida Payne? Frida Payne. Frida Payne. Frida Payne. That's awful. Carl, Frida what's You've got to write these down next week. This is I'm right. Sorry, you are, right. Uh, you're I, the producer. I, think, I know, I know, but I've had a busy week, haven't I? That's doing not stuff an for excuse. That isn't an excuse. Our excuse is we don't, we have, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, you, you do put care. the work in and you, then make a mistake. Yeah, 
It's, it's, uh, I mean, it's better not to try than try your hardest and be rubbish. <laughs> Do you see what the point? We've got, we don't care. But you've got standards. Yeah. And, and you're, you're not meeting them. You're for, think of that. You're not even reaching your standards. God. Chill out album ever, the best Brilliant. day of guitar, volume two. Brilliant. And of course, for all our fans, Doctor Who, the Aztecs. That's on DVD and that's uh, one of the William Try Hartnell again. Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's the worst impression I've ever heard. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> then. <laughs> right, uh, three, three, uh, cryptic <laughs> stuff. Oh, come on. Right, Rodney, what's the Three, I, c I can't do it. No, come on! Right, yeah, three, yeah. three, uh, cryptic. Um, clues. <laughs> Some of which may be wrong. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, don't take the letters literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, go um, on. And some initials, and it makes up of a, uh, makes up a band. So, um, <laughs> here we go then. Uh, there's three of them, you email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Right, here we go then. Yep. Uh, number one. Uh, <laughs> the weather stinks, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's R. That's all I right. the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Second one, um, look Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. <laughs> Alright, give us that again. Look Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. Look hmm. Grant, just get on the boat and help us out. What's yeah. the initial? R again. R again, interesting. Yeah. And then the third one, uh, <laughs> if you're gonna do that with your drink, I'd let it settle for a bit before you open it. CK. CK. Alright, so- Once more? So quickly, all the way through then. Number one, uh, the weather stinks, doesn't it? That's <laughs> R. Uh, look, Grant, just get on the boat and help us out, will you? That's R as well. And then the last one, if you're gonna do that to your drink, I'd let it settle for a bit before you open it. C. K. Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk. Brilliant. Right, first one, uh, the weather stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. That was R, which was rainbow. Right. Rainbow? Like, like rain is the weather and it smells like bow. Body bow? odor. Body odor. They no, it's B O. It's B O. That's B O. Well yeah, but you've got a place. It's not pronounced bow and it's not spout bow. Um Who calls it bow? Everyone knows it's B O. Um <laughs> What you don't care? You don't care that, that doesn't work. Well they got it, so again as long as one they're getting person it, got as it, as Carl. Getting it. One person got it. Of all the emails, one person got it. Um second one. Uh Look, Gran, just get on the boat, will you, and help us out. Go on. That was R. That was Ronan. Ronan, right? Ronan, who's Ronan? <laughs> Ronan. Ronan. Who's Ronan? Ronan? Ronan Keaton. But he's known well, as Ronan Keaton. Keaton. No, it's not. No, it's not anymore, though. He's gone on, on his own, hasn't he? He's just known as Ronan. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's, not. he's Ronan Keaton. He's always been known as Ronan Keaton. All right. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't work on there. Go on. Third one. <laughs> Next. Uh, if you're going to do that to your drink, I'd let it settle. For a little bit before you open it. That was CK. What? Shake a can. Shake a can. If you're gonna shake, <laughs> you can. This is the worst competition ever. So it's Chaka. Have, have you got? A it's Chaka. It's Chaka. It's Chaka Khan. Shake a can. No, Chaka Khan. What you got? Chaka what? can might have worked it's, to who, throw a can. Who got all three right then? Well. Well, because basically what happened was people just emailed this. in three guesses, we're stopping and, this. The, and the guesses that were right came from Mandy Thompson. Well, this is what I'm thinking, right? Because we can, if, you, if you're not happy with Rockbusters, if we add a little bit to it, and they love the bit I've added, then we can slowly fade it out without them knowing. That's it. Do two of your Rockbusters and and one of these. Right. Are these Come the on prizes, in, Carl. Carl? They're the prizes. Well, yeah, let's, let's do the prizes. Let's quickly go through them. Then. Yeah. All right, what have we got here? Let's speed this up because so I'm dropping off now. Yeah, I think right, it, it's, like, it's either warm in here or, or this isn't the most scintillating conversation we've ever had. Okay, first thing, there's a CD here. It's uh, tracks that were sampled by <laughs> uh, various artists, including Jay Z, Happy Mondays, and so on. It's the original versions. That might mm. be quite good fun. Sure. I Love You. Let me see. It's a number of love songs. Yeah. You've got uh, Blue featuring Elton John on there. Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Nat King Cole. Yeah. Some great stuff, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Retro Dance Masters. Oh, yeah. That's another CD. Dance tracks, yeah. obviously, on there. Oh, it's still knocking about the best. Best Air Guitar Volume 2. Sure. Rubbish. Uh, this is quite good though. It's Paul Whitehouse's uh, TV show Happiness. That's the first series on DVD. Uh, we've also got Stephen Polyakov's The Lost Prince. You can have that in your collection. Probably never watch it, but it might look like you're slightly classy and arty. And so uh, the subtitles. <laughs> the best one hit wonders album in the world ever. You've got stuff on there like uh, Nana, 99 Red Balloons, yeah. and uh, M's Pop Music. So not right. that bad a selection actually this week. He's 
Cut out some of the chaff. Right. Yeah, okay. So right, here we go. Right. go. Rockbusters. Rockbusters, first one. Uh, we'll do two of these and I'll play something in a minute. Right, uh, first one. Um, the Australian picks two blokes. What? The Australian picks two blokes. The Australian picks two blokes. The initial? Yeah, the initial E. Right. And the second one, that builder's a bit... I've got that already. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. that, that builder is a bit cute. He's a bit cute? Yeah. All right. And that's B-T. B-T? B-T. That builder's a bit cute. Yeah. And the Australian picks two blokes, E. And then what I'm gonna do now is play some sound effects that make up a song and you've gotta guess what the song is. Go on then, right? just do it it's and then the show. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> There you go. So what song's that? It's yeah. sort of an XFM type okay, song, Okay, well that's isn't it? great. Email so, so the first, sorry, I should just clarify that the first two are, uh, band names or artist names, but that's the title of the track that we want there. Yeah, that's okay. right. It's that's so right. confusing. No one's ever gonna figure this out. They will, though. They will. Alright, um, first one was, um, the Australian picks two blokes. Uh, the initial was E. The answer there, Eminem. <laughs> M and M. <laughs> All right. The second one. Um, that builder is a bit cute. The initials there were B T. That was Bonnie Tyler. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then we introduced a new bit to the show. Um, that song sounds all right. These were the effects you heard. And uh, that was Prodigy, smack my bitch up. Who are you punching there? And could I just say, no animal was harmed in the taping of that. Yeah. I'm not a champion of rockbusters, as you know, but I think it's overstayed its welcome. But I want well, to go along I think with Carl's it. just giving the fans what they want here. Okay. It's yeah. a popular thing, isn't it? Got the, some good prizes. The press well, are behind it. <laughs> let me tell you what the prizes are. Uh, it's a dance music compilation, Cream Trance Anthems 2003. Brilliant. I play a lot of trance on well, this I, station. Well, I put that on quite a lot and don't <laughs> exactly. do it myself. Uh, there's the uh, original motion picture soundtrack to the forthcoming film Adaptation. When you've seen the film, uh, I'm sure that will mean more to you. You like that, good, don't you? It's a good movie, yeah. Nicolas Cage playing himself and a twin brother. And uh, it's written by uh, Spike, uh, it's directed by Spike John. Joined at the, uh, what? Uh, no, no, they're not joined mm. at the hip at all. No. Or, or at the face. And uh, we've also got the best one hit wonders album in the world ever. What have we got on there? We've got things like uh, The Crazy World of Arthur Brown, brilliant. Um, Nana, 99 Red Balloons. The Rembrandt. In fact, it kicks off with Nana. Sure. Uh, that's followed up by I'll Be There For You, The Thing From Friends by the Rembrandts. Yeah. And of course, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Deep Blue Something. Brilliant. Deep Blue Something. <laughs> is that the worst name ever? <laughs> I think it possibly is. No, Sixpence None The Richer. Sixpence None The Richer. That's a pretty good. bad name. Okay, again, we, we, I know we've got a lot of uh, chill out fans who listen yeah, to us. Yeah, so, um, yeah, 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 the best yeah. chill out album ever. Yeah. Bear in mind, of course, all these prizes collated by uh, Carl from, I guess, People's Drawers. Yeah, looking in a drawer, looking in a drawer. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What is it? The only thing probably worth having is a, um, I mean, it's topical, if nothing else, Carl. A seven inch by the White Stripes, Merry Christmas from the White Stripes. That was their, um, exclusive Brilliant. Christmas single. So, if yeah, you know, that's, that's early, isn't it? That's it's still, you get that. Something. It is worth something. A lot of people have got to wait 11 months before that's released. Yeah. Or is it last Christmas? Is? <laughs> exactly. And I have never heard of this DVD. Go on. I like to think of myself as being fairly familiar with TV and films, but I have never heard of Stephen King's Rose Red. <laughs> Welcome on to DVD. a place evil calls home. And uh, it's on DVD, it's certificate 12, so don't imagine anything too shocking. And it looks uh, appalling. Is Rose Red Mansion truly haunted? To find out, Professor. Da -da -da -da, so might, da -da -da -da. Okay, we've got the gist of it. They're it's not very good prizes, day. they're cobbled together, but if you've got nothing better to do, call in if you know the answers to these clues. It's Rockbusters. Let's not right, let them so call in, Rick. Please I don't let you... these people call in. I no, no, they're not uh... calling in. It's email only. Carl, don't interrupt me. I'm just. Um, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Email only. I can't stress that enough. We just don't want to speak to you people. <laughs> right, go on. Right, so I give some initials out and a cryptic clue and it makes up the answer and that. Well, sometimes it does, yeah. Go there's on. two of them and there's a new aspect which I'll explain about in a minute. Oh, so, God. the first one is, uh, cryptic clue is, well, if he would have been wearing an helmet it would have been alright. <coughs> and the initial there is B, right? So, well, if he would have been wearing an helmet, he would have been alright. B, right? Uh, band or an artist. Second one, uh, why are them Jamaican fellas swinging fish around their head? <laughs> okay. Alright, initials. Just fills me with. Oh. D, S. D, S. Why are them Jamaican men swinging fish around their head? Alright? And the uh, final bit, two rockbusters. <laughs> uh, it's a new bit. Last week I played you this. Look 
his face, goes along right. with it. That's, uh, that's someone beating up a dog. That was smack my bitch up, right? So, here's some sound effects and that, and they make up a song. <laughs> What? I could listen to him talk Hang on, all day. Let's have a listen to the effects. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. terrifying. Right, I told you not to play that one. It's rubbish. No one will get that. Well, we'll see. I heard that a couple of weeks ago. So what do you think? I said it's rubbish. No one will get it. No, it's not the one you think it is. Ah. Uh -huh. Right, so, um, email in, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can win that stuff. I'm a little bit confused. Let me, I, I, I'm here, I've heard what you're saying, we've discussed this in the past, I don't know what's happening. What's that? Is that, a, is that a clue? That's a cryptic clue, that, that, um, screaming to a song, is it? To do with screaming. Well, don't say it! So it should stand up by itself! Don't give him any clue! Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. So this is the name of a song. It's not a band or an artist, yeah, the that's, sound effects. So the song. first two are bands or artists, and the the, the last one <laughs> is the name <laughs> of a song. I said we should abandon this! Right, okay, right, do do the question, do the questions and the answers, and uh, if, 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 if I think that it's either too hard or ungettable because it's stupid, we're binning it. Right. I thought we'd already binned it, I'm annoyed that- Right, come on, do, 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 what was the, do, do it quickly. Uh, the first one was, well, if he would have been wearing an helmet, he would have been alright. Right, what's the answer? That was B. What's the answer? Bust Ed. Right, that works, alright. Busted, right. that's fair enough. Did anyone get that? I assume no. some people got- No. People have given up, Rick. People aren't even bothering to contribute. Right, what's the next one? They've just ignored it like it never happened. Uh, Busted. Second Busted. one. Um, Busted. Um, why are them Jamaican men swinging fish around their head? Go on. That was DS. Yeah. Uh, seventies band, Detroit Spinners. <laughs> The Detroit Spinners have become the Detroit Spinners. Yeah. Okay. Um. Brilliant. And then the final bit, I play you some effects. Let's hear like this. Let's hear <laughs> it's terrifying, Carl. <laughs> it's <sinister. gasps> Well, what's happened there? What what was happening? What no, 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 no. Just... What's the answer? That was uh, born slippy. She, the woman was having a baby. The doctor tried to grab it. It fell onto the floor. <laughs> That's in your head, Carl. That's just a load of screams. That's and noise. in your head. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm. T I, I, do you know what? I haven't even got onto Warren Slippy. I'm still on the <laughs> Trout Spinners. Well, let's put a song. That's it. I, I don't. I, I don't know what to say. Carl, go for it. This is Rockbusters, the last ever Rockbusters. Right. Yeah. It's a uh, accents special one today. <laughs> um. I've done it before in the past using accent, so yeah. uh three cryptic clues, initials, email in, you can win uh Do the email address stuff. now so they can take it down and start going. Right, Ricky dot two base at XFM dot co dot UK, right? Yeah. Right. First one. Uh yeah. the northern lad remembers he had to tell his mam's daughter something. God. <laughs> oh deary me. The northern lad remembers he had to tell his mum's daughter something. That's O, the initial O there. Think of a band. Yeah, I've got it already, initial, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, that's easy. Go on, next. Um, second one, the person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. Right? The person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. The, the initial there is T. You don't get A, B or C with your degree. Well, that's... And the final one, the Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything's going wrong. That's DH. The initials there, DH. So very quickly, the northern lad remembers he had to tell his mum's daughter something. God, they're not gonna get the second one. Oh. Uh, second one, the person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. Initial T. And the last one, the Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything's going wrong. DH. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and win some stuff. Is right. it important that they bear in mind the accents? Does the yeah, will yeah, the yeah, accent really help important. them? Of course it will, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, of course it will. Not necessarily, course. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, has anyone got anything right, Carl? Can well, we what we'll have to just do. Just as well, we haven't got any prizes to give away anyway, because no, we gave have, away our next one. We yeah, we're we? coming through now. Let's see. Just hang on a minute. Well, this isn't radio. You can't just sit here looking at a computer screen going, hold on, hold on. That isn't radio. Right. Well, it'll have to be the one who got the closest, right? Okay. What? Uh, who got the closest? What are the answers? Give right. us some again. Right, oh. the, the northern lad remembers he had to tell his mates, his, his mum's daughter something. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the last one ever. This is the last, I promise it's the last rockbuster ever. The northern lad remembers he had to tell his mum's daughter something. That was O. Yeah, I know that. What was it? Oasis. Oasis? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So that was another oh, one. Oh, that works. That works, though. Go on, what's the next one? This is what worries me. Go on. 
The person from Birmingham got a C in their degree. No idea. That was T. Go on. Toto two two. <laughs> <laughs> a C as well. Just made it up. A C. <laughs> two two. I, I I love it. I love it. Toto. Toto. Well, well Toto. Toto. Right, no, did anyone get Toto. that? Did yeah, yeah, yeah. You so are I joking. I just saw it on an email. Right, come on. Like that. right, right, okay. One. That's uh, extraordinary. Last one. Uh, the Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything is going wrong. Going back in time a bit. The initials D H. Going back in time a bit. Yeah, that for the for the song. It's not a sort of. Oh right, song. I, was, I remember. I, I thought I didn't hear that first time round. Uh, Cockney fella isn't happy. Everything's going wrong. The initials were D H. Yeah. That was Dan Hill. Dan Hill. <laughs> right? Dan Hill. Nobody got that one. That's that's a tricky one, but Steve, do you wanna pick someone who got a couple? No. I mean I imagine Dan Hill was on everyone's lips. <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm sorry. Not, I think I know about music, but I don't know who Dan Hill is. Sometimes when we touch. Yeah, the I, I, honestly it's too much. It's an awful ballad from about 1973. Yeah. Right, well, uh, uh, no one would get Dan Hill. Did anyone get Dan Hill? Well, I don't know, Steve. You are just. I'm not going to check. I can't be bothered. I just want to celebrate that it's over. I'm just pleased that we're finished with Rockbusters. Marcus has emailed. Um, he says no to Rockbusters. He hasn't heard it, but it sounds rubbish. Believe me, you mm. you couldn't be more right. Well, does the office sound good as a title? Right. Uh, this is someone else. Don't bring back Rockbusters, please. Can we have more Holy Fook? <laughs> <laughs> You're not pronouncing it right, I Steve. I know, I know, I was just a bit edgy there. Um, holy, holy fuck, the little oh. Chinese fella. The so little funny, you... Holy fuck, the little funny Chinese fella. No, okay, alright, well, otherwise, Carl, other than those few negative ones, most people want to see the return of Rockbusters. So, do I okay, tell, go on tell people what the prizes Okay, go on Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Are these the prizes? Yeah, they're the prizes. Alright, yeah. let me have a look. We've got the new album from Gold Frap. What's this one here? Oh, I've no idea. Uh, the Yardbirds. A new album from the Yardbirds. Hmm. Uh, on VHS, uh, Coogan's Run, the, uh, the, uh, show where different characters make an appearance each week, including, I think, Pauline and Paul Calf. Good stuff. Who the hell wants this? Meg Loss. Uh, a Tom Baker Doctor Who edition. And the only decent thing, really, in the collection, uh, other than Coogan's Run, is the, uh, X List, the, uh, double CD featuring lots of current indie favourites. So, um, not bad, not bad little selection there, Carl. Yeah, Rock well, uh, if you are new, you haven't heard it before, I sort of give a cryptic clue, and then some well, initials. <laughs> I'd say it wasn't, it isn't cryptic. It's, it's like, what am I thinking, that might or might not be the initials that I'm gonna say. That's how you gotta think, really. Yeah. But go on. Do you wanna remind them of any? Spring to mind, just to, as a uh, exploding pet was atomic kitten. Doesn't really work. Mm. Um, um, what else? I fell down in a puddle in Texas. I got my legs wet. Uh, knelt down in the puddle, got my legs wet. Uh, wet knee Houston doesn't work either. <laughs> wet um, knee Houston, Whitney Houston. Uh, Jamaican uh, uh, swinging a fish round. Uh, Detroit spinners doesn't work <laughs> in the slightest. Doesn't work That's in the idea. slightest. That's how, they how they work. So um, there's three of them. You email in. Um, so here we go then. Uh, number one, the gingerbread man has only got one leg. Right? The gingerbread man has only got one leg. Got the it. initials there, LB. LB. LB, right? Okay. Second one, uh, these people from the East Midlands swear a lot. Alright? These people from the East Midlands swear a lot. These people from the East Midlands swear a lot. The okay. initials TTD. Right? And, uh, the third one, have a holiday in Italy. Right? So you've done three then? TB is the initials on that one. So quickly again, the first one, Gingerbread Man's yeah, on Yeah, I've got one that leg. one as well. I've LB. got that one. I've got two. These people from the East Midlands swear a lot, TTD. And, uh, the third one, have a ho holiday in Italy, TB. Email in with what the songs are and you win that stuff. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Hang on, it's not the songs, it's the artists, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just the... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like, like he said that. Yeah. Wow, Rockbusters. The results. You've had a few real answers, uh, proper answers I hear. Mm -hmm. So, either I'm wrong or people do think like you. I've got two of them. What are the clues again? Right. Uh, first one was, uh, the gingerbread man has only got one leg. I got that. That was LB. Limp Biscuit. Right. Yeah, uh, the that third works. One, the third one that I think you worked out. Yeah. Have, a, have a holiday in Italy. Cheering breaks. TB, cheering breaks. Yeah, this is the one I can't get. If, if this is, if there's a reason why I can't get this, we're not doing what we're Can again. I give the answer to this one? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's the clue? The clue, uh, these people from the East Midlands swear a lot. Yeah. TTB. 
TTB. The answer? TDB. T- T- yeah, go on. Give the clue again. These people from the East Midlands swear a lot. Tourette's Trent Darby. Right, you're never doing rock wrestlers again. Tourette's Trent Darby. <laughs> right, you're not <laughs> doing it. You're never doing- you've blown it. You see, you sneak that one in, you- uh, uh, I- Yeah, but I, I always like to sort of give to that, you know, a fairly easy and then you, you, you sort of work out the men from the boys then, don't you? Yeah, but well, I, I mean, if I'd have done a character called Tourette's Boy, friend of the little Chinaman, and it went, ding dong, oh look, it's Tourette's Boy, friend of, holy fuck, fuck, holy fuck, you'd have been annoyed. Do you know what I mean? Oh, who's your mate, Tourette's Boy, holy fuck. You'd have been annoyed, wouldn't you? Is that a character from Lenny Henry's show? <laughs> 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 I, I, can't I can't remember whether it's Chris Moore's or Lenny Henry. Yeah, one of them. Carl, what are you thinking, mate? All right, rock busters, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to it! Straight to it, go on then, who's the winner? Right, I've go got on. to do the clues again. Right, the first one was, uh, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. Yeah, snappy, go on. VH. Yeah. Right, that was Van Halen. Van Halen, Halen of Van. Because he wanted something bigger than a car, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah. Uh, All the tenses are mixed up, <laughs> everything, it's just, go uh, on. Second one, don't be selfish, uh, and some of that out to your mates, that was C, that was Cher, alright? It's alright. Yep. And the third one, uh, the Scottish fellas can't get into their emails, the initials there, KL, they, uh, Kenny Loggins. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right that's, that's the last time we do Blockbusters. That no. is the last time we do it. No, no. It is. It's that's the last time. It's, it's Blockbusters coming up, isn't it, Carl? We, uh, we set it up now, get it, get it going. No, let's, 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 no, let's I thought we it. weren't doing this anymore. I know, I don't know what happened. I, I don't, don't know, know I, I mean, oh. But I mean, it's, I mean, we're shooting off in a couple of weeks, so. Yeah. What difference yeah. does it make? Well, we might, we might as well, now you've mentioned it, it's a good time. Go on then. Right? Uh, three cryptic, cryptic clues, like the one you just heard there. Mm. Uh, first one. Cryptic, <laughs> that is cryptic um, a word. First one, my younger brother spotted you the other day. Right, that's the cryptic clue. My younger brother spotted you the other day. The initials JS. JS for the band. Second one, uh, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looks up, like, it's Oscar Wilde. Yeah. It's, oh. That champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. The initials are AM. And the third one, uh, the vibrators, and the initial B. What? Right? The vibrators, and the initial is B. So the first one, my younger brother spotted you the other day. Oh, I know that one, that's ridiculous. J.S. The phone's going. Second one, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid, yeah. A.M. And the third one, the vibrators, the initial B. So, email in, and you win, you can say the prizes later, can't you? Well, I tell you what, this is terrible. I mean, we, we didn't even say the prizes, we weren't going to do this. The phone's going. Look at the phones, have gone mental. Well, we need, we're struggling here, we're struggling, Steve. Wait I, a I minute. Mean, I, I, Re- you say that, but wait a minute, the answers for Rockbusters are coming up right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you thought people were turning oh, off. We got, no. Oh, what have we done? We've done, take my shoes off for money. Take my shoes off for money. <laughs> we've done that, we've done, um, oh, look at these funny postcard breasts. <laughs> and uh, we've done, we didn't win a Sony. Um, coming up, regular monkey, features. Um, oh, jeez, we got, got nothing, have we? Come on. Sometimes it's good. Come on, Carl, save us. You've got to save so us. We've done those answers, then. Are we doing them now, Steve? Yeah. Right. Uh, first one, my younger brother spotted you the other day. Yeah. The initials there, JS. That was junior, senior. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you that. Second one, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. That was AM. That was Alison's Moye. Alison's Moye. <laughs> Alison Moye. Sorry, just one. give us the clue again. That champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. So, Muhammad Ali's son. Yeah. Right, Alison's, Alison's Moye. Yeah. Brilliant. And then third one, always a, an easy one in there for everyone so they can take part. Uh, the vibrators and the initials B. That's Buzzcocks. <gasps> you can't say cox. You that's why we win the award. award, that's why you, you can't say cocks. Have we got a winner? Right, Rockbusters, what have you got for us, Carl? <laughs>
Right. Um, there we go then. Three clues, Stick three cryptic it. clues, couple of initials. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, win some stuff. Do you want to? Go the through the stuff. Yeah, you get them. You're definitely we... improving yourself as weeks go on. We've got um, a, a, C a three CD set of the best of Inspiral Carpets. How they strang that over three CDs, I've no idea. Yeah, I know. Extraordinary. Um, a number of other CDs, all of which are okay, plus um, a t shirt and a copy of Marion and Jeff Series 1 on DVD. Not bad at all in an XFM bag. Well, he's noticed X Men 2 isn't there because it's not out yet, but it is at the cinema, so I think Hayley should go with what's his name? Well, Shut up. Okay. Right, go on, Carl. Right, the clues are clue one. Um, that, uh <laughs> Ooh, they're having problems, they haven't Oh, this is- <laughs> Right, brilliant, Rockbusters, this is like, <laughs> this is what we did I in know, i tell you what, I, I think Foxy was really soft on us. I think he's- oh, go on. This is what we tuned in for, okay, so this- Go on. again. So uh, go on. <laughs> this is brilliant, come on. <laughs> this is like, who wants your millionaires? Uh, Carl. Come on, Carl, uh, don't worry about him. He doesn't know, he doesn't understand radio, Carl. Um, he, 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 I heard his show before we had us, he was doing it, it sounded just like Dr. Fox. Yeah. Right, Go on. Uh, clue one, uh, they're, they're having problems, the, uh, <laughs> they haven't, they haven't got any rice. <laughs> say it again, and say it like it's written down. Right. Say it like it's like you're reading it as opposed to making it up as you go along. I know you are, but say it again, because all the ums and ahs, people think are integral. They're, they're having problems. Th they're, uh, do it again. They're having problems, they haven't got any rice left. <laughs> Clue every word. <laughs> that's, that's the matter. Clue. I and love what's that. The, what's the initial? CC. CC. Right. And the clue again. They're having a few problems in that because <laughs> they haven't got any rice left. <laughs> Different <laughs> every time. Ah, uh, got right. that number one. Uh, second one. The Geordie fella doesn't know what he's been charged for. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah. Okay. And what's right. the initials there? B W. Oh. The Geordie fella doesn't know what he's being charged for. Right. And the final one, um, if he had two bricks <laughs> and he had to throw them at two women, right? <laughs> it's not! Right! You've got to go through this without going, right? Oh, yeah, just do it again. Just say it again. Think what you're going to say, then say it. I had two bricks. Oh, it, no, it was if I had before. Well, I've got a <laughs> Because I'm gonna burst. Right, Carl, work out what you're gonna say and say it. Right. Okay, just what? calm down. Okay, we just don't want to calm down. Okay, right. I had two bricks to throw at two women yeah. and I didn't hit either of them. Right. Okay. The initials MM. Right, okay. so quickly again. Uh, they haven't got any rice. I've got that! I've got that and it's brilliant! That is a brilliant one! Okay. Right. <sighs> They've, they've run out of rice, they've got problems on their hands. CC, right? The second one, Geordie fella doesn't know what he's being charged for, right? BW. And they had two bricks to throw at two women. Didn't it hit any of them, right? That's, <laughs> that's MM. Email in. Uh, Blockbusters. The results in. Sorry. Oh, what a giveaway. <laughs> oh, no. Embarrassing. I've given it away. <laughs> Straight into monkey news. Go on so, then. So, uh, yeah, Rockbusters, what were the clues? Uh, the clues were, uh, the first one was, uh, they're, they're running out of rice, so they've got problems. That was CC. That was China crisis. Right? Okay, yeah, if they ran out of rice in China, it would be a crisis, fair enough. Second one, the, uh, the Geordie fella doesn't know what he's being charged for. Right? That was Bill Wyman. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. And the, uh, the third one, I had two bricks to throw at two women, and I didn't hit either of them, that was Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. <laughs> I let him up, those were alright, though. That's extraordinary. The hey. Rockbusters, please. Do you want to, um, look at the prizes? I'll have a look at the prizes, see what people, uh, can win. It's an email-only competition, please remember that. Alright, we've got the, uh, Later with Jules Holland, uh, Louder DVD. There's stuff on there from the Cardigans, Rollins is on there, Mercury Rev, Sonic Youth, The Datsuns, Queens of the Stone oh, Age. Oh, wait a minute, they're all great bands, but I think they need a boogie-woogie piano at the top of everything <laughs> they do. Well, it's... hopefully Jules Holland would have, uh, Okay, helped. good, good, yeah. good, good, because that, that was something missing there on most of those tunes. Yeah, current album from Goldfrapp, that's there as well. What have we got this on DVD, The Life of Mammals, the complete series of that. A couple of, uh, we've got the Inspiral Carpets, again, a three CD set of the best of the Inspiral Carpets. I don't know how they strung it over three CDs. <laughs> um, the best one-hit wonders in the world ever. 
And um, let me see. Oh dear. Uh, a three yeah. CD a set. Three CD the set. best to inspire. I'm inspire struggling. I'm struggling. I'm assuming CD three is just the Corals album. <laughs> Anyway, that's some, some good things that you've sourced, oh sourced some dear. good stuff this week. Alright. Well, uh. Alright. Yeah. Here's, here's All your right. clues. Here's your rock busters, yeah. Right. Uh, cryptic clue, a well. couple of initials, and, uh. And you sort that out. Right. <laughs> uh, first what one. What was Dr. Fox on about that we don't. We don't sound like proper presenters. I don't, I, I, it's mad. Go on, Carl. Right, the first one. Uh, a customer wanted some paint to darken up a room. Shop assistant knew what to do. Right? Customer wanted some paint to darken up a room. The shop assistant knew what to do. The initials there, C B. Right? C B. C B for the oh first right. one there. Right? Uh second one, it'd be alright if uh if their heads weren't that big. Right? And again? It would be alright if their heads weren't that big. And that's uh S F. S F. Yeah. And the last one I know that. I know uh, that one. Yeah, go on. And the last one, uh Chanel, I've got another perfume out. N O, right? Chanel, I've got another perfume out. N O. You email in Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co uk. That's that done. And those prizes can be yours. Yeah. Just checking some of the answers, Rick, and it seems that an awful lot of people have got it right. Go on then. Tell us them again then. Remind us of them before you give us the answers. All right. Rockbusters number one was like this. It was a customer. We're stopping monkey news, by the way, until you start getting some credible ones, because it. Because that's ridi it's ridiculous. Mm. It's not true. Yeah, it seems seems mad. But no, it's but it's, it's for the internet again. So anyone anyone can go online, download that story. It's insubstantial. It, it, it's get ones get ones from journals or where the, the source is quoted. Okay, mm. or, or yeah, we're not interested. Or we're not, we're not. Well, you don't. Mm. Okay. So it's same with so, uh, on thin ice. We've we've pulled this once. We've pulled rock, but we suspended it once, mm. and you came back. Again, so it's. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So go on then. Right, so Rockbusters, uh, Rockbusters number one was about a customer who wanted some paint, wanted to darken up a room. The shop assistant knew what to do. What did she do? The initials were CB. Cellar Black, right? S cellar Black. Cellar some you black. You see, paint. I thought Cellar Black because it's CB, and I thought, well, it can't be because it's not Cellar. It's not Sell Her Black. Cryptic, it's cellar. cryptic though, isn't it? No, no, cryptic doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, they all got it. They all got it anyway, so. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, second one. It would be alright if the reds weren't that big. Right? Right. The initials uh, are SF. Uh, well, well uh, one of my favourite bands, yeah. Yeah. The, the smaller faces, isn't yeah. it? Small that, faces. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, go on then. Uh, and the final one, uh, Chanel, I've got another perfume out. Right. I'll just say, we've had an email from one of our uh, listeners who said, if this turns out to be new order, he's never listening to XFM again. Wait, what's the, what's the, the clue again? Chanel, I've, I've got another perfume out. N new odour. Right, well that's another listener gone. What do you mean? There's not a group called New Odour. <laughs> no, it's, it's cryptic. No, it's, it's not, cryptic. that doesn't mean cryptic! Wrong doesn't mean cryptic! It's like saying what animal I'm thinking of. Frog. It, 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 that doesn't mean cryptic. Sell her black. What artist is that? Small faces works. Just about. If I say what animal I'm thinking of, what, what am I Monkey. thinking? Monkey. Well, there you go then. <laughs> so, so it does work. <laughs> Play a record. Right. Play a record. So, who's a winner? Ah, yes. Now, I'm gonna give it to, um, uh, someone who emailed in with the correct answer. <laughs> and he, his name is Steve Martin. <laughs> really? And I'm given. I don't know if you've noticed over the last few weeks, I've been given the prize to people with just a kooky element to them. You know, if they well, got people a, to start a sending name. their name in, like um, uh, Barry Bumpfried. Well, don't worry, because I can spot if it's a, if it's a fake comedy name. What was that last one we laughed at? For I can't no remember. Reason. I think it was Gerald something. Yeah, it was. It was just like Gerald Smethurst no, or what's something. It, what's it? Uh, Preston. Gerald Preston. Preston. Yeah, Why is that a funny name? Gerald. Jerry Preston, a great guy, but for Gerald some reason, Preston, we laughed at that. He right? caught my attention. So this week, Steve Martin's caught my attention. <laughs> right. Oh, brilliant. Is there a jingle for Rockbusters? I don't think there's ever been one, is there? No. Could you come up with one quickly? Oh, Rockbusters! <laughs> brilliant. All right. Well, the prizes this week, there's not many. I have to say, Carl's not sourced many, but what he's got are actually uh, good quality. Well, I'm trying to insert in him that it's, you know, 
quality, not quantity. Absolutely. As opposed to like fifteen copies of you know Fools and Horses Christmas Special with a giveaway three wheeler <laughs> yeah. car <laughs> and uh, Primal Scream's greatest hits on eleven CDs. <laughs> yeah, not Primal Scream in Spiral Carpets. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Spiral Carpets. Anyway, yeah, we've got um, this new Kiss FM hip hop classics compilation. which has got some really good stuff on there. Uh, new stuff from the likes of, uh, you know, Outkast and the Wu-Tang, but some old classics from Public Enemy, and of course, LL Cool J's Mama Said Knock You Out. Mm. It's, one, it's worth having alone for yeah, that track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think this is, is this four CDs? No, two CDs. Um, the Best Air Guitar Album in the World, Volumes 1 and 2, in a special box set. Yeah. You've got all sorts on there. There's May. Brian involved. Adams is on there, Robert Adams, Palmer. May, but Palmer. also excellent stuff, Beastie Boys, Clash, we've got The Kinks, so that's good. Abigail's Party, the, um, the DVD thing with Alison Stedman. I know you're quite a fan of that, aren't you, Rick? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Which is, um... For many years ago, if you've not seen it, it's uh, it's good. Uh, this uh, later with Jules Holland DVD, it's got uh, live performances from PJ Harvey, the Cardigans, Rollins. Is but he is, he is playing Boogie Woogie over their tracks. I would hope so. Okay. Okay, good. And also, is this the new albums from The Thrills? Uh, yeah, it is. is it the album? Yeah. yeah, so that's a little... Uh, little wow. uh, is that exclusive? It's not even out yet, is it? Oh, no, not even what? out. Not even well, out. that's the sort of things that Carl can come up with if pushed. Well, Let's... Those it's all really about the game, though. It's all about the game. The prizes are just for fun. Mm. It's all about the playing the game. Let's yeah. see what Carl's come up with this week. This is his last chance. If I ever hear anything like new odour again, <laughs> that's the end. Mm. Okay. Well, new odour. They, they did get it, though, didn't they? So yeah. They're working out. They will do it. Just a little uh, while. Let's have the jingle again. All right. Oh, Rockbusters. All right. Uh, if you haven't heard it before, cryptic clues uh, that make up a band. And some initials to help you on your way as well. Mm -hmm. right. So, uh. Well, you'd never get it without, but go on. First one, uh. That fella likes sucking on iron. Right? That fella likes sucking on iron. Yeah, the initial, uh, M. Right? Okay. That fella likes sucking on iron. Right, that's the first one. Second one, uh. The Jamaican fella spots a boat. Oh, God. Say that again. The Jamaican fella spots a boat. Spots a boat. Yeah. Right. The Jamaican fella spots a boat. Yeah, that's right, yeah. All right. Initial there, D. 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 Okay. D. 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 All right. And uh, the last one, uh, do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you, you own it. Right? Interesting. I, I've just got number two. Right. Uh, do you want. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right. The go third on. one, do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you, you own it. And what's right. the initial? E. All of them again, quickly. Right, so the first one. That fella likes sucking on iron. That's M. Second one, Jamaican fella spots a boat. Right? That's uh, D. And the last one, do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you. It's, you know, you own it. Right? That's <laughs> it embellishes it like it's a whole story yeah. by the end. That's, right. uh, that's E. Ricky.gervais at XFM. With the answers to Rockbusters, the, the biggest quiz on radio, probably. Mm -hmm. Do you want to remind us of the quiz? No, 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 you mean the crappiest quiz on radio. Yeah. Right. Um. First one was, uh, that fella likes sucking on iron. Yeah. Right? The, uh, the initial was M. Yeah. What was the band? It was Metal Liquor. Right? What's or Metal Liquor? I've ne no, wait, wait, I've never heard of a band Metal Liquor. Metallica. It's metal no, you Liquor. Said, yeah, you said Metal Liquor, I don't understand. Yeah, me Metal Liquor. Metallica. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, say yeah, it again. Say it again and try and make Metallica sound like Metal Liquor. <laughs> Metallica, Metallica, Me Metallica. <laughs> Is he having a fit? <laughs> Say it again. Make Metallica sound like metal liquor. Metallica, Metallica. Okay, next one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, second one, the uh, Jamaican fella spots a boat. That, yeah. that was easy. That was D. That was Debarge. Uh, you got that. Make it sound like the band. Debarge. Make it sound like a Jamaican fella saying. Spotting a boat. Debarge. <laughs> right. So you got that one. Okay. And uh, the last one. Do you want a game of tug of war? Well, it's up to you. You own it. Yeah. Right. That was E. That yeah. was your rope. Right. Europe. Europe. Right. Who did the final countdown? Yeah. So that that's the. No. Uh, what? What? We've let that go. <laughs> so that's the three answers for this week. Who's the winner, Steve? It's probably be something like, oh. 
Rockbusters. It would be very <laughs> along yeah, those lines. Long, I've, worked, I've got to work it out, but I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go with that for now, and okay. then we're on ready next week. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the prizes once again sourced by Carl Pilkington. I think it's um, been in the prize bag before, Carl, but I could see it back. The best air guitar <laughs> album in the world ever. Do they uh, keep sending it back? Is that just one? <laughs> is that <laughs> it comes through the window tied to a brick? Uh, actually, there's a lot of good stuff on there. There's, uh, the Kinks. Notfla? Is there Notfla? Notfla, I believe, is on it's there. It's clapped T-Rex. in anywhere to be seen. Definitely clapped, I would have thought, per a deep purple. We got Quo, Skinnerd, Mac, uh, Snake <laughs> is there, Straits, excellent. And, uh, yeah. yeah, there's all sorts on there, obviously. Yeah. Um, this is always an odd choice, but fair enough. This is the, uh, current album by the Yardbirds. <laughs> their first studio album in 35 years. So, uh, the new music stage in XFM, giving away that. Excellent. I suppose it's new music in, in, in some ways. Um, a Smash Hits compilation, we got stuff on there. It's, uh, uh it's Curiosity Killed the Cat, it's all the, uh, the old favourites. Plus two DVDs, uh, Columbo. What which, Columbo? Uh, it's got a couple of classic Columbo episodes there. Suitable for framing. One of the best, um, TV programs of all time. Why do I get- you can always tell immediately who the villains are. Suitable for framing, I'm assuming that's some kind of art dealer, yeah. maybe an artist. Candidate for crime, presumably some kind of, um, presidential political, or yeah. political candidate. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that, that'd be good, I'm sure, Columbo. I mean- Stab woman. <laughs> that was my <laughs> yeah. favourite episode. St- stab lady wife. I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure why- who would buy a Columbo DVD? Like, you can't find it on TV. It, on now. <laughs> it's on now. <laughs> it's on now. I guarantee- because someone could maybe, uh, email in. Is there an episode of Columbo on now anywhere that got cable or digital? I think it will <laughs> Almost be. Almost certainly. But it is great. And the other uh, DVD here is Cruise of the Gods, which was the, um, the one-off TV kind of film, comedy film that was on at Christmas, featuring Rob Brydon and Steve Brydon, Coogan. Coogan. Uh, uh, it's good. Williams. So, uh, yeah, there's a few gifts there. Not, not, not bad, not bad right, at all. Now we get to the, uh, to the, the real event, deal. Event. Okay, this, this, this is what everyone tunes in for. This is Monkey News, I think. Not, right, not, well, not the music. Um, go on. Well, here we go then. Yeah. Three, uh, cryptic clues and well, that, and just work really it out. cryptic, but. Easy as that. Email well, in. It's, uh, yeah. Email in. All right. Well, what's the email address? Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Well, don't say that I know it or care. Well, I think, yeah. So the first one, uh, he's got American coins all down his spine. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's got American coins all down his spine. What what band's that? What artist is it? What Email it, in. What does it begin with? What? N. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, I've got it already. Right, That's N. rubbish, too easy. Yeah, right, go on second next. one. Jeremy Beadle, uh, has got arthritis. Right? Jeremy Beadle has got arthritis. Yeah. That's the second clue. The, uh, initials there. S-L-F. Right, S-L-F. Jeremy Beadle's, uh, got a little bit of arthritis. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> the third one, uh, Foxy, Shipman, and a country western singer on a merry-go-round. S.D., right? So Foxy, Shipman, and some country western singer having a go on a merry-go-round. The initial S.D., right? So email in. Ricky Dot Gervais. <laughs> I'm intrigued with that one. I'm genuinely intrigued with that one. I'm I like the fact there's a certain whiff of controversy about it because <laughs> Shipman is mentioned. <laughs> I know, yeah. Oh, a little dear. bit edgy that. So uh, that's that's the three. He's from your neck of the woods, isn't he, as well, Shipman? Yeah, yeah. I think my mum's mum used to use him. <laughs> okay, let's play a record. Right. <laughs> okay. So Rockbusters answers. Got to get them out of the way a bit earlier. Right. So here they are. First one. Uh, he's got American coins all the way down his spine. Yeah. Why would that be? Right. <laughs> Initial was N. Nickelback. Nickelback. I got all these. One. I got all these this week. Right. Uh, second one, Jeremy Beadle has got arthritis. What, what's going on there? Stiff little fingers. SLF, stiff little fingers. Yeah. And the third one, Foxy, Shipman, and, uh... No, and a country and western singer, you said. <laughs> now, what's the initial? SD. Yeah, so, Spin Doctors, yeah, I got that. But, and then I said to you, why is it a country and western singer? And you said Dr. Hook. Why is it Dr. Hook? Why does that give the, anyone the clue Dr. Hook? A country and western singer? It's just what, what, what was in my mind when I <laughs> what, <laughs> Well, there we well, are. There you go. So, it was changed this to Rockbusters or What Am I Thinking? You could have had Dre. What's in my mind? You could have had And The Medics. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Just think it through. Who's the winner? The winner, very lucky, Sandra Cassidy of Leon C. She gets all those great prizes. You know, we've actually had people emailing in saying, 
This is the worst Rockbusters ever, because it was too easy, it was boring. Oh. Well, uh, 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 this is just, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Oh, Other dear. people saying, um, what? it really has run its course. Some people genuinely agree oh, with Ricky. Oh, Carl, this must hurt, mate. Stinging attacks on you. Um, some people just slagging you off generally, saying oh, you, win you whinge all the time. Looks like Steve like. was right when he, um, sort of like, poo-poos your ideas. So. When he, uh. When he wheezes on your bonfire. Other, someone else, I swear to God, someone else emailed in and said, don't bother sending me the prizes, take them to a charity shop, or pawn them, give me the money, I'd rather have it. So I don't know what to say, Carl, I just wonder if it really has run its course now. Alright, well, well we'll see what you come up with next week, well, then. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what you do, let's see what you come in with. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. five to one. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you'll be popping in with another hip-hop track yeah. full of, uh, yeah. full of effing and jeffing. Well, no, no, no I, won't, I won't bring it into you, I'll do it myself. Anyway, Rockbusters, Carl. Go yeah. on. Should we get the ball rolling? Let me just find the, uh, yeah, the yeah, gifts yeah, here, yeah. the little treats. We've got the album from The Coral, you know what I think about that. We've got, uh, Comfort in Sound Feeder. Well, it's just a novelty record, isn't it? Yeah. Um, same. we've got, uh, on DVD, more great comedy moments, favourite clips from the best of contemporary BBC comedy. We've got Partridge on the front there, we've got, uh, one of the guys from Red Dwarf, and, uh... Brilliant. One of those <laughs> good stuff on there. Smash Hits, The Reunion, more great 80s tunes, Kaja Goo Goo's on there, uh, plus some stuff... Too Shy? <laughs> it is too yeah, shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, let me see if you can guess which one's from on. Tiffany. Uh, well, yeah, I know it, the only one. I uh, think I'm, we're alone now. Yeah, I think we're alone, yeah. Um, Mel and Kim? Uh, Respectable? Mm-hmm. Human League? That'd be, oh wow, what would, it, would they have got Don't You Want Me? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ta- Lion's Take On Me? Yep, yeah. well done. Um, Madness? Baggy Trousers. Of course. Uh, Kim Wilde? Kids in America? Yeah, so there's just all those treats. If you, if, yeah. if, if you like a song from an 80s band, it's probably on there. Yeah, okay. Plus we've also got on uh, VHS, uh, Graham Norton, some kind of best of compilation from his TV show. So, uh, there are the, um, Hold on, is it, is it the one where he talks to sort of female gay icons and, and looks at the internet? Because <laughs> that's my favourite one. Um, right, there you go, let's do Rockbusters. Right, email then. only, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, email in ricky.gvase at xfm.co.uk if you know the answer. Right, first one. A uh, bit of a cryptic clue, if you haven't heard it before. Well, not cryptic, we're gone. <laughs> um, what, what is Carl thinking? If you go into France by boat, I'd get your fags on there, because it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Bob Holness. <laughs> sorry, we're out of time. I, uh, it's, sorry, your minute's up. You've won nothing. I was reading that question out. <laughs> sorry, right. so what's the well, let's do it again. I want it to be exactly the same, word perfect. I bet you it will change uh, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost it. Go to France, buy yourself a bag yeah. of fags and okay. okay, okay, fingers on the buzzers. Um, you've only got ten seconds to win the, uh, the gold run. Okay, first up. Here, I'll tell you what, no, seriously, if you're thinking of going to France, well don't, you know, because go on the ferry get the fags there, because it's cheaper. Go on. <laughs> Alright, so that one again. Uh, if you want to buy some fags, you're going over to France on the boat, get them on there, because you'll save a few quid. B. F. B F. Right. B F. Okay. Okay. Right, the second one. Um, mm. this little, uh, <laughs> foreign cafe is growing its own steak. <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Yeah. yeah. This little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Go on. D. Alright. Right. Okay. And the last one, uh, uh <laughs> Is uh, that part of it? Hang on. <laughs> The, He's the best. The Jamaican fella might have screamed oh, this on the uh, on the Titanic. What? <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have scre might have screamed this on the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what's it start with? It's uh, C D. That one. <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have screamed this on the Titanic. Ricky Dot Gervais at XFM dot co dot com. We'll get Rockbusters out of the way. Have we got a winner? Uh, yeah, well, come on in. Mm, See, it worries really. me that there's, we've had uh, very few entries. I think that even your Mental fans aren't getting these, which is really worrying. They must be terrible clues this week. All right, well, uh... Has anyone got on right, Steve? I think there's just one guy, yeah, who I suspect has won in the past. Well, there that's so what? Right, the first one, uh, if you go out of France by boat, uh, you might as well buy your fa fags when you're on that, because you'll get them a lot cheaper. Brilliant. Right? Yeah. Um, BF. Yeah. Buy it ferry. Right, that's like... What? <laughs> Buy on ferry. What? Buy on ferry. What's buy on, buy on ferry? ferry? Who's, what, what's that? Is that a band? What? What is it? I don't no, know what Bri it is. Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry? What's that got to do with buying on a ferry, though? Just because it's quite close to it. Buy on, <laughs> buy on ferry. Buy what? On
by on, by on ferry. Sorry, uh, uh, t t t what, what's first your first one. language? Uh, the second one. That's rubbish, that doesn't count. No, Brian, not. Brian Ferry. <laughs> Brian Ferry, by on ferry. Um, <laughs> there's this little foreign cafe, um, yeah. it's growing its own steak. Um, that's, that's Delamitri. Uh, the third one. What? What? <laughs> Sorry, what? What? What is that? What is that? Delamitri. Deli is a yeah. little foreign cafe. Yeah. A meat tree and that. <laughs> a meat tree! <laughs> a meat tree! <laughs> what were the initials for that? Just, just D for that. Just D for that? Yeah. So not D-A? So exactly. you didn't even give them a chance to get the group? Well, they, they got it. Well, no. No, 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 they, they, they didn't. Right, it's the end. <laughs> right, go on, right. Go on. Deli meat tree. Deli meat tree. <laughs> One word. D. -D. <laughs> Deli. Or any letter. They're M. Their own M. Meat. M's in it. Well. Go on. Okay, so Bayern, Bayern, I love Bayern Ferry. <laughs> and Oxy, Oxy Eric? Music, Oxy Music was brilliant. <laughs> can I, just, I love Oxy Music. Go on. Can I just point out, Rick, that, um, we've Dave, had- David Bowie? Delhi Meat Tree. Yeah. I don't see why, necessarily, uh, Aidan, who, uh, emailed in, why he doesn't get to win, because he emailed in Dire Steaks. <laughs> Seems to be just as valid, as far as I can tell, but <laughs> yeah. Deli Mitri I mean. it is. Um, and the last one, uh, if there was a Jamaican fella on the Titanic- I'm looking forward to this. this. It, with a little bit of fear. Jamaican fella, if he was on the Titanic, he probably would have screamed this. Yeah. Uh, that's Christ de Berg. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I don't know what to do. Stunning. So who's, who's the winner? I'm not going to give it to anyone. I just what's don't- the, I So think... what, what's the Jamaican bit got to do with it? It's the D. It's Christ de Berg. <laughs> say it again? No, I think they, they've worked it out now. What's- what do I say it again? Christ de Berg. And who's that? What? Who's that? Who's what? Who's Christ de Berg? Christ de Berg. Who's the winner, Steve? I'm, do you know what? I'm going to give it to so, Aidan. Because he just, he just treated you with nothing but contempt. Steve Martin, uh, uh, emailed in again. He got the first two and then the last one he just emailed, I neither know nor care about this answer. I'm tempted to give him, he's you, one of the Do you know what you've done there, don't you? Go on. You've put the nail in the coffin of, uh, Rockbusters. I warned you, I warned you for three weeks and you sort of bucked your ideas up for a little while. But Christ did Those Berg, are the worst you've ever done. Uh, the worst of, uh, Delimitri, so, uh, and didn't, just put D. And then buy and f buy and ferry, buy and buy and ferry, buy I uh, I uh, buy and ferry. So, and Rockbusters, Steve. If you've got a better competition, then we'll do yours. That's fine. Uh, do you know what I mean? If that's what you want to do, we'll do. What 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 did you want to do? No, I was just wondering whether we should perhaps not do a quiz at all, rather than do that piece of rubbish. Might be better to have nothing. Might be better just to have silence during that part of the show than have Rockbusters. How I about, don't know. If we I should discuss it. If I give you the clues mm -hmm. and that, and if you think they sound rubbish, we're not doing it. <laughs> well, I know that. I guarantee they're going to sound rubbish. All right, let's make it the last rockbusters then. This is the last rockbusters. Well, it depends. This is it. Okay, this is just, if it's good, we, you get a reprieve. It's all about this. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right. Go on then. Let's do rockbusters then. Oh, we're doing it now. Should we, we play a record and do it after that? Do it after. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you yeah. the prizes and then we'll come back with the uh, with clues. I because I've I've dug up that REM track. Excellent. So it's an interactive show. Okay, we've got the best summer holiday album ever. What we've got on there, it's brilliant. got Elvis versus Junkie XL, that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Holly Valance is on there. Yeah. Laz Ketchup, it's all the stuff that the XFM listener uh, is craving. Uh, a tribute to the Ramones it, album, we've got, uh, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers are on there, Metallica. Yeah. Uh, Street Legal from Bob Dylan, that's nice. Brilliant. Did you just buy that in the four for twenty pounds from HMV deal? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> um, once that's again, a good album. The Talons of Weng Chiang, a Doctor Who classic. Yeah. And uh, there's something for uh, for the XFM listener. Uh, Eight Mile on DVD. I as thought well. that was nice. That film. That was that, the last bit was funny. It was because it's a good film. <laughs> anyway, listen, Rockbusters. Oh, come on, then. let's get it done. Um, really? Yeah. Come on, then. Right. So cryptic clues and initials. You work it out. It's a band and stuff. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. First one. Bob Holness. Uh, the first clue. <laughs> um, the doctor said part of the foot and the leg was no good, so he took him off and he threw him away. <laughs> Uh, that's the clue, the initials okay. T B. T B. Okay. Right. The doctor said part of the foot and the leg was no good, so he took them off and threw them away. Second one. 
the Scottish monster has got a, a bit of a tan. Right? The Scottish monster has got a bit of a tan. Okay. That's, uh, that's TD, right? <laughs> and, uh, the last one, uh, well, the, uh, the 60s singer had a heart attack whilst he was having it away. We won't be seeing him again. <laughs> right? And that's <laughs> F-N-M. F-N-M. <laughs> well, the 60s singer's had a heart attack. He was having it away. We won't be seeing him again. Email in. Ricky Dot Gervais. Remember, this is to save Rockbusters. If people don't get this, right, it's no more. So you better, if you want this feature to stay, you better get the clues. Right. It's the, the Rockbusters re results, really, because th this is, um, and a very important result is whether, uh, they, uh, stay in the Premiership or are relegated. This is the playoffs for Carl. Okay? You need three points. You need three points to stay up, Carl. Go right. on. Right, the, uh, there's a lot of right answers in that. Right, uh, okay, that's, that's, that's in your favour, you, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first clue was, uh, the doctor said part of the foot and the leg was no good, so he took them off, he threw them away. Yeah. The initials TB. Yeah. Right? Go on. Toe, knee, Bennett. <laughs> right, that's Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett. Yeah. Okay, that's a warning. That's a yellow card. That is a yellow card, but you've, you can still get the points. Right. Uh... Because his name's not Binnett. <laughs> Tony, brilliant. Tony, perfect. A pun. Toe, knee, his name's Tony. Perfect. Binnett, no, his name's <laughs> Bennett. See? Well, he's in, he's, he's in London this week as well, so I don't know if it's sold out. I won't mind. Are you on drugs? Or uh, have you- uh, did I actually crack your head? Did I actually give you some brain damage? Cause you're worse than usual now, it's like- uh, go on. Right, the second one. Uh... That Scottish fella- We've gotta speed this show no, up! hang on a minute, hang on, I've just gotta make sure it's right, we don't wanna look stupid. Right? <laughs> that Scottish monster has got a bit of a tan. I don't think we can look stupid with right. material like this. T-T-D, that Scottish monster's got a bit of a tan, the answer there, the darkness. I'll give you that. Right. Well uh, done. And the last one. Goal. Goal. Uh, the 60s singer, he had a heart attack the other way whilst, uh, having it away, you won't be seeing him again. The initials F and M, that's Faith No More. Adam Faith. Right. No! Doesn't count! Why not? Adam Faith No More. Right. Adam Faith No More? <laughs> So, sorry, what is the clue? Is the clue Adam Faith, or is it Faith No well, More? Just Faith, I suppose. Just Faith No More. As a sexy <laughs> singer. So we got that, that's that safe for next week. What, who's the winner? <laughs> what do you make of it? You've got the deciding vote, Rick. Well, come on. I mean, you know my favorite. I mean, it, wor it works Faith No More, but he's mixed up what cryptic is and that, because it start- because the, the fella- I mean, Adam Faith did actually die having it away, didn't he? Yeah. So it's all about him. It's all right, all the facts are right. Anyway. Uh, okay, I think he's got a reprieve. I think I'll give it to him. I think I've got to give it to him, oh. Steve. I think I have. He's, he actually pulled that out of the bag, that one. There's oh. no, there's no Jamaican fellas no, seeing icebergs or, you know, Whitney Houston. The closest he came to is, is Bennett, Binnett, and I've got to give him, let him off that. All I've right. got to be a fair ref here. Well, fair, fair, fair enough. Okay, let's not waste any time with Rockbusters. Can we really, let's whip through it. Just, whip no through it. just do the clues, so. quickly. Quick, go, Rockbusters. Right, go. go. Right, the first clue. Yeah, yes. hurry up, faster. All the police cars are on fire. All the police cars are on fire. What's the uh, initials? BS. BS. All the police cars are on fire. Good. What's the next one? The director of 28 Days Later is shouting about sleeping outside. Yeah, right, okay. What's the, uh, the initials for that? DB. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. Right, go on then. He wants to be a sailor. Why is that? Yeah, well, um, what's the initials there? B. Brilliant. Okay. Give them again quickly, because I didn't quite catch the second one, so, but go from the top. All the police cars are on fire. Yeah, that's B BS. BS. Yeah. The director of 28 Days Later is shouting about sleeping outside. Yeah, okay. DB. Yeah. Right? He wants to be a sailor, why is that? Yeah. B. B. Okay then, brilliant. Ah. So, have we got a recap on Rockbusters? No, recap. just do- has anyone got the right answers? Uh, I've- Has so anyone far, got the right answers? Let me just check here. Uh, here's one from, uh, from someone who just says, uh, he's given an answer, uh, Answer to number one, I. Number two, don't. Number three, care. Right, okay, is he close? Has anyone got three answers? 
I can't find one with three answers. So, again, you've done something wrong, Carl. No, duh, 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 no. This isn't radio, this isn't radio, play a record. There you, there you go, someone's got it. Give, give it to them. Wrong. Fine, okay, give us the clues again, we'll give the answers straight yeah. away. No funny in the rain. Yeah, right. it's really pointless. Number one, yeah. all, all the police cars are on fire. BS. BS. Yeah, what was that? I can think of something. Go on. Blazing Squad. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Uh, the director of 28 Days Later is shouting about sleeping outside. Yeah. That's Dan Yell Beddingfield. Right? <laughs> Dan Yell, Dan Yell Beddingfield. Right, we we'll never let him do this again. I told you I washed my hands of it. I know, but Why I just thought- Why do you let him? Why do you- Because just... he was grumpy. But this is what happens, look what's happened. Dan Yell Beddingfield, that's what's- that's the- that's- that's what happened. The director of- so- so Danny Boy, so Dan, right, it, all that for Dan, but shouting about being- Dan Yell Bed in the Field, right? What's the last one? He wants to be a sailor, why is that? Yeah. Beyonce. What does that mean? Beyonce. He wants Beyonce. to be on the sea. Play record. You're like, never doing it again. You've I just can't... signed your death warrant. What have we done? You're never doing Rockbusters again. As a special treat, <laughs> a return. Sort of like a summer special, an end of term, well, a gift to the fans. Carl is bringing back Rockbusters. Oh. No. Do you want to explain it? Uh, Rockbusters is basically Blockbusters, completely ripped off, done with music. Um, that may or may not be a cryptic clue, and may or m may not be the actual band name, and may or may not be the actual letters he said they were in the first place. Do you want to sort of describe one though, in case someone's a new listener? And, like, well, well exploding pet was Atomic Kitten. Yeah. Okay. But so. basically, for those of you who are new to the show, this is the final show. Uh, Carl reads out what he considers to be a cryptic clue. It's yeah. not a cryptic clue. It's just some words. It's just a yeah. string of words. Yeah. And from that, you are supposed to deduct the name of an artist or a group or a band. Um, we've we've had things like the Jamaican fella swinging a fish round. That was de trout spinners. De trout spinners. So yeah. that's the sort of that's the level of intellect you are getting from Carl Pilkington. What was the one? Just do the competition. What? I was thinking, you f was it that she, she fell down Wet in Texas? Wet Knee Houston. She fell down into a puddle in Texas. On, yeah. a, knee on a knee. Wet Knee Houston. Yeah, so you said it twice, it's not no, cryptic, it's so not just right. do it. Come on. Right, so there's three of them and you email in your answers. We've got some good prizes today and that. Right. Well, um, let me tell you the prizes. Let me the prizes. They yeah. aren't bad. We're bad through it, because this, you know, yeah, yeah, the, the, the yeah, competition's yeah. bad enough, let alone just listening. What, what's it got? got? Three DVDs Brilliant. and six CDs. He's got the young ones and all that, lots of TV things. There's some great CDs. Yeah, go on. Right, so the first one, uh, cryptic clue. Um, this vegetable mm. started life down under. Right? right? This vegetable started life down under. The initials K O. Right? K O. This vegetable started life down under. Second one, um, the things that, uh, you normally find on the beach, right, have been found floating around the moon. <laughs> Right? Yeah. That's, uh, I think it's T.S. Uh, <laughs> you think it's T.S.? Yeah. You set the questions, but you're not sure. Um, so, the things you normally find on the beach have been found floating around the moon, right? And the last one, uh, well, if you put that many in the post, I'm surprised I didn't receive one. <laughs> right? He thinks they're great! Well, he thinks he's brilliant! Well, you know, if you put that many in the post, I'm surprised I didn't receive one. Is it locked in? He did all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The initials what? there, FC. 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 Mm. Right? So you email in the answers, ricky.gvaysexfm.co.uk. But now the answers to Rock Rock Busters. Busters. Right, do the clues. Alright, the uh, first clue was uh, this vegetable started its life down under. Uh, the initials were KO. That was. Collie Osborne, right? <laughs> Collie Osborne. <laughs> the second one. No, no, no. D what? What are we letting that go? Yep, we haven't got time, Rick. Well, it's just not. It's, it's, it's just not the word. We've got time, Rick. Also, cauliflowers don't start there. Uh, don't start uh, down under. They're 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 on top. It's not like carrot. No, or... down under is in Osborne. Osborne, born in Osborne. Os Osborne. Right, right. Collie. I thought you meant start. Co Her name's not so, Collie. Right. The second one was. Uh, the things that you normally find on the beach, right, they, they've been found floating around the moon. That's the space shells, 
Right, specials. <laughs> just tweak it a bit. This is yeah. rubbish. I mean, I, I, I tell you, no, this isn't even funny though. Specials. I mean, they're no good at all. Cryptic. It's not cryptic. It's wrong. Cryptic. It's not cryptic. cryptic. The last one was uh, well, if uh, if you put that many in the post, I'm surprised I didn't receive one. Go on. That's FC fifty cent. Right? What? Fifty cent. It was fifty cent. I didn't receive any, so so. <laughs> Collie Osborne. Collie. Her oh. name's not Collie. Her name is not Collie. Doesn't matter. Well, one. Well it done. doesn't matter. Well done to Gina Ferry, who has emailed in. She's got all those answers right. Just, and, uh, just emailing your address and that. Mm. Yeah, email that. You're such Gina. an idiot, Carl. As are you, Gina. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose so. Go on then. Oh. Right, uh, we brought it back. Uh, this is where I give a cryptic clue. Well, and some initials. And you work it out and you win some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to tell you what the prizes are. Needless to say, they're mediocre prizes for a mediocre quiz. Sure, okay, yeah. Oh, Where's well, right. DVDs and VHS? And DVDs yeah. And yeah, 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 yeah. VHS, who's still got that? Right, so there's three, three of them. And what you can do now, we've tweaked it a bit. Okay. You can text in. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can email or text. We've tweaked it a bit. Mm. Right. <laughs> 83 XFM is the text, or it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Is that what it is? 83 XFM? That's it. That is good though, and it's convenient because who's got their laptop up and running and exactly. texting? On the so loop. just with your phone. Brilliant. All right. Mine so, can do that. I don't know how to do that on my phone. I don't know how to get. What do you my, mean? Huh? What do you mean? My brother wanted my postcode. He said text it to me. Mm. I couldn't work out how to do W C and That's one. Because you're an old man. It's so technology. I had to. I had to write out double U C one. Oh, for goodness! Sake. Cause I didn't know how to do it. I can't, it, it just it won't do it for me. Pathetic. It's ridiculous. Go well, on. It's eighty three nine three six. If if you have that problem, right? Right. Come on, we get on with the quiz. I right, don't know. Three, there's too many numbers. Now. Three uh, three clues. Here we go. First one is uh, this Teletubby has got lice. <laughs> right? This Teletubby has got lice. This Teletubby has got lice. Right. The initial A is P, so it's a band or an artist yep. that starts with P, and the clue is this Teletubby has got lice. Right. Yep. Um, second one. I'm, I'm really already not holding out much hope I for this. Know, I know. Working out. Go on. Uh, right. Second one. I've just messed that first one up. Thing, <laughs> right? Oh, for Christ. But when what? I give it out later, it'll be, we'll, I'll sneak it in without, right? Just don't repeat anything I say. You're an idiot. Listen, you really are no, an no, idiot. No, 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 play a record. No, play a record. record. Play someone. a record. You're a fool. Play no, a record. Let, let, let me just no, no, no. No, you've ruined it. Well, um, Carl mucked up. Rockbusters, as usual. I mean, it's, uh, you know what? I like it when he mucks up early because it doesn't waste people's lives sure. for forty minutes. Realizing he's mucked up at the end. Yeah. So obviously, people are already they they know what it is. They know what it is already. They've said, "Well, it's police, isn't it? You meant to say nits instead of lice. Yeah. You're an idiot." So that one's gone. So what what have we got next? Right. So that's just an idea. If you haven't heard it before, that's that's how my head works. Right, this Teletubby has got nit. So Po. P. So Po is a Teletubby. Yeah. Uh, so th so when he says cryptic, it's not only what the what the answer is; it's what the question was meant to be. Sure. So. All right. So there's only two, so you got even a better chance of winning than that. Well. So the second one is, I'm saving that money to buy condoms. All right. Think about it. Easy. Too easy. J right. J C. Yeah, right, well that's that, too- that, uh, so everyone's got that one. I feel like saying it now. Yeah, but so don't- that's, don't Well that's say rubbish. It yeah, but you've got to have an easy one in there, otherwise people get bored, don't First we? one was easy, we gave them the answer. Yeah, but- hang on. <laughs> that's the easiest one we've ever had. Police. And the- and the- th and the second one is- Yeah. Uh, when you're making bread, add a little bit of colour for a change. Alright? When you're making bread, add a little bit of colour, just change things a little bit. What are the initials? Right? D. Just D. Just D, right? right? So, what you've got there, I'm saving that money to buy condoms, the initials mm -hmm. JC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy, yeah. Nice. And, uh, and when you're making some bread, just chuck some, chuck some colour in there. Sure. You know what I mean? Change, yeah. change yeah, it yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's like the clue. The clue changes every time. <laughs> yeah. The clue changes every time. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> the Times crossword, the clue changes every time it's said. 83XFM is one of the texts, or it's Ricky Dr. Bay's. <laughs> At xfm.co.uk. Rubbish. That, right? Pointless. <laughs> anyway, just r rather than reading out the A to Z, right? Mm -hmm. Are we doing Rockbusters answers? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Come on then. Right, Listen, this is this is built. This has got Chris Moyles, the Breakfast Show, on Radio One. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. sort of stuff. Well, Go on. Uh, have, we, have we got a winner, Steve? Did we you have. Know? I'll check that in a minute. Right. Yeah. yeah right, well, you, you find a find a good winner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Rockbusters clues. The first one was. 
This Teletubby has got no. mitts. Well, we know no, 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 we've no, done no, that. No. That yeah. was pole ice. Yeah, yeah right. rubbish. You ruined it. Right, the second one. I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Too easy, Johnny Cash. That was Johnny yeah. Cash. Rubbish. And the third one was when you're making bread, add a bit of colour for a change and sort of, you know, change the colour of it. Right. Right. That was dye dough. <laughs> <laughs> they got that. <laughs> Rock busters. Three. Come on, Carl. What you got for us? All right. Well, do you want to uh, you want to say what the prizes actually, are? The prizes are better away than that. Really? Um, we've got. I'll uh, be the judge of that. Actually, I'm, what am I talking about? No, there's a two disc set, Rock and Roll Legends, on the cover there. We've got Buddy Holly, Elvis, Roy Orbison. And uh, little Richard. So New that's... one wants that. Really. <laughs> Nobody's interested. Nick Cave of the Bad Seeds, a DVD. I'm a Nick Cave fan, and I wouldn't watch it. No, you'd watch it once yeah, at most when there was nothing else. No, me knowing you. No, no, that's... No, I mean, Nick Cave's good, but when do you watch rock exactly. with DVDs? Yeah. No, me knowing you. Great series, obviously, but once VHS. again, on VHS. Who wants it on VHS? Where, yeah. where are all the bonus features? R r absolute point. This the only so thing far. that's half decent is this enormous hardback League of Gentlemen book, which is the scripts and all sorts of other stuff. If you're a League of Gentlemen fan, you'll love it. If you're not. I guess it's a good if, Christmas. If gift. you're not a League of Gentlemen, there's nothing in this for you. <laughs> no, exactly. So, <laughs> so you know, you can okay, either enter for the hell of it. A pile of rubbish. What's the show? Well, not as bad as the competition, I suppose. So, no. go right, on. Well, you, you know how it works. Cryptic clue. It's not really cryptic. It's well, usually wrong. It kind of is. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. So the first one, there's three of them. You get them right. You win the stuff. First no. one. Uh, I'll get them close. I mean, because <laughs> you could win this if you got one right, possibly. If you go to Cheps, though, you will. Was that a clue or is that a point? Is that something? That's, that's a clue. Right. right. Say it again. If you go to Chepstow, you will. And what are the initials? Just S. Just S. Right. Second one. Um, e. T. is upset. What's up with him? <laughs> <laughs> All right. E. T. is upset. What, what, what's it upset for? What's wrong with him? All right. It's different. <laughs> so not cryptic. So. M. Go on. E. The initials there. N. E. M. M. E. M. For mother. M. E. All right. And the third one, um, I had a, I had a tape with, uh... Jesus. <laughs> imagine Bob, down, imagine Bob. Bob, Hol Bob Holness doing oh, yeah. this against, in the gold run, oh, no. against the clock. Right, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I had a tape, no, I had a tape with some, uh, <laughs> I had a, oh, listen, I had a tape with, like, yeah. Umpty Dumpty on it, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, and Ickery Dickery Dock and that on yeah. it, but I've broke it. Right, um, constantly listening it to trying to figure them out, <laughs> <laughs> trying to solve the crime. <laughs> exactly. Who pushed Humpty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The initials there, B R. Right. So, first one. If you go to Cheps, though, you will. The initial uh, S. E T's. Uh, E T S upset. What's up with him? Yeah. Right. What's up with E T? What's up with E T? E T S upset. What's up with E T? <laughs> yeah. The initials there, M E. Is that yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's go through that one more time. Yeah. If you go to Chepstow, They're you like might. They're like jazz uh, questions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just free for yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. E T S a bit upset. What's gay? <laughs> what's that? What? Hey, dude. What's the matter, man? <laughs> and they had a tape with like Umpty Dumpty on it, Ickery Dickery Dock stuff yeah. like that. Doesn't work anymore. What's What's gone on there? Right. <laughs> what's gone on there? B R. First time we said, well, you broke it. Well, I, bro I broke it then. Yeah, Is that important or not? Yeah, <laughs> I broke it. And right. so it's B? B R. Okay. Right. Okay, well you can text if you have uh, a <laughs> mobile phone, so everyone, there's no excuse to not take part. 83XFM is the text, 83XFM. I think phone number, no, not the phone, obviously. We I think I know what the B might stand for. Um. <laughs> Rockbusters? Yeah, there'd be a bit of love in this. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three clues were, uh, first one. If you go to Chepstow, you will. Right, the initial was S. That was C Horses. Alright, that was the answer there. I'll give you that. That's fair enough. enough. I'll give you that. Um, E.T.'s upset. What's wrong with E.T.? What's, what's, what's wrong with him? Yeah, right. Initials M.E. Yeah. What's up with him? He was Missy Elliot. Alright, Elliot. Doesn't count at all. What? Doesn't count at all. Missy Elliot. You know what I mean? What's up, what's, what's wrong with E.T.? What, what is that with him? Well, just let him explain it. Sorry, Carl, do it again. Well, I wasn't listening. Do it again. Elliot, yeah. Yeah. Who's in E.T.? Yeah, I'll just do the clue again. Alright. E.T.'s upset. What's yeah. He's looking a bit sad and that. What's, what's what, E.T. the extraterrestrial? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Right, and his mate, yeah. who's in it, it's called Elliot. Yeah. Right, he's upset. What's up with him? Well, he's, he's, he's Missy Elliot. Missy Elliot? What's she got to do with it, though? I don't understand. No. It, the way you'd say it, it you'd say, what's up, E.T.? And it'd go, oh, Missy Elliot. Why Missing... would he mention her? I don't understand. Was she in the, was it a thing in the film? 
Missing. She wasn't even around. Oh, miss, missing? Oh, missing Elliot. Oh, no, oh, oh, that no. makes sense, Carl. No, 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 she's not no, called no, Missing no, Elliot. It's, it's meant to be about cryptic, rock stars, though, isn't it? Miss, missing Elliot, isn't it? So it's meant to be about rock stars, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's just cryptic, though, isn't it? Cryptic clues. Oh, it? no, that's not cryptic. So that's shit. <laughs> you. Right, the third one. Uh, I had a tape and it had uh, Umpty Dumpty on it. And <laughs> 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 I love when he says Umpty Dumpty. Yeah, Umpty Dumpty. Hickory Dickory Dock and that. Uh, yeah. but, but the tapes, uh, broke. Yeah. That was B.R. Buster Rhymes. Say Bus that again, Bus I don't stop. Sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, uh, who, who, who's the winner, Steve? No, no, it doesn't, no, do you mean oh, busted? busted? Well, it's kind of like that. <laughs> cryptic. No, no, it's not, no, cryptic doesn't mean change it so it's not the same. Steve, who's the winner? We've got loads of right answers, so. It's interesting. The time where we play, well, World Rockbusters. famous quiz, isn't it? Rockbusters, isn't it? Yeah. Which is blackbusters but with music. See you later. Cryptic <laughs> clues and that. Do you want to say Not Steve, really. Not Dave? really cryptic, but go We've on. got a number of DVDs to give away, uh, including some uh, teachers' DVDs. We've got a bunch of CDs here and also Ricky Gervais's uh, live stand-up DVD. Animal, Animals, brilliant. Which cool. is not good at all. I really would not encourage people to buy that. It is well. weak observations poorly performed. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend the Office series two on DVD. Rubbish that's in still that. Available. I'm awful in that. You can actually see me forgetting some of my lines. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Right then. So cryptic clues. Um, just an example might be new. I reckon people will be staying in today because it's raining and that. So yeah. might not have heard it before. Yeah. So, like. Uh, or they have and they're not listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, oh, good. You gave up on that, did you? Three, three. Well, give us an example of the sort of thing. Uh, that, that, uh... Jesus. All right, maybe don't. Listen, uh, yeah, 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 I'm a broadcaster. <laughs> yeah, words are my tool. <laughs> Go on. All right, forget Come that. Come on, Baldy. Right, three, three clues, then. Here's the first one. It's a band or an artist. Yeah. All right. I'm going to the North East. What are you going there for? Good point. Good question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so, yeah, if it had been why you're going to the northwest, that's a different yeah. matter. Go going on. to the northeast, what are you going there for? Right. Yeah. S is the initial, so it's a band or an artist who's who starts with an S, and that's the clue. Right. Second one. Uh, oh yeah, she's uh, she's related to the man in the lamp. Right. That's G. Right. She's related to the man in the lamp. Right. And the third one is uh, the Jamaican fella. Would love to live there, but it's a little bit pricey. <laughs> oh God, I feel an accent coming. That's on. one way you're gonna have to think about it with the accent. I the imagine. There, D S D S for that one, right? So the Jamaican fellow would love to live live there, but you know, a bit dear and that, and a bit pricey. So, uh, <laughs> so, so give us some again quickly. Right, the first one. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? That's S. <laughs> She's related to the man in the lamp, you know. That's G, Changes and the Jamaican fellow would love to live there, but it's a little bit crisis. pricey. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's D-S, so uh, email in or text and that. Oh, oh, you can't listen to the radio in every, uh, after every record. It's bad enough trying to keep them listening with the rubbish we come out yeah, with. Yeah, we've got Rockbusters here, let's get them back. <laughs> right. Right, Go on then. Right, has uh, anyone got all three? No. No, right, okay, so there's some, right, I'm gonna be ang I'm gonna ban Rockbusters. Cause, okay, go on then, what are the clues again? Tell me the answers. Well, give us the ones that they did get. All right. Well, they did get. Um, she's related to the man in the lamp. What's that? That was G. That Gina. Was, that was that Genie. was Genesis. Right. Genesis. Like Genesis. So <laughs> G, the sister of the genie, Genesis, Genesis. They got that no, one. No, 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 no. What, what, what's, what's the band's name? Genesis. No, no, no. Genesis. Say the band name. Genesis. 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 Right. Okay. What, I don't get it, because genie is nothing well, like that. Well, they did, so don't right, worry okay. about it. Stop worrying about the ads, stop worrying about that, all right? The third one was, uh, the Jamaican fella would love to live there. Go on. But it's a little bit pricey. Go on. Right? That what was, was the initial? DS. Deer Streets. Right? What? It's, it's a deer street to live on. Deer Streets? Oh, yeah, I, don't, I haven't heard of them. They're, but, well, they're banned. That's, that's Dire Straits. No, it's not Dire Straits! <laughs> it's not Dire Straits! No, deer Streets! The Jamaican fella. Go on, to go on, there. make it sound like that. Like Deer Streets. Deer Streets. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah, no, it's still not. Keep going. I haven't got it yet. Deer, go on. Deer Streets. Deer Streets. They got that one as well, so. Alright, well, let's hear the one they did. Can I do an impression of a Jamaican fella saying Dire Straits? 
Right. Uh, Dire Straits. <laughs> the first it's not one, the same! The first one they struggle, struggled with was, um, I'm going to the North East. What are you going there for? Well, you know, when you say struggled with, no one got this. No one got it. People go on, then. didn't even attempt it. Okay, do you want the North East? I'm going to the North East. What are you going there for? Seal. S seal? What? Hull. Hull's up in the North East. Hull it? is, yeah. Sea yeah. Hull, yeah. Yeah, so. I haven't heard of them for? either. Is that a seal, right? So that works. Who's Seal? Seal. seal. That's, oh, Seal? Yeah. What's that got to do with the North, though? Seal. <laughs> that's the way I'd say it, isn't it? Okay, that's the end of Rockbusters. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's the end of Rockbusters. I can't believe we even brought you back, Rick. Right? I'm, I'm serious, that's the end of Rockbusters. <laughs> right, we're doing Rockbusters. <laughs> yeah, come on. Listening Steve, online. do you want to wow. do the uh, clues? I won't do the clues, I'll never be able to piece them together, but I'll give you the prizes. Uh, the Old Grey Whistle Test Volume 2, <laughs> Kumar's at number 42, Volume 2, or maybe that's Volume 1, who cares? Porridge Series 3, Volume 2, The Office Complete Second Series on VHS, for anybody uh, who's still got grandparents. And, um, you two are best of 1990-2000. And Smash Hits The Reunion, that'll be the kind of stuff you'll love. Spice Girls is on there, Liberty X, Atomic Kitten. Do you see that? Do you see Steve's enthusiastic? Even though the, the, the competition's rubbish, the prize is a second rate, Steve is going, well, I'm not going to punish London, right? I'm going to big it up. You're there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Come on. Right, here's clue the one. first come clue. On. Clue one. Come uh, on. Come on! Shut up! <laughs> Come on! Can't do any photos because it's been nicked by what? a German. <laughs> right, start again. Oh, start again. what? <laughs> clue one. Rockbusters. Clue one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is Rockbusters with Carl Pilkington. Go. I can't do any photos because it's been nicked by a German. And what's the initial? A C. <sighs> right. Next. S second clue. If you keep eating. This bit of your body Oof. will get bigger. PC. PC. It's an artist or a band. Who is it? PC. <laughs> if you keep eating, this part of your body will get bigger, right? Yeah. And the last one I'm not really sure about. Oh. Um, if you... <laughs> <laughs> He's actually winging it now. Imagine if this was mastermind. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. I know you're especially subject Come on! Uh, okay, go! The, the place where you go to... Oh, take your dog a walk and that. The, the, the place where you go to take your dog oh, a walk. <laughs> um, we were doing Rockbusters just before the ads and the record. Rick, I know you were enjoying it. Yeah, come on, get this clue out, Carl. It's three. What is it? Right, the first one was. No, no, we don't look the first two. What's can't the do any photos oh. it's been nicked by a German. Yeah. Second one, if you keep eating the, uh, if you keep eating this bit, of your body will keep getting bigger. Yeah, it's different every time. Go on. What's the third and, one? Um, w where you take your dogs. Oh. For a walk and that, or you might go there on a Sunday. What? Um, sort of. Uh, oh, jeez. Right. Rick, just be quiet for just a moment. Right, okay, do this clue. Right, start from now. This is the third blockbuster, sorry, rockbuster clue. That was a Freudian slip. Yeah, God, oh, we'll get done. Oh. Right, go on then, go. Where you take your dog a walk, or you, or uh. you might go there on a Sunday and that. Um, <laughs> people sort of might taste that area. Right? Oh. You are, it's rubbish. A P. Right. A -P. Well, the other one's A P as well. Eh? A P. What? A P. Reproductive right. race A P. A quick reminder of them again with the initials. Quick. Oh, Go. this is such rubbish. The first one, can't do any photos because it's been nicked by a German. Second one, if you keep. What was the initial? A C. If Don't get annoyed, that's what the, the game's about, the initials. Yeah. If you keep eating, oh. this bit of your body will get bigger. That's P C. Right. Right? And where well, you take your dog maybe on a Sunday and you go for a walk there and that, have a taste of it. <laughs> right? it's different! AP, AP, just email in and you win some stuff. RickyDotGervais at xfm.co.uk. What rubbish. I wonder why we stopped this game. Well, I think it's probably exhausted him. He needs to go to some kind of volcanic dust island. <laughs> for our... Talking of email correspondence, Rockbusters. Oh. Rick is okay. underway. People Have we got monkey absolutely, news? Absolutely loving that. Let's see if we can cram it in. Have we got a film? Yeah. We should do that then. Well, let's well, finish one thing and move on. Jesus, oh. calm yeah. down. All right, right, Rockbusters. We, uh, let's get this third one out of the way because it's tricky. <coughs> um, so initials... when you say tricky, it's tricky to say. <laughs> <laughs> the initials were AP. It was, uh. When you take your dog out on that, or maybe on a Sunday. Come on, let him finish quick. Let him 
and finish. You take your dog there, you might go there on a Sunday, uh, have a taste of it when you're there. Right, that was AP. Uh, the answer? Alex Parks, right? <laughs> Alex. Alex Parks? Yeah. It kind of doesn't work, that one. D but That what, one doesn't I, work, I, I, I know. I, I know, it's you know, you know that one doesn't work? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, well, that's, well, that's, that's, that's fine. That's what I was trying to work out when you were messing around. That's why it's not good. Okay, come on. No, the other ones. The first one was, uh, the German fella. Can't do any photos because it's been nicked. What's the German that? fella can't do any photos because it's been nicked. That was, uh... Uh... The initials were? AC. I've got it. I took... Right, it's, it, it's, it's, it's Aztec camera. Yeah. But what's that got to do with the German fella nicking it? Because the way he'd say it, he'd be like, you know... As Doug Camera. <laughs> so why aren't you taking any pictures? Can't. Why? As a tech camera. Why is that German? <laughs> Just sounds a bit. Why? Right, <laughs> you know that's rubbish then as well. You know that one doesn't work, do you? And the, the second one was, uh, if you keep eating, this bit of your body will get bigger. PC. Yeah. Phil, Phil colon. <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil col, Phil. <laughs> It's uh, honestly right, Carl. Phil Collins. I, 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 Phil honestly, Collins. right, okay. I honestly, I don't know what the PC term is for this, but I honestly think, I, I think you're quite bright, and you know, I think you're quite streetwise and all that things. But I actually think, oh, I've got to be so careful here not to offend people. But I think you might be. Could you maybe describe it through a sound? Um, you might be educationally subnormal. Does that worry you? No. I've got, I've, you know, I've got by all right. I'm not going to worry about it now. You know what I mean? I'm 30. You know what I mean? Why well, start worrying about it now? But you've got the mind of a 12 year old. <laughs> so what? Sure. You know what I mean? I don't worry about stuff. If you don't know about stuff, you don't worry about it. Yeah. So I'm happy. Well, if he's educationally subnormal, I'm afraid also Matt Briggs of South East London is as well. Because well he got all three right, as did a number of other people. <laughs> well done. Well, well done. done, that. Yeah. So he's won that stuff. Yeah. Right. Rockbusters? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right then, this is where I uh, give you a little cryptic clue and some initials, and it sort of makes up a band or an artist mm. and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, sort of being the operative phrase. Yeah. Uh, Let's see how we read this clue. Yeah. This is going to sound like Oscar Wilde. <laughs> clue right. number one. Three different clues. Clue Oscar Wilde was Chinese, apparently. Was uh, it? Yeah, it was illegal then. Right. Will you leave the entrance to my garden alone? Sorry. Right? Will you leave the entrance to my garden alone? Are we back on the gay thing, or is this? This, this is, is the clue. Th that's the clue. Right. Clue for Rockbusters number one. Well, you just leave the entrance to my garden alone, will you? Right, that doesn't count because I know what it is. And what was, sorry, what were the initials? What are the initials? GG. Correct. Yeah, right, but you've got to pronounce the artist correctly. I'll pronounce the artist because I know what it is. Don't ruin it. No, no, <laughs> when, when the answer comes, I'll pronounce the artist. Right, can we just focus, please, on the quiz? Go. What was the clue again? Give it again. Will you leave the entrance to my garden alone? Not messing with it, right? GG. Okay. Right? <clears throat> Next. Doesn't count. Next. Incorrect. Uh, don't phone, but you can send a message on my mobile if you want, right? That's yeah. T. It's another little, little easy one. And, uh, the last one. We were sharing out the mail sheet. Well, that doesn't count either. Can we just fuck I know, I know what that is. I know what that is. I don't care. We'll come to that later. Yeah. And number three. <laughs> we were sharing out the mail sheet, and I think I got the best one. Right? DG. DG. Yeah. So quickly again. Will you leave the entrance to my garden alone? Yeah. Stop messing about with it. Yeah. Right? GG. Yeah. Don't phone, but you can send us a message on my mobile if you want. Right? That was T. And the last one was sharing out the mail sheep, and I got the best one, so that's good. Right? <laughs> DG. All right. Ricky. Yeah. Well, I think it's Rockbuster's result, isn't Ooh. it? Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you want the prizes, by the way? Not really. Not bothered? No. Right, some videos and DVDs yeah, and that, yeah, some yeah. good stuff. VHS there. hype. Mm -hmm. Couple. Four ninety nine. Yeah. Is that one TV about weather? titles? What? There's the weather one. That's going to be on telly. Donald McIntyre. Oh yeah. That's that's in there. If you want that. Yeah. Um. He reckons Donald McIntyre ripped him off because yeah. he did a thing about how much it costs to, to have a chimp, cheap as chimps. What was the only thing you think someone ripped you off? Uh, Rockbusters. Ken, so, Ken Bruce on Radio 2 is doing songs of phrase. He was doing that over Christmas. Was I took one week off. 
is in there. <laughs> and when he heard that Donald McIntyre was doing a programme about wind, he thought he was moving on Auntie, Auntie Nora. <laughs> right. So, uh, the first one, uh, will you leave the entrance to my garden alone? Right? That was the cryptic clue. The initials were GG. Yeah. That was Gareth Gates. Gareth Gates. Gareth Gareth. I was, what, what would you Gareth. Gareth Gates. No, 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 right? no, but it's Gareth Gates, isn't it? So, why would you say to someone Gareth? Is that like a, what's that, a Manchester well, thing when you say Gareth? Gareth Gates. Gareth Gates, Gareth, 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 yeah, Gareth Gates, yeah, Gareth, Gareth Gates, Gates, the bloke, yeah. the bloke who came second in Popeye, but yeah, Gareth Gates. So that's the first what one. What was that about getting off the thing, though? Get, leave my, leave my entrance alone, though. I don't understand what it's got to do with leaving my entrance alone. The, the gate Gareth, to the garden. Well, no, not Gates bit, but what's Gareth got to the do with it, you was ignoramus? Don't, don't phone, but you can send me a message on, yeah. uh, on my mobile if you want. Yeah. The initial was T. Yeah. Text us, right? Just. No, it's text. The word's text. Yeah, te so you'd have to say text, uh, me. Text us. Text, what do you mean? No, text me. What's that? The third one was, uh, we were sharing out the, uh, the male sheep and that, right? Yeah. Uh, I got, I got the best one. BG, right? We were sharing out the male sheep. Get to it! It one. doesn't work anyway. Get to BG. it. What is it? Delta good ram. <laughs> Delta good ram. <laughs> you were Delta good ram. Delta good ram. Alright, so who's, who's the winner? It's Rockbusters. Can I just say something now before we do Rockbusters? A lot of people sort of, they come up to me, they say, Steve, we like the show. When are you going to get rid of Rockbusters? It's, it brings it down. I, I'm, not I'm not joking. I'm not joking. There is lots of people. Come, like, on, is, let, let, come on, let's speak. Come on, fit. Come on, fit. What? I know people who say, you're never going to stop that, are you? <laughs> so one of us is lying again. <laughs> well, not really. We, you know, I, I, I'm, I talking about, I'm talking about people who've listened to the show. You're talking about Suzanne. <laughs> Your uh, girlfriend. Oh, uh, Martin. He, he'll be at home now with a pad. Getting ready to play. <laughs> but I should just- Max Freeman that did say, did encourage Carl on a couple of occasions. He even tried to get him through with the answer, egg, when we were doing that name in animal round. Yes. So- But I should just say that people, they, people think that somehow Ricky and I are endorsing Rockbusters, that somehow by allowing it on the show, somehow we think it's good or we appreciate it. And I need to point out that it's more like when a child comes back from school and they've done a painting. Yeah. It's crap. Yeah. But of course the you've got to stick it on the fridge. bigger than the house. <laughs> you've got to stick yeah. it on the fridge because otherwise the kids can exactly. get upset. In this next episode, you've got to remember the cat is bigger than the house. <laughs> exactly. It okay. doesn't look like anything. The humans don't have bodies, their legs come straight from their heads. Yeah. Mummy and daddy. Please wait. Welcome to the stage, Carl Pilkington's Rockbusters. Right. <laughs> right, so, uh, cryptic clues, no, initials, cryptic. and you work Rubbish it out, clue. you email in and that. Yeah. First one. Yeah. Uh, don't be stealing my tools. Take your sisters. <laughs> All right, and the initials NK. Don't be so, stealing my tools. Take my sisters. Yeah, so that's like the cryptic clue, and the initials of the artist or band is NK. Mm -hmm. All right. Second one. Try it if you want, not bother, think about it. Come back, <laughs> right, come back if you want. <laughs> start again, Carl, I that last half way through! Right, start that second one again! Right, well, you can back- <laughs> It's different, it's different! Well, the first one was, uh, buy it if you want, now this one was, uh, yeah, well, write it down, buy it, right, right, do it, do it, if it's a cryptic clue, all the letters count, do it. Buy it if you want, I'm not that bothered, you know, think about it, come back, check some other places out first before you, you know. <laughs> So we've got no we've got no time for other clues. Right. right. So that's S C. Right, that, do that clue again. Buy it if you want. I'm not I'm not, I'm not fussed, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Think about fast. it. Fast! Fast is making the parents! Fast wasn't there before! Do the clue again! Do the clue again! <laughs> Initials SC for that one. Do the clue again! <laughs> I don't wanna do it again. Do you haven't finished it yet? I have, that's it. No, do the clue again. <laughs> do, do the clue again. Well, I'll buy it if you want, I'm not fussed, right? Chop around. <laughs> come back. It's up to you. I'm not, I'm not pushing you into anything. It's right? up to you, wasn't it? S S C. S C oh, for that one, dear. right? And the final one, uh That's good, I can play ten pin bowling again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what's oh, the clue? Well, that's that's O for that one. O. o. Alright, so, oh. there we okay, go. I assume, that, I'm not gonna bother to look, but I assume there's a, there's a <laughs> jiffy bag of tap yeah. which people can win. Alright, well, great, good luck. Um, Ricky Do Carl. Um, Carl. Um, should we have the Rockbusters answers? Yeah, We've got go to get on. that tapped out of the way. I'd love to. Uh, number one was, don't be stealing me tools, take your sisters. The initials were NK. That was Nick Ursall, right? Nick Ursall? Nick Ursall. 80s. I don't know, I've never heard of that band. Nick Kershaw. Nick, Nick Kershaw. Oh, no, oh yeah, Nick Kershaw, yeah. Nick, oh, sorry, what, what, Nick I don't understand it, Nick. 
How does Nick Kershaw Second one. No, no, no! Don't move on! Nick Kershaw! What's Nick Kershaw? <laughs> Jesus. All right. It doesn't the count! It's not moving on. But let's just leave it behind us, all right? Second one was, uh, buy it if you want. You know, I'm not bothered. You can think about it. Come back, have a, have a look around, think it over. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not fussed. The initials were SC. That was soft cell. Right? That works. Yeah. Well done. That works. Right. And that's good. I can, uh, I can play some pin bowling again. That's O. That's outcast. Alright? What? What does that mean? Outcast? You're out, you, you, you broke your arm. No. Right. Uh, got the oh, cast that's off ridiculous. <laughs> that's ludicrous. I mean, that's ridiculous. You broke your arm, you were in a cast, you got rid of the cast, you're out cast. Did yes, anyone yeah. get that? Yeah. I, I mean, I am stunned. I think, to be fair, that was because how many bands begin with O? Yeah. I think that's why people got it. Exactly. For their own guesses, yeah. I could probably make Oasis work if I tried hard enough. We've done that. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, 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 so, uh, Outcast. That's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? But it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Well, it's it's ridiculous. It's a leap to bowling. We're worse than that! <laughs> <laughs> no, Imagine I, I, that! I remember when I did my wrist in, then it fixed, and I went temp and bowling. Why did you do your, so, you do your so wrist So it's in? what you did. Brilliant. So, next week's quiz is what am I thinking? You're an idiot, Carl. Play a record. Um, yeah, I... I sort of feel like, you know, one thing we've never done, Rick, is we've never pandered to people, but as it's the last show, um, we've got to give the audience what they want. What, what's this? Well, yeah, and I was gonna say things they don't want as well. <laughs> and, uh, um, <laughs> you know, and, well, just basically to keep a smile on Carl's face. Yeah. Uh, I say a smile, a sort of, not quite a scowl. Yeah, he never really smiles. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just really as, as a chance for him to have a go. It's like, you know, you, you indulge a, an annoying child. The only time Carl laughs is for no apparent reason. Yeah. What well, do you think, like? What do you mean? Well, it seems like you go, <laughs> and I know you'll be thinking of what a monkey could do. Yeah, it's like it's like people who've had electroshock therapy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, imagine tied down, biting on exactly, something, yeah. biting on a big leather pad. Uh, let me just tell you briefly what the, the prices are. It's that, the number that looks of... like a piece of shit. You <laughs> <know that. laughs> well, let me tell you, mate, let me tell it? you. There's a number of uh, there's a number but, of mediocre CDs and DVDs. That, that is real. But tight, mainly, that? what about this? It's the Lord of the Rings collector's edition. Oh, well, the movies you're thinking? No, it's no. the Radio Four adaptation. It's uh, it's only fourteen hours long, Rick. Oh, that is throw that away. <laughs> so, pop that in the bin. <laughs> so that's that is just <laughs> I'll pop it. Either pop it in the bin or send it to some poor bastard who wins this quiz. <laughs> exactly. If you're willing to take part in the quiz, you deserve. Uh, 14 hours you'd be like yeah. wasted with that uh, Tolkien tripe. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Yeah, what are the clues then, uh, Carl? Right, as always, just, you know, cryptic clues no. and that. Initials of a band or an artist, yeah. work it out, yeah. win the, win the stuff. Yeah. Um, Email only. Yeah, ricky.gervais, xfm.co.uk. First clue is as follows. Um, <laughs> The, the Jamaican fella wrote a review for- <laughs> 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 He's back! The oh, Jamaican fella. It's the last show and the little Jamaican fella's made an appearance. <laughs> this, uh, normally suggests that you need to think of the answer in a Jamaican accent. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, or not. Yeah, Can any I accent. Say or an accent. <laughs> or pronounce the word slightly differently. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, go on. The Jamaican fella wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. Alright? Yeah. DC is on the initials. DC? D for yeah. Derek? Yeah, okay. DC. The Jamaican fellow wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. That's the first one. Um, second one. It's three of them. Second one is, uh, we should all vote for Paul Daniels, David Blaine, Copperfield, The Great Soprendo, Tommy Cooper, and Darren Brown. We should all vote for them. Why is that? What was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've just got the first one. E S. E S. Right? E S. Okay. And the last one, um, Steve, what did your dad do? Yeah? Steve, what did my dad do? What did your dad do? Is that the question, or are you asking me? Well, uh, Ricky, what did your dad do? You can work on anyone. What right. did your dad do? Alright. Right? That's E. Right? What so, did your dad do? Quickly, again, the Jamaican fellow wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. Right? DC. <laughs> Second one, we should all vote for Paul Daniels, David Blaine, yeah, yeah, Copperfield, yeah, right. Greater Brand. No, but that's important. Right? <laughs> <laughs> E.S. and the last one, you know, Steve, what did your dad do? Right? Okay. The initial E. Ricky so. Dot Gervais at X. No, so right. is it disappointing? Go anyway, on. Anyway, Rockbusters, right? Uh, right, first clue was, uh, Jamaican fellow wrote a review for Phoenix Knights. Yeah. Right, that was the cryptic clue. The initials were DC. Yeah. What is it? Come on, no, you tell me. It's, uh, it's Define Comedy. Alright? 
<laughs> Define comedy. It's a divine comedy. <laughs> All right. What so is that? <laughs> Well, I'll just do the accent, accent again, do the accent again. No, it's just divine comedy. <laughs> why, no, why are you talking? Hey, hey. That's, that's no, do it again, do the accent again. No, I'm not doing it again, you've got the answer, it doesn't matter, let's move on. Right. <laughs> Second one. We should all vote for Paul Daniels, David Blaine, Copperfield, Great Soprendo, Tommy Cooper and Darren Brown. Why Go is on. that? ES with the initials. Go on. Elect, trick six. Right? What? Elect, trick six. It works, so don't say it like that. <laughs> what? I, don't, I, don't, what I don't know what it means. Right, well there's six people there who do tricks and that. Right, I'm saying we should vote for them, so you elect them. Yeah, but he said elect. 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 Trick six. No, elect though. Elect. No, elect's not a word, is it? <laughs> and the last one, uh... Really, elect's a word. Elect. Steve. What? You don't mean Alec, do you? It's not Alec Park. You're not trying to do Alec Park. The one. Third one. Steve, what did your dad do? <laughs> I, I don't know. That was E. Could work for anyone. It didn't have to be Steve, right? <laughs> that was, uh, Erasia. Right? Erasia. Erasure? No, it doesn't work either. It doesn't work either. Work. No, it, it doesn't work. work. doesn't work. Who's the winner? None of them work. None well. of them work. Another pile of crap <laughs> from the, <laughs> for the mind of little stupid. Oh, oh, I'm gonna give, give the prices to. Don't be little. Oh. I'm gonna give the prices. Right, we're doing rock busters then. Oh, okay, <laughs> now you, you should explain briefly what the concept is, Carl, because there might be a few new listeners. It's, block <laughs> it's blockbusters. Right, go on then. Well, no. it's not. It's not blockbusters. No, because they were real clues, that weren't would, they? Yeah, that was actually. He says they're a cryptic clue. It's not cryptic. Yeah. Well, it's what am I, It's like what am I thinking? This competition is like what number am I thinking of? Rick, just calm down for a second. Let me explain basically what the concept is. You'll remember some of the greats from the past. Yeah. And um, basically, uh, you give some vague clue. Is that right, Carl? And from that, we're cryptic. supposed to deduct yeah. which band or artist you you're thinking of. So yeah. for instance there was a Well there was one, the West Indian fella spinning a fish round his head. And that was Detroit Spinners. The Trout Spinners. Yeah, Detroit, Detroit, spinners, Detroit, Detroit spinners. spinners. Yeah. There was also what happens if you fall over into a puddle in Texas, what? wet knee Houston, wet yeah, knee. That that is the level of Carl's That's what you're clues. working with. But could I just say there's no irony in this. Carl doesn't think this is quirky or kitsch or ironic. This he thinks these are th he thinks these could go on the Guardian crossword. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. This so is the best stuff you can come up with. Yeah. Right, so, so there's, there's three of them, yeah. right? I give you the cryptic clue, yeah, not and cryptic. to help you along, well it is, yeah, uh, and really. I give you some initials of the band or the artist or whatever to help you along as well. Yeah. Uh, three no, of is, them. This is on the text only, we don't want emails on this one, just It's the one that gets the highest or the first one to get three. The first email with three or the first one that is the, the highest. So if, if no one gets the third one, which I wouldn't blame you for, uh, so if there's like 30 people that get two, it's the first email that comes in that we pick, and uh, they win a uh, handful of tat, which, uh, would you like to go through? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll search out the tat in a second, I'm not sure it is, yeah. There's some DVDs and stuff in there, it's not bad, yeah, but uh, it means you go forward to the grand final in six weeks' time when you're playing for all that amazing stuff Ricky's got. We've got the signed, uh, genuine, exclusive drawing of Homer Simpson done by Matt Groening, um, featuring references to Carl. We've got the signed mm. Spinal Tat poster. This is big yeah. stuff you can't get anywhere else. No, it's a rare, it's a rare um, American poster signed by and Nigel Tatchell. And it's such a shame that your only chance of winning it is with this inane quiz. Uh, absolutely. It's not It's not down to skill or anything. Uh, it's it's just such a shame that- Let's that just do it then. Go on then. Uh, right. The first one. Go on. Uh, what you got to remember is it's a band or an artist, that, so, that X of M play as well, right? Right then, so, uh, the first one. Oh uh, yeah, cause X-Men play the Detroit Spinners <laughs> and Whitney Houston all the time, <laughs> yeah. don't they? Alright, these three. Okay. Give it away, but these are, these are X-Men bands. Okay, yeah. Right, uh, if you got, if you got like a, a ball. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just, just I don't know, and the, you don't think about the cryptic clue is that every syllable counts. <laughs> he says it's different every time he says it. it there'll be somewhere different. Look, he's, look, go on then. Go. Right. So if you get a bulb, right? A bulb? What? A bulb. A bulb. What's a bulb? What's a bulb? Like a. I like bulb. I yeah. like bulb. Oh, yeah. I, I like bulb. So okay, you get a bulb. Yeah. You get a bulb. Yeah. 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 <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Right. Go on. So you get a bulb. Right? Oh, yeah. A bulb. Yeah. Have you got something in your throat? What are you doing? You need a gobstopper. What are you doing? <laughs> you play a song then. No, <laughs> come on! Get, get the clue out, for goodness Go sake! So the, the cryptic clue is, so, if you get a bulb, right, so... <laughs> That's the beginning. Okay, great. Right, oh. right, if you get a saw, then right, if you get a bulb, like, go on. And you look after it, right, you look after that bulb. Mm. And you teach it stuff. Jesus and all that. Christ. What are you doing there? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is extraordinary. 
This that's is extraordinary. Amazing. Imagine that written down in the He's Telegraph. He's had 18 months to get But point. imagine it. That's, that, that's not a clue. That's an essay. I don't know what it is. It's a conversation with yourself. I don't know if yourself. he means a light bulb, a bulb like you plant in the garden. What kind of bulb does he mean? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Well, you get a bulb. Well, um, well, remember that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Okay, it doesn't no, matter what- it, it does, but I can't say too much. <laughs> <laughs> right, so listen, let me just say it again. You get a bulb, right, yeah. when it's young, you look after that bulb, yeah. you teach it stuff and what have you. What have you done there? What, what's gone on? <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, so the precise! The band. R, right? R. R for rabbit, right? So what's the band there? Second oh, one. Jesus. Uh, people have a problem doing this. When they get home from from like an, a night out drinking, right? What what's the problem they've got? Right, the the initial there K. What's the band? Right, people get in from having a night out. They'll have a problem doing this. What is it? What's what's, what's the problem? Okay, <laughs> and clue right. number three. I had a vision of that Chinese flu. Right, that's that's C. I had a vision of that Chinese flu. You had a vision of that Chinese flu. Yeah, and, and that's the, band the letter C. C. Right, so three bands there, three cl uh, cryptic clues. Not really. Text in eighty three XFM. Just just send the three uh, three band names. That'll do, won't it? Can That'll they do fine. a website as well? If they want, they can email in. Well, tell them what it is. Yeah, Ricky Doctor at XFM dot co dot UK. Right. Send it in there. Give them again uh, quickly, then, Carl. Right then. So get a bulb when it's young and that. Look Brilliant. After it. Different. Totally Look after different. It. Teach it stuff. Yeah. And all that. Okay. Ah, ah. What's the band? Right. Yeah. Second one. People have a problem doing this when they get home late at night. You mm. know, they've been out drinking and that. They get home. What, yeah. what problem are they going to yeah. have? Mm. K is the initial. Mm. Third, third one. I had a vision of that Chinese flu. What do I mean? Mm. Brilliant. C. C is the initial. Play record. I mean, it's, it's abomination. Right. Just, give us the. Give us the. Go on, give us the clue. I haven't got an give idea. Go on, give me the clue then again. Right. Well, do you want to say who the winner is or no? Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's hear the answer. Please. Uh, first, first clue was uh, if you get a bulb when it's young. You yeah. look after it and that, you teach it stuff. Yeah. What's going on there? Go yeah. on. The initial was R. Yeah. Right, that was that was razor light. Alright? Razor light, you raise a light. Razor yeah. light, okay. Kinda works. Yeah, Second it didn't matter one. what sort of bulb it was then. <laughs> it was very sure. specific. Uh, in mind. Go on. People have a problem doing this when they get home from a night out drinking. Yeah. What's the problem they're having? They have a problem getting the key in. Getting the key in, that key in, keen, keen. That's the That's awful. Works. That doesn't count. Works. Keen. And they get it right. It's keen. It's yeah, keen. It's it one right. to awful. Um, awful, one, awful, awful. I had a vision of that Chinese flu. Yeah. Uh, that, the initial there was C. That was Caesars. 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 They managed to get that as well. Who's Great. Caesars? I love the fact that even he knows they managed to get that as well. Did anyone get all three? Yeah, a few people. That's did. terrible. Okay, Caesars. who was the first one? Who I don't first? know what it says about XFM and its listeners that people are getting these answers, right? I know. Go on then. I mean, horrific. But uh, we're rock, we're rock bustering now. Do now. Should we do it now? Say it up now. Okay, great. Yeah. So we'll just, you well, should well. just remind people, Rick, for, uh, particularly if they're trapped in Antarctica for the next few well, months, what this game is. Well, this is um, uh, um, blockbusters, um, just totally ripped off, and um, the clues are bands and artists. Um, they Carl says they're cryptic clues. They're not cryptic clues. They're more like what word am I thinking of? They're tenuous. Um, some of them don't work at all. Mm. Um, so it's it's really are you in tune with a shaved monkey? I mean, it's nearly embarrassing to get the clue. I pride myself on that. I don't really get them, and I, I'm I'm sort of proud of that because you shouldn't. Yeah. But anyway, I've, I think I've given it a, a big sell. Yeah. Now, you do win tat today, but the big prize is going forward to be in the draw in um, five weeks' time when there's a, a signed uh, Homer that I uh, got Matt uh, Grain in to draw. If you go to rickygervais.com, you can see him drawing it. It's an original. Well, um, if they want to see it, they can go to xfn.co.uk slash ricky, and it's actually, just click on it, you can have a look at it. Oh, you can see all the pictures there, can't you? There's also a signed um, Nigel Tufnell. Um, poster, uh, and, uh, us three as, um, flanimals, but there's a little, actually, video clip, uh, I was on rickyjerways.com, oh, mm -hmm. you can actually see Matt Groening, um, uh, drawing it. Well, so those, those prizes are the ones, that, the big prizes you can win in five weeks' time when you, if you get to the grand final. In the meantime, uh, it's the usual selection of mediocre gifts which will be given away. That we've found in a draw that people have sent us yeah, to give so away. Yeah, so first up, we've got, uh, the, um, I think, J well, I think most people would agree, the mediocre John Travolta film Ladder 49, which I think right. barely made it into cinemas over here. No. Uh, we've also oh, got on DVD. And, that, what were you, and we're giving that away. <laughs> we're giving that away. Brilliant. On DVD, oh. uh, the TV series Grumpy Old Men, which I think is repeated every single night on BBC Two. Oh! And, uh, and, and, and 
that's free as well, is it? Yeah, oh, that's free. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got the complete third series of Alias. Great gift, um, only if you've seen the previous two seasons, so, um. Is that the one I'm in? I don't know, possibly. Uh, French and Saunders at the Movies, a collection mm. of all their hilarious movie mm. spoofs. Um, again, on television, I think, every Friday. And, uh, the TV series Operation Good Guys. You know, fine series, but you could see that on UK Gold most nights. So, so um, once again, an excellent But, signal. if you win all those and take them straight down to Record and Tape Exchange, you will be able to get two albums that you actually like. That's exactly right. So, well, cut- people send us then, so they sort of get bigged up on the radio, so that's done. We don't <laughs> need to worry about that. Get angry! So, uh, anyway then, three, three clues. Well, hang on, let's play the jingle. No, I haven't got one. Have you not got a jingle for Rockbusters? No. Oh, do one quickly, no. Okay. Uh, uh, Rockbusters. Brilliant. All right, so we've got, we've got three of them. Uh, cryptic clue and the initials, the band. It could be a band or an artist, we've done all that, haven't we? Yeah. All right, first one. Uh, the fella oh, f- let his wife know how he got the bruise on his leg. Right? Give us that again. The fella let his wife know how he, how he got the bruise on the leg. He got a little bruise. Hey, Alan, it's right? all, uh, imagine it's that in the different. Times crossword. You read it again, it's slightly different. Every time I look back at this crossword, it's slightly different. All the words change. The it initials, can't be cryptic. The initials there, C-L. Right, C L. Fella got a bruise on his leg. He let his wife know how he got it. What's going on? Right, <laughs> one. Okay. All the muttering. And Se- what's the next uh, cryptic clue? <laughs> second one. That uh, that Potter lad had uh, a lot of bottle doing all that stuff with the wizards and that. Right, he had a lot of bottle playing with the wizards and that. What's what's all that about? Right? <laughs> T- Who says what's all that about? T B there. Band or artist, the initials T B, that potter lad. He's got a lot of bottle doing all that stuff with the wizards. Right? And the uh, the third one, uh the Buddhists won't be able to get in their temple without these. Oh. What, what, what do they need? Right? The mm. Buddhists won't be able to get in their temple without these. The initials T M. Right. Eighty three nine three six is the text number. Um, we don't want to receive emails from this because we can't be bothered. So just a quick text. Make sure you include uh, all three answers. We're not interested unless you've only got, you, need, you need to get all three. Yeah. But but the winner may only get two. But oh, it's the fir- it's the first one with the most right answers. Yeah. Uh, and if that you're wins all those all those DVDs, hey, this is a box set. To be fair, that's pretty that's a pretty good prize. That oh, one. you could probably get you could get two, uh, two two CDs when you take that down to record tape exchange. And about, you right? don't need to see the first two seasons because you won't know what's happening anyway. Oh, okay, fine. Um, I'm excited to think that there's um, some people now in uh, Antarctica just scrabbling around to get a pen, yeah. just trying to figure them out. You know, that that'll, that'll keep they'll they'll probably uh, stew on that for the next <laughs> two months. Here's the answer. So right, give us the clue again quickly. All right. So the first one was. Uh, the fella let his wife know how he, uh, got the bruise on his legs. Go on. Right, that was, that was, uh, Courtney Love. Yeah, Court, Court, Courtney Love. So that's Courtney Love. So that's, that's, that's the first one, CL. So that one's fine. Uh, the second one, uh, that Potter oh, lad. What, what am I doing? Letting that one go? Just let it go, just let it go. Am I just letting yeah. that go? So oh, annoyingly, we haven't got time to take issue that, with it, uh, Okay. That Potter lad, he, uh, he's got a lot of bottle, hasn't he? Doing all that stuff with the wizards and that. Go on. That's, uh, Brave Harry. Yeah, the bravery. Bravery, current sort of XFM band, the Bravery, Brave Harry, that works as well. No, it doesn't. And the last one. No, it doesn't. No, no it doesn't work. The Buddhists. It doesn't work. Won't be able to get in their temple without doesn't these. Doesn't work. Brave Harry. Brave Harry. Uh, yeah. Doesn't uh, work. Brave Harry. The Brave Buddhists, Harry. The Buddhists won't be able to get in their temple without these. TM. That's yeah. the monk keys. Right? So, who got all, who got all them, uh, The monk keys? Who got, who got all them, right? The, which band are called the monk keys? The monkeys. Oh, the monkeys. Yeah, the monkeys. Alright, so, uh, who's, who's the winner this week? The winner this week is Gina. Well, we're letting that go, yeah? Gina. Let's get Rockbusters rolling. I should just, um, if people aren't familiar with Rockbusters, then, um, someone has actually sent me in one of their own to test Carl. Um, they've used, I think, the same principle that Carl has, which is, you know, utterly random. Yeah. But as you said before, Tenuous, you're really just, just trying not to really think of cryptic. something yeah. that he might sure, be thinking of. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, I'm gonna, I mean, she's done it quite coherently, but I'm wondering if I should sort of say it more as Carl might say it, you know, just slightly less. More different every time. Yeah, slightly less coherent. So, um, Carl, this is one for you, alright? Go on. You know, it's Sunday morning, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm in bed, but I don't sleep, you know, but like, Hollyoaks is on, the omnibus, I'm just watching that, you know. Um, I go and make a lovely cup of tea. You know, I'm in the bed with Suzanne, aren't I, having a cup of tea? What's going on there? Just watching the telly and that. But hang on, I haven't got anything to dunk in me, uh, in my tea. I haven't got anything to dunk in my tea, have I? You know what I mean? I haven't got anything to dunk in there. I'm just having, you know, what, what am I doing? Is That's, it LB? It's LR. 
Oh. L-R. So, have a think about that one, Carl. I, I think I know it. Yeah. Do you? Go for it. Go on. Is it Lionel Rich- Richie? It is Lionel sort Richie. Of, What's your logic? Sort of lying in, Lionel, and it's like- No, no it, rich tea. No, no rich tea. tea. Yeah. No biscuits, no rich tea. Lying, no rich tea. Lionel uh, Rich tea. Lionel uh, Richie. It works. It's, it's, it's just, one, just as coherent as like yours. It. What's that? We've done one a little bit like it. There's no wrong with that. I cannot believe so you got that's it. A, that's a <laughs> toaster. <laughs> I cannot believe you got it. I might not have got it without the initials, but that's why we chucked them in, just to help you along. <laughs> 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 so, right, so, um, what have you got for us right, this week? So we've, got, we've got three of them. Oh, we've by got... the way, don't bother calling in Kate Bush because Carl doesn't want to answer the phones. He says Kate Bush is not going to call, so it's all going to be nutters. So we apologise. He's got one thing to do. He didn't even get the sound right because someone was complaining about they couldn't hear Steve. He's got to do monkey news, which is always twaddle, and he won't even answer the phones now. So I don't know. I don't know why he gets paid. He takes off Mondays because he don't. works Saturdays. He I gets don't. paid for Saturdays. He takes five weeks not holiday Mondays. a year. Not off Mondays. And, and, and he moans. Not off Mondays. Wow. <laughs> Right, uh. Um, what, what have you got for us? Right then, the first one. Uh. There's a vehicle that sells kebabs. Right? <laughs> right? Uh, there's a vehicle that sells kebabs. Initial D. Right? D. <laughs> Great. Right? Have you worked that one out? Of course I haven't! Right, the second one. Um. You're asked if you want that bit of the egg. <laughs> you what? You what? You're asked if you, if you want that bit of the egg. Yeah. You think about it, but we t uh, sort of decide against it. <laughs> and what, again, what's going on there? You're asked if you want that bit of the egg. You think about it, but you go, no, nah, go against it. Right? I've I've got it. Is so it initials it, it W uh, Y O? Yeah, got it. Right, so okay, yeah. that uh, one that one works. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, and the last one. I don't think this burger will catch on. I don't think this burger will catch on. Yeah, and the letter there is M. So you just uh, text or email in uh, with the answers and uh, win some stuff. What have yeah. we got? We've got some prizes. We've got uh, another box set of the League of Gentlemen. This um, is instant gratification, but uh, you go into a draw for some, something bigger. So what have we got today? Yeah, well today, this is what you're taking home today. Uh, yeah. You've got the League of Gentlemen, the complete collection on DVD. That's yeah. not worth, that's worth having, definitely. Uh, we've got Catterick, which is the current Vic and Bob show on BBC Two, which is uh, good. The Aviator, the um, the award-winning um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese biopic. And once again, Ladder 49. We're giving that away again, are we? Yeah, yeah, apparently oh, we got um, Can we get a job like those? We've got loads of them. We've got loads oh! of them. Oh, yeah. excellent. Email so well. in if you just want a copy of Letter 49. I'm sure we could dig one out for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or phone in, because Carl does not answer the phones. <laughs> but, uh, it's what they're waiting for. It's the Rockbusters answers. That's right. Uh, right. Okay, give us the clue. Give us the answer. Right then. Uh, first one. Oh, yeah, because we haven't got long for monkey news. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. First one. <laughs> there's a, there's a vehicle over there that's, uh, it's changed. Selling kebabs. Oh, it's changed. Go on. <clears throat> Initial D. Yeah, what is it? That was Donovan. Donovan. Okay. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Not good. Works. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Second That's one. a real clue. Mm. Well, they got it. Like they always do, so they're yeah. always real clues. Mm. Uh, second one. You're asked if you want that bit of the egg, right? You think about it, then you decide against it. I think I know this one. What was the issue again? Why? Oh. Um, is this, um, uh, John Lennon's, um, wife, Yoke Ono? Yeah, that's right. I think that was her name, Yoko No, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was Yoko No. That, that was, it was Yoko No. No, no, no. You've oh, got no. it wrong. You're thinking about it. You asked if you want a bit of the egg. Yeah. You go, Yoke? You think about it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, so you say it twice, you stutter. So no, it's no, yoke, no, no. Yoke, oh, oh, no. No, you, no her name's Yoko, oh, no, though. Yeah, Yoko, yeah. oh, no. Listen to the clue again. Okay, no, 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 So what you say is, do you, do you want this bit of the egg? You the oh, the other bit, no. Yoke, oh, oh, no. Yoke, right. oh, oh, no. Yoke, oh, oh, no. Yoke, oh, oh, no. Yoke, oh, no, no. Oh, yoke. Yeah, go on, brilliant. Yeah, okay, yeah, Yoke, oh, no, yeah, go on, yeah. No, 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 next, next, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the last one was, uh. I don't think this burger will catch on. That was uh, initial M. Yeah. McFly. Right. So there's your three clues. Which there's your three answers. It won't catch on. Well, who'd want to eat that? <laughs> no, I mean it's like a, a Mac burger or whatever. Mac Mac chicken. McFly. <laughs> don't want one. Put it back. I'll have a chicken. <laughs> right. So who's, who's got the oh. who's got the three then? Well, well done to uh, Ian Shillam. <laughs> Well, Mansfield has uh, got all those answers right amazingly. Uh, he, go, he wins all those great prizes, including. Uh...
It's time for Rockbusters, uh, the quiz that no one looks forward to, and um, <laughs> we've got, as usual, the bunch of uh, CDs, uh, DVDs, I should say, which... Um, Just tell me we have got another copy of Ladder 49. Ladder 49's right here. That's Brilliant. in the mix, yeah. How many did they send you? Joaquin Phoenix, John Travolta, Ladder 49, the movie that no one's seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've but never met anyone who's seen it. But is owned by every single XFM <laughs> listener. <laughs> exactly. Um, also in the mix, uh, as I said before, there we've got Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, right. um, which... Um, if you haven't seen that on telly, I'd be very surprised. Uh, French and Saunders at the movie, the, uh, the best of all the French and Saunders movie spoofs, which is, I think, on TV every single night. Yeah. Um, it's a very gay giveaway so far, it's isn't a very it? Giveaway. Well, this one- Ladder 49, the people in uniform, you've got Queen of the Desert and French and Saunders, well, the gays love them. You know how much a fan of, of uh, Chevy Chase, you know I love Chevy Chase. Yeah. Well, uh, we've also got here National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2, which doesn't feature Chevy Chase. <laughs> it was so bad, even Chevy wouldn't agree to be in it, so instead <laughs> Randy Quaid, who plays Cousin Eddie, it's him, right. and on the back I notice it says, Special Appearance by Eric Idle. Brilliant. I mean, let's be honest, if a film's got a special appearance by Eric Idle, <laughs> I know. it's probably not a classic, is what do I'm saying. Do you reckon saying. they do, um, Always Walk on the, and <laughs> on the <laughs> Bright Side so. of Life? That's anyway, just... that's just some of the DVDs which you can win, and obviously the, the real reason you should enter is because you go forward to this big prize draw, um, which is in our last show, where you can win some actual quality. Um, yeah, a, a signed, uh, a Matt Groening drawing. And if you can see him drawing that on rickygervais.com, it's uh, totally genuine. It's just there, him actually drawing it in front of your very eyes. Also, um, us, uh, made us, uh, flanimals, um, and a signed, um, uh, poster uh, by Nigel Tufnell. Christopher Guest. Sure. So proper good prizes. Yep. So it's the, this is, uh, I think it should be the last one to get into it. Maybe next week, the four that we've got get down to two maybe, and then we get them on the line in the last, uh, what do you think? Well, I'll be honest, I wish we'd thought it through. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I wish we'd thought this Chris Campling, if he's got any ideas <laughs> yeah. to how this show could have run, see, what we should have, we should have scripted this. What yeah. we said, we just said the go in a drawer, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, we hadn't thought it through though. Yeah, but we can't keep swapping and changing. Well, well we, we haven't done do it yet. We, we, we just, we can do what we want, yeah. We, we, you know how many BAFTAs we've won? We can do exactly what we want. High five. Well, listen. <laughs> Six. Right, well, let's, let's get down to business, then. Let's get right, down so Rockbusters, uh, make, let's explain briefly what this quiz is for those that have only just started listening to the show. Um, basically- It's basically, uh, um, Blockbusters. Well, you say that, Rick, but it's not, is it? I mean, that- Blockbusters made sense. Yeah, well, there's this thing that, uh, uh, Carl thinks this is a cryptic clue going, right, a fella is walking along and it, oh, look, there's the fish, what does that mean? Deep trout <laughs> no, sinners. Some, some, of them, I mean, some of them are hard because they've, they've dug them all out. Some of them are hard because they don't make sense. No, but they've dug them all out because they're gonna put them all on the website for people to play along with and they came to me for the answers and some of them are, are pretty tricky. I couldn't answer them. <laughs> So, right. I love that. Anyway, um, <laughs> the only man that can outwit himself. Right so then. So the first one then, here we go. Why don't you borrow some land off Mr. Boardman or Mr. Laurel or Mr. Fletcher? Alright. Why don't you borrow a little bit of land? Oh, it's changed already. Already changed. Oh, already oh, changed. Mr. Boardman. Well, no, no, do it again and do it exactly the same each time. Do it again. Uh, why, uh, don't, why, right. do, why don't you borrow uh, some land off, off Mr. Boardman or Mr. Laurel or Mr. Fletcher if you, if you need a bit of it? <laughs> Okay, and what's right. the, what are the initials? Right, L.S. L.S. That's a band or an artist. Who am I talking about? Hmm? Uh, second one. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, uh, That's why he's got a sweet in his mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna annoy those, uh, those seabirds over there. Right? Right? <laughs> I'm gonna annoy those seabirds <laughs> over there. Well, just, just those seabirds, it doesn't matter where they are. I'm gonna annoy them seabirds. I don't know what he's talking about anymore, Steve! <laughs> Honestly. B. B. B is the initial. I love the fact that he was fascinated by the strangest village in Britain, but the stories he's told us about where he comes from, there's him going around with two fellows with big heads, webbed feet, a little pigeon-chested bloke, uh, him on his grifter with Maggie pecking at him, his yeah. dad in the telephone box nicking groceries and a horse in the house next door. <laughs> I mean, how strange was his upbringing? Yeah. And him hanging from his satchel. To, uh, uh, unbelievable. There's Q3. another woman who I remembered. Actually, I'll tell you later. Go on, what? what no, I'll tell you, tell you later about another woman who I remembered. What is this? Give us a, give us a, give us a, come on, give us a teaser. It's just a woman who rode around on a three-wheeled bike with her husband in a basket. <laughs> right, I'll tell you later. Right, and, and the final, the you final clip. You don't get teasers like that no, on the other radio That's ahead of a funeral service. Oh. Right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> right, the final clue. Uh, what the Scouse fella said to the robber who he found in his house next to his vineyard. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Again. Right, so what the Scouse fella said- Right, this is gonna be a pronunciation thing. To the robber- 
He found him his house. Oh God! I've, I've lost his... the will to live. I have. Lo I. I, I want to get in that woman's basket on the street. We're just being driven round the, the rest initials, of life. The initials there. A W. A W. Who is it? Show. Give us the clues. Give us the answers. Right. The first one was. Why don't you borrow a little bit of land off, uh, off Mr. Boardman, yeah. or Mr. Laurel, or yeah. Mr. Fletcher? Go on, yeah, right? Sure. What am I getting out there? The initials Sarah. were L.S. Yeah. Right? Lease, lease a Stan's field, right? Because you're borrowing it. That's leasing it. It's Stan, Stan Boardman, Stan Laurel, and uh, it's a field and that, isn't it? Second one. <laughs> I'm gonna annoy those seabirds. That was B. What are you doing when you're annoying a bird? You're bugging it. What's a seabird? A, a, a gull. Buggle. Buggles. Right? Bug gulls. Uh, I don't- I don't know where to start, mate. Right, Buggles. don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I don't- it. don't know where to start. Uh, if one. we- if we had more time- <laughs> Don't worry. I'd throw him out yeah. of a window. <laughs> right. What- what the Scouse fella said to the robber <sighs> he found in his house next to his vineyard. Go on That then. was A-W. Yeah. That was A, me wine house. Right? A- what? A- A- me wine house. What? A- A- me wine house. What do you mean wine house? <laughs> it's a vineyard, it's a cottage in a vineyard, so that's what like I was just saying. So what, what, what was the clue again? A- me wine house. Well, yeah, but what do you mean? A- what, what, why is he saying, why is it, why is it a robber? Because the robber's getting in and he's, he's sort of saying, hey. But what's the robber got to do with it? Why is it just a normal bloke? I don't say, what, why is he saying, hey, me wine house? Why is because he saying he's, that? Because he's saying to him, hey. Get out, can well, no, no, hey, no, 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 I've already heard her matter. name is anyway, A. Get out of me, uh, Winehouse. Her Gavin. name is, uh, no, her name is Gavin, A. Uh, get out of me, Winehouse. Gavin Thompson got him all. Are we gonna get, uh, rock busted out of the way quickly? Go on then, quickly. Then. Might Give well us a clue. It's not gonna take long, is it? Go on. Right then. Yeah. So, uh, three clues and that. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. uh Initials of a band and artist. Yeah. You can win some stuff. Steve yeah. can go through the- It's ladder 49 better be in there. Oh, let me just quickly, uh, It's ladder 49. You get on with those clues and I'll tell you what's happening. And this is the last time, the winner of this- No, we'll do it again next week. Oh, is it? And then there'll be six people and we just draw someone out of a hat to win the- the signed Homer, the, uh, Nigel Tufnell, and the- us as flannels. Right, you ready then? But they've got great prizes, they've got alias, they've got- they have, they've got Alias, they've got The Aviator, uh, a Batman cartoon series, M. Night Shalimans, The Village, uh, atrocious film, and Ladder 49, there it is. Yeah, Brilliant. It's in there. Joaquin Phoenix, John Travolta. Their greatest challenge lies in rescuing one of their own. Brilliant. Right. Go on then, Carl. Right, the first one then. Uh, when I'm ill, I throw up horse food. When I'm ill, I throw up horse food. How can that work? What's going on there? The init initials there, I... H, right? It's a band or an artist or a singer, something like that. I H, they're, they're the initials, the clue. I've got it. When I'm ill, I throw up horse food, right? I've got it. Right then, well, don't say anything. Works, doesn't it? No. Mm. <laughs> Second one, uh, that garden tool, it's not yours, what are you doing with it? Right? Yeah. That garden tool you're messing about with, eh? it's not yours. Yeah. Give it back. Right? What's that? N D. N D, right? Artist or a band? What's going on there? Right. <laughs> Third one. <laughs> that male sheep sounds fed up. Why is he fed up? T R T R is the initials. That male sheep sounds fed up. What's going on? If you know the answers to them three, uh, email in. Have you got a winner? No, I don't even know the no, answers. We'll, we'll do I? One. All right then. Uh, the first one. <laughs> oh, right. I just got the plastic cut. Go right. Go the go first on. one was when I'm ill. Yeah. I throw up all food. Right. Yeah. That's the clue. The initials were I H. I got right. this one. And that I must was, say, that, that was I sick haze. Because when you're ill, you're sick. What do horses eat? They eat hay. I sick haze. I yeah. sick haze is the answer. They got that. Second one, that garden tool. That, that garden tool you've got. It's not yours. What are you doing with it? Mm. Right. N D. That was different. That was a what? That, a, what's a garden tool? A rake. Right. If it's not yours, what have you done? You've, you've nicked it. You've nicked Nick Nick Drake. You've nicked. You've nicked that rake, Nick Drake, Nick Rake, right? So that's N D. So you got that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. The third one, that male sheep sounds well fed up. Go on. What's up with it? That was T R. Yeah. That was uh, that was that ram, ram. It's a ram. That's a male sheep. It's it's fed up. It's moaning. Ram moans. Ram owns the Ramones. So they got that as well. Rick, there's a number of cracking DVDs as ever on Rockbusters. Um, we've got The Life Aquatic mm. with Bill Murray, we've got Howard and uh, Kumar Get the Munchies, <laughs> hilarious stoner comedy, and uh, Batman the Animated Series. 
And Ladder 49, there it oh, is. Oh, phew, Phoenix yes. Travolta. If you're interested, if you've ever seen Ladder 49, you can give us a quick text review on uh, 83 xm I'd be interested to know if, it, if it's Why actually worth watching. Why are we giving away one a week <laughs> for the last six weeks? Yeah. Well, we better start then. Let's do Rockbusters for the last time. You can win those amazing prizes. All right. Um, as always, just a little cryptic clue. Some initials of a band or an artist. Work it out, email in or text in. That's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, the first one. Uh, Richard Kid, uh, Richard's kid. Yeah. Cuts hair for a living. Right. Richard's kid cuts hair for a living. Right. Initials B D. Right. D D. Richard's hair, R Richard's kid cuts hair for a living. Second one. I have a problem saying the French word for well. Right. I think I think that's that's the right word anyway. Well. I have a problem saying the French word for well. So what's that? that initial A is K. Right, band or artist. And then uh, the third one, you take eight kebabs, two kebabs, fifty-seven kebabs, times it by twenty-seven kebabs, right, the fella is struggling to work it out. What's, what's, what's that? What's going on there? Right? It's <laughs> a good question. D-S. D-S is the answer there. Eight kebabs, two kebabs. I've got it. Fifty-seven kebabs times it. By twenty-seven or what have you? Fellas struggling working it out. What yeah, is I've it? I've got that one. D S. So uh, just email in. Wrap it up. I think we got to do the uh, Rockbusters winner and give someone those lovely prizes. Monkey news. Then we're out of here. We we'll yeah. maybe come back. Maybe do some Christmas specials. I don't want to make any promises. <laughs> <laughs> right then. First one. First one was uh, Richard's kid. Uh, he cuts hair for a living. Yeah. What's right. that? That was. Uh, well, try and work it out. No. You know. There's no point. <laughs> Dixon, yeah, he was a barber. Bar yeah. bar Barbara Dixon. Right? Dixon. Work. Dixon, well, again. Barbara Dixon. Right, so, it wasn't Dixon, was it? <laughs> so that's did, that one. did Ronnie Corbett ever say, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Barbara Dixon? <laughs> second no, one, second never did, did he? Uh, never did. I have a problem saying the French word for well. What's what's the French word for well? Bon, isn't it? That's good. What? No, that's that's good then. Well, well, no, what? In it, uh, in it, BN. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. all right. I have a problem saying it, so I, ca I can't say it. I can't say BN. I can't say, can't say BN. Can't say Kasabian. Right? So, <laughs> they managed to get that one out. Can't, s can't That's say one of your worst, that. Can't, can't say BN. Can't what, say BN. Can't, can't say BN, it's not, it's doesn't. Yeah. It's and the last doesn't one. Work. That's terrible. Eight kebabs, two kebabs, plus fifty-seven kebabs, times twenty-seven kebabs. This fella is struggling working it out. What's what's the answer there? D S, right? A donna sum, uh, right? So he's, he's struggling working it out. He's uh, it's a donna sum, donna sum, um, right? <laughs> so he got that right as well. So what, what, what was the answer? Donna summer. Donna summer. Yeah, donna summer, donna summer, donna summer. So uh, just pick, just so pick one. Steve. High, then. Steve, just pick one. We went no, out on a high. high. That was shocking. What about uh? Let's have a look. There's, uh, it should be, it should be a joy, Carl. Yeah, well I do, I treat her all year round. How do you treat her all year round? We know you got through two boxes of condoms, but that to me isn't a treat. <laughs> Waking up next to you every day. Well listen, how are we doing this quiz? Right, Rockbusters, we should explain what Rockbusters is. Um, don't be fooled, it has no association with the popular TV show Blockbusters. Although he's just ripped off He's the ripped idea. off the name, but I don't yeah. want to say the quiz is anything like it. That quiz actually had a format, I don't know what this is. I know. We should give it, basically, um, Carl, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. You you describe what you it's explain. It's it, Carl. I can't it's, even it's, do it. It's like a, a cryptic. No, it's not cryptic because a cryptic clue actually makes sense every part of it. Yeah. You, you, you might as well call this "What band am I thinking of?" Yeah. Right. Go on. Well, then. Well, let's what, what I do is let's let's sum it up in an easy way, right? I give yeah. you some initials of an artist or a band. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they play on Radio Two. If you listen to Radio Two a lot, right, you'll know the sort of songs we play. Big good songs, right? And what I do, I give you like a little description, like a cryptic clue. Right. About that, about that band, right? Yeah. So say, say like if I said, um, uh, if I gave you the initials WH, right? Sure. Yeah. This and is I a classic said, one, isn't it? This, this, this is a, yeah, classic Rockbusters clue, right? WH are the initials of the artist of the band, right? Yeah. And then, like, you say, right, I was, I was in Texas, <laughs> right, having a, having a wander about, I was over there on holiday. Yeah. This is the Think clue, of this how way. long a clue is <laughs> this. Imagine this on For the TV. gold run. Yeah. All right, but, but, yeah. so I was in Texas and that, and, mm. um, it had been raining. I mm. fell over, right? Mm. Uh, landed sort of, uh, 
landed on me uh, on my leg. Right. <gasps> yeah. So that's the clue, and then I say W H. Right. And, and the that, answer would that be that would be like wet knee in Houston. Right. Wet wet knee Houston. There's no artist called Wet, wet Knee Houston. Wet, 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 Whitney Houston. No, don't try and make wet sound like wit. No, but I'm just saying that's. Well, it no, works, no, 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 no. Got it. Uh, who's Whitney right. Houston? Who's Whitney Houston? Right, forget that one. Here's another one, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're dealing with. People. This is extraordinary. This, this is, is what you're this dealing is... with. No, right? Here's, here's, here's another one then, but easier, right? Right. Uh, the initials. Well, no, no, don't make it easier. Make it work. Right. Okay, come on. The initials N D, N D. Yeah. Right. And the clue would be something like, uh, oh, someone stole me a garden tool, right? Someone's stolen my garden tool, so you think about it, right, what's a garden tool, oh, what's going on? Someone's stolen it. <laughs> Nicked Rake, right? Nicked Rake, Nick, Nick, Nick Rake. Nick Drake, you mean? Yeah, yeah, Nicked Rake. That nearly Nick works. Drake. Yeah. Mm. So that's, that's, that's the sort of thing we're gonna be doing. Uh, I don't know if you wanna... Well, let's play a record and then we'll come back with the actual clues <sighs> and you can win yourself this, uh, platinum disc. It's it's good. Album. It's good. With it. Okay, right. these are the genuine clues. You can win yourself this uh, Madonna Platinum disc plus some other goodies. And uh, the clues are <laughs> right. please, Carl. So these three clues, by the way, we've got to get three, three okay. right to win this. Oh, this stuff. is so hard. Right. I mean, the tr the worrying thing is if you do get these, you you think like Carl. Yeah, which is really so you good. might want to give up all the goodies just to <laughs> not admit that you got uh, a so called Carl cryptic <laughs> yeah, clue. Yeah. Right, here we go. I'm right. ready for it. Okay. Ready, they better work. No, no, they they better work. They always do. Because Wetney do. Houston doesn't work because no. her name's not Wetney. Well, they got it last time, didn't they? So. Right, first one. Put the uh. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's just not. Imagine that in the Times crossword. Um, yeah. put the um. Listen, do, you know okay. the, do you know the little information? Well, what are we doing? Uh, no, listen, what are you doing? Let's hear it. Let's hear is, the is, is this still the clue you're reading? Yeah, this is what I'm giving it Rick, to you. Rick, we want to get this done before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let him hear it. Oh, right. Carl. Listen, Shh. do you know the little information card you get in a mobile phone? Oh, sorry, is this the clue? This is the clue. Okay, fine. I'm I'm what you're going to say Rick, before you. Rick, you're annoying me. Okay. Be quiet. Now, let's hear it. The little information card you get on your mobile phone, right? No, what's that? Sh well, this is the question. What is it, right? <laughs> but, put that. Oh, shut oh, up! Shut up! Will you be quiet? We gotta do the news in five minutes. We gotta get right. three clues you out. Put, you put that little card, right, on a spider's house. <laughs> the initials. <laughs> this is the ramblings of a madman. Listen, listen. Oh, the be initials. Quiet. If, you, if they don't hear the initials, they can't play along. It's okay. important, right? S W. Right, I'm making a note of this. S W, right? S -W. So that little the, the, card, the, the you information get. card from. I've the got phone, it. I've right? got it. Right, put that on a spider's house. Right. <laughs> Second one. Diana Ross isn't feeling that good. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's the clue. Yeah, that's the clue. I D. Right. Diana Ross isn't isn't feeling that sort of good at the moment. She's. It's not. different. Different. How can it be cryptic if the clue's different the next time? Diana Ross isn't feeling that good. I D. Right. Okay. Right. And then the last one. Uh. That stuff that, oh. that I put on my toast, right? Right. It it doesn't taste sharp enough, right? That stuff I put on my toast, oh, doesn't taste doesn't taste sharp <laughs> enough. <laughs> right? Bob Holness, <laughs> eat your heart out. The uh, the initials J B, right? So there you go. There's wow. the three clues. No. Okay, so right. Can... I've got that, and it doesn't work. Well. Well, does not work. Just You've got, got until I'll, after I'll quickly, the new. Hang on a sec, Carl. Let me give out how the people can get in touch. Right, come on, on. I know you're excited to, to do the clues again. You can text us eighty eight two ninety one. You can give us a call 0500 288 or you can email gervais at bbc.co.uk. The clues again, then, Carl. Well, quickly, uh, that information card you get on your mobile, just pop it on a spider's house. Right? <laughs> That's S W. Yeah. Second one. Diana Ross isn't isn't you know feeling that good at the moment. What's up with her? Huh? Oh, I did, I, I did stuff. What's I, the ID. Yeah. And then the last one, that stuff I uh, put on my toast. Doesn't sort of taste sharp enough. So it's web. It's it's sim on web. S sim on web. Yeah, sim right. on web. I don't, I've sim never heard of him. I've never heard of sim on web. Is that web. a French artist? So, so, so Simon Webb, isn't it? Oh, no, you, you said sim out. though, mate. No, no, but it still works. No, no it doesn't really. work, mate. No, it does. Doesn't mate because you said sim on web, mate. Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't work. Well, we got it. We've got a winner, so don't yeah, it doesn't work, mate. Right. Next, right. let's see if the next one, one works. Cause that one doesn't work. Right, sim on web. Right, from the pop band Blur. Right. Diana Ross. Right. She, she's she's not looking that good. She's something wrong with her. What's That's her changed. Name? Right. That's completely right. changed. Diana Ross isn't feeling that good. Right. Right. That that was a clue. The initials were I D. I've no idea. Right. That was that was, you know, ill, ill. She's a diva. Ill diva. Ill 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 divo. Right. That that sort of opera type. I'm, I, I, I honestly, I'm speechless. 
Again, they got it, so don't worry yourself about it. That's absolute nonsense. Diva and Devo are two you're, words. You're an idiot. Right. You're re you really are so, a stupid idiot. So well done, if you got that and that. <laughs> uh, last one. Um, <laughs> that stuff I put on my toast. Yeah. Right? Sort of doesn't taste right. It's not. It's not sort of sharp enough. No, well, I've got. I've got. I've got it to be blunt, and I've got jam, jam yeah. blunt. But so there's no art. It's called jam. There's blunt. no jam. No, I, the, I got, there's no art. It's called the jam. No, no. But look like ja jam. Jam's blunt. Jam, jam's blunt. James. I don't know anyone called jam's blunt though, so, mate. So there's. there's what? Your I don't know. What's the clause? The answer. James Blunt. No, 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 you said jam's blunt, James, mate. Jam's blunt. So doesn't they, work. So who's the winner? It doesn't Steve? work. It's not a cryptic clue. It doesn't work. That it's almost kind of reinvented it. You it's know. beautiful, absolutely yeah. beautiful. Great song, anyway. That, isn't it? That's what's weird, really, because you've done that, and that's kind of what I've done with Rockbusters. Right. I've, I've taken something. We've well, taken Blockbusters and made, changed one word, sort of made it better. No, it's, not it's, really, because yeah. those are real clues that work. Yeah, Yours are the ramblings of a madman. He <laughs> doesn't really understand what the word cryptic means. A little bit stronger. It's more, this should be so. called, what am I thinking? Uh, well, what we am should, I thinking? We should just introduce the idea of Rockbusters to people who didn't hear it last week. Um, now, I'm trying to think of some classic ones. Do you remember there was the, now what was it, the, 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 Jamaican, the West, fella, Jamaican, Jamaican fella, fella spin it, spri uh, spinning a, um, a fish round his head. That was De Trout Spinners. Did and he tried things. to make it sound. I mean, it doesn't work. You, you have to ma speak in a Jamaican accent and the say the way they say trout spinners. Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't say de trout. They'd say Detroit. <laughs> de so, trout spinners. So it doesn't work there. So that's the stupid Wetney Houston. Yeah. No one called Wetney Houston. Yeah. So uh, so you need to basically call inside Carl's head and figure out what's going on in there if you want to win these. Uh, we've got some Kylie collectibles uh, for Rockbusters. The good thing about crawling into Carl's head is there is a lot of room. There's plenty of room. It's, yeah. it's very much like when uh, God created the earth. You can just fill it up with anything. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Birds. So, um, your Rockbusters clues this week then, Carl. Alright, so as always, you know, we did it last week. What G can you win though? Three the Kylie collectibles, just Brilliant. mention that. Excellent. Should we throw in some stuff of ours? Just to get if rid you've of got any tag we, we get it for free, yeah, yeah. Extras, flannels, etc. Got some yeah. of the junk lying around the office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, three clues, you text in with the answers, you win the stuff, right? First one, first clue. Uh, the initials of the band of the artist mm. are FF. FF, right? okay. FF. And the sort of cryptic- Do I know it already? And the crypt- well, don't ruin it. And the cryptic clue, I've got snails, croissants, and baguettes in my palm. Right? What's- what's- what's going on there? No, no I don't know it. Right? There's the clue. Say that again. I've got snails, croissants, and baguettes in my palm. Oh, that's weird. F F. <laughs> right, F F. What's the band of the artist? The clue changes every so slightly every time. I know. Right, the next one, uh, me gran is, is taking a penalty. She better get the ball in the back of the net. N M. Artist or a band. N M. That's give an old artist, by the way. Give it to us again. N M. Me gran is taking a penalty. I've got it. She better get it in the back of the net. It's a good one. <laughs> okay. It's a good one. All right. That's, that, that might be his best ever. Wow. There you go. All right. And uh, the last one. This is this is a tough one, but you know you know it works. That, that, well, that, wow! When he says tough, he means doesn't work. <laughs> yes, does um, not work. Repeat. It, this does not work. Go on. The initial of the uh, of the band. It's, a, it's an eighties band. I think I've got to help him out. Uh, a A is the initial, right? And the clue is, and where people go to relieve themselves after looking at elephants and that. What am I? Right. So, letters A, the cryptic clue. And where people go to relieve themselves after looking at elephants and that. What am I? And the, and the initial? A. 882921. That you works. Can, you can give us a call at 0500 288 I'm, I'm getting worried now because I'm getting all these. That's really scary. We're doing, um, about 20 minutes ago, Rockbusters, special New Year's Rockbusters. Uh, three clues, three bands or artists. Um, we've had a number of responses. It really worries me when people get this right. Uh, well, I was worried that I got it right. Well, I don't know what it says about our audience. It's like, why are we bothering? We may as well just shoot off. They'll be happy just watching the tumble dryer going round. I know. Uh, well, well, Carl, come on then. What are the clues again? Here we go. Right then, so, uh, there's three clues. First one, the initials were, uh, FF, right? And that was, uh, if I've got snails and croissants and baguettes in my palm, right? That's, that's like the clue. What, what band or artist is that? Think Go about on. it, right? Go on then. Uh, the initials were FF, that's, uh, Franz Ferdinand, right? So, like, like, <laughs> Whoa! Franz, Whoa! Franz, Franz Ferdinand, it's kind Franz of Franz Ferdinand. Franz, Franz, cause it's like, oh, that's France, what they yeah. eat over there. It should Snails. be French, really. No, you in, can't in, say France in food, your hand, can you? So France, French food in hand. French, French food I've in hand. I've never heard of a band called French food in hand. Well, a lot of people got it as I know, but French tech, food in hand, what, what are they, what label are they on? Uh, <laughs> what label are they on? It's just French, French food in hand, so you got that, right? <laughs> French food in hand, yeah. Uh, second one was, uh, 
my granny's taking a penalty, right? She better get the ball in the back of the net. Go N on. M with the initials. Yeah. Uh, try and work it out. Your gran, that's your nan. Ball in the back of the net. That's that's Nana must score it, right? Nana what? must score it, right? Nana must score it. Na and okay, I'll give you that one. And who is it? Nana must must score Nana must score it. Nana must score it. Yeah. So, Nana must score it. <laughs> right. so that works. And then no, it doesn't work. Then but the it's final, close enough. It's fi close enough. The final one was the initial was A, right? And uh, the clue was and where people go to relieve themselves after looking at elephants and giraffes and all that sort of stuff. Mm. What am I, mm. right? That's a that's a well I'm a Zulu. I'm a, Zu I'm a Zulu. No, I got I'm it. A, I'm a Zulu. I'm a Zulu. So that works as well, that, doesn't it? Yeah. No. <sighs> Three good clues as always. There. Well, <laughs> not really. Couldn't really call them cryptic, but but we're gonna do something that we used to do on our local radio show called Rockbusters. Yeah. Sounds a bit like Blockbusters, a television program that used to be on television where they gave sort of real cryptic clues. Yours aren't cryptic clues. Yours yeah. are ridiculous. So explain Rockbusters. Um. Give out an initial of a artist or a band. Yeah. Uh, knocking about like now or ages ago, and I give a, uh, a cryptic clue. It's not a cryptic clue. Um, Very rarely cryptic. Sometimes uh, it works. Sometimes it's nonsense. But well, as as we once said, I think it is more um, accurately described a craptic clue. Yeah. Well. Or what am I thinking? Well, are you going to give an example, or will we just do them? The classic example, of course, for me is um, a woman. She's an artist. The initials are W H. She was wandering around Texas. in Texas. She fell over a part of her leg, fell in a puddle, wet knee Houston. That is the level. That's what you're working with, people. So he's going to give three of these. The first email that gets them all right, the first email we get, and it's timed, isn't it, email, so we can know, that gets all these clues exactly right, can win, what, a, a signed photo of Carl? Now that is exclusive. There are not very many. I don't think they even exist, do they? There are no signed photos of Carl. So this will be an, a, a collector's item. Right. So, uh, yeah, there's three different ones. When you send it in on email, podcast at com, just put in the subject thing like Rockbusters so I know what I'm looking for. Right. Right then, so three, three different clues for you to work on. Uh, first one. Oh, shouldn't I do a jingle for this? Please. Okay. Oh, that sounds cryptic, my rocking it and Rockbusters. <laughs> uh right. First one, the initial, right, is B. The right. initial B. Band B, or artist. So band or an artist beginning with the letter B. Mm -hmm. The cryptic clue. Well, I don't want a house that's that far away from the water. I want to be right on top of it. Right? That's the cryptic clue. Well, I, I don't want a house that far away from the water. I want, I want, to, I want to be right on top of it. Right? B, artist or band? Who is it? Right, work on that one. Second one, it's B again. B, letter B for the band or the artist. All right. Cryptic clue. Right. That part of my leg is English. Right? That's it, is it? Yeah. Right. That part of my leg is English. Initial B. What is it? Part of my leg is English. And then the last one, uh, KW, artist of band, and the cryptic clue, the fitness teacher has got a speech impediment. What's going on there? Right, KW, the fitness, in, uh, fitness teacher has got a speech impediment. Work on them, right? Send in the answers, podcast at rickgervais.com, and uh, just win some st sign picture and that. Right, so last week's uh, clues, there was three of them. Uh, I'll give you an initial of an artist or a band, yeah. and a cryptic clue. Yeah. Uh, you work it out, you email it in, you win a signed picture and that. Yeah. Um, first one was, uh, well, I don't want a house that, that far away from the water. I want to be right on top of it. Go on. Right, so that was B. Yeah. Uh, that's, you know, that, that was Beyonce. Be Beyonce. Like, yeah. it's like a cryptic thing, do you got that? Mm. Second one. I'd stand. Um, Beyonce. Beyonce. That Beyonce. part of my leg is English. Uh, the initial was B. That was Britney. Right? Britney. Yeah, so it's like British. Britney. But so you only take, you're just taking the one half of her name, are you, no? Well, she's known as that now. Mm. 
I think she's known I don't more know as, she more is, as but fine. more as Britney than okay. Britney Spears. They don't really call her that anymore. Mm. Yeah. Also, British isn't the same as English. Yeah, I know. I, I realised <laughs> that, but it was too late. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. And That's what you're up against. Just like that, Ollie wants to be millionaire. The last yeah. one was uh, the initials were KW. Yeah. And the clue was uh, the fitness teacher has got a speech impediment, right? So you've got to sort of think about that. You've got yeah. to think about a fitness teacher. Yeah. He's working out and that, yeah. but he's got a speech impediment. So no, when no. it when it like comes to like, well, no, you didn't you didn't say all this in the clues. So. But no, but, well, but no. it was it was just that that one was Can Kanye West, right? <laughs> Kanye so, West. So I'm just saying. Why like, would you know, fitness teacher say Kanye West? Because he's got a speech impediment and he's been he's been working him out. They built up a sweat and he's like, right. Well, no, you didn't say all that, so it doesn't matter. But, anyway, but <laughs> even even if that is the case, so what is he saying? He's, he's saying, all right, can we can we rest now? As in, can we rest now? Yeah, just kind of because they say that at the end, it's like, right, everybody. So he's got a speech impediment. He's very very camp and he's adding words. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, but apart from that, it works perfectly. <laughs> so that is um, bollocks. You're an idiot. So that was uh, the first three. Who and, won? Uh, so, so are we gonna do some clues for next week? Yeah, right. Again, same sort of system. Uh, three of them email in and we'll pick one at random. Right, first one. Uh, the initials RP. Right. Right. And uh, the cryptic clue. Uh, Not cryptic, well. Steal that woman's flower. <laughs> right? If you're, gonna, if you're gonna, like, nick a. Well, no, it's different now. What yeah. is it? If it's a cryptic no, let, clue. Let him finish it. Okay, what is the flower. clue? What is the clue and stick to it? Steal that woman's flower. Fine. Okay. RP. Right, okay. Right. Second one, B. Is, is that the, the clue or the initial? B is the initial, right? And, uh, cryptic clue, um, keep, keep whacking the cooker with a stick. <laughs> 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 what is it? It's a band or an artist. They kept whacking, you know, kept whacking the cooker with some sort what, of What, is it keep stick. or kept? What is it? it might, uh, if it's cryptic clue, everything matters, so. It, well, it doesn't really. Just, well. just think about whacking, whacking Well, no, no, give us the clue again. Just, okay. Just whack the cooker No, no, what is the clue? Do the clue. Stick. Okay, do the clue. This is the clue keep and the only, right. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. The initial is B and the clue is? Keep wha whacking the cooker with a stick. Right, fine. But, but it doesn't have to be a stick, though. It well, could no, be like <laughs> an iron. It could be a, any sort of. Well, okay then. Let's do the clue again. Then. Okay, so the initials B. What's the clue? Keep whacking the cooker. Fine. The last one, uh, the initial M, and then the clue is uh, Venice. It's it's all water, isn't it? Right. How would you describe it, right? When oh Jesus Christ! Is this the what? <laughs> Let him finish the clue. I want to go home. I haven't slept. I just come back from Rio. He might never finish the clue. It keeps going. Oh, it's full of water. Right? Oh, well, I don't need a stick. Do you? Well, no, 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 I think that sort of works. M. M is the <laughs> artist or a band. Email in. What? Rockbusters. Ah, oh, yes, the time that no one looks forward to. Uh, Chimpanzee that, Rockbusters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> right, so, uh, gave you three clues last week, three cryptic clues. Mm. Um, some initials of a band or an artist you emailed in. Mm. Uh, what Rob, again? Rob Harding got it, right? Oh, nice work, Rob. So well done. Mm. Um, the three clues. Yeah, the first one was uh, RP for the initials, uh, and the clue was steal that woman's flower. Right. Yeah. So that was a cryptic clue. The answer today is is Rob Erplant. Robber, Rob, Robber Rob, Plant. Rob Erplant. I don't know who that is though. Is there, there's no Rob, artist called Robert. That's, that's like Robert Plant. Robert, Robert. Robert. No, no, Robert. Robert Plant. Yeah, but you is don't his name. say that. You just sort of go, oh yeah, I'm into. Well, you do uh, say it. You got the, uh, <laughs> no, it means any like. Album by Robert Plant. Yeah, Ro yeah, Robert, Robert, Robert Plant. They wouldn't, they wouldn't go what? <laughs> I don't know. Who, I don't Robert know. Who, are you saying rubber plant? Uh, the second. What are you one, saying there, Carl? Though the second one was. Uh, it doesn't work. The initial was B, and then that was keep whacking the cooker with a stick, right? Yeah. Uh, didn't have to be a stick. We pointed that out. Just keep whacking the cooker. Keep whacking yeah. the cooker. Yeah. Uh, that was B. That was B oven. B oven. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Either. Is that a group? The <laughs> B oven. Is that the Beatles? Who's the B ovens? Classical sort of stuff. Beethoven. B oven. Uh, no, you said you said B again. They got it's it. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just saying though. They, no, they no, got no, it. no, it's oh, bollocks. Rob because Harding got it. No, no, no. Beat oven. Yeah. It's not Beethoven. They got it. Do you understand? The last one. The initial was M. Right. Uh, I, don't, I just want to know who Robber Plant is. Don't don't be worrying about Robber. Because no, it's not uh, a nail. I've done, it, 
He's not the one in Left Zeppelin, is he? So M was the initial. The clue was Venice. It's it's all water, isn't it? How would you describe it? There's there's hardly any land, right? Uh, so canal. if there's hardly any land, right? It's more water. What sort of water would you get, right? Wet. And then then what? Wetville. 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 No, but just like water that in Venice. What sort of water is it? It's sort of muddy. Right? Um, no, no. Muddy waters. No, but how would you describe Venice? What's the, what's the, um, if there's more- But what's the, what's the uh, initial again? M. If M. there's more, if there's more- Muddy waters? If there's more sea than land, hmm, what would you say? Would you say, would you probably say there's th sort of mo more of it is sea, isn't it? More, more, more is sea. sea. More is sea. More is sea. More is sea. More is sea. So that's, that's Morris, the answer. I don't Morris know who is that. Morris 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 so, well done to, uh... <laughs> That's the worst one you've ever done! Well it's ridiculous. Done to, well, That's really the worst ridiculous. you've ever done. It's ridiculous. Well More is C. Right, if, they, if, they, if they're that mm. shit, don't do it anymore. Well, this is shit. This is pathetic. Really. It, it's making you look a bigger moron than you are. More is C. Rob her plans. They don't fucking work. Let's they, do monkey news. They're getting news. them right, they're getting them right, though. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Bit of shit. Right, uh, the first one. The initials, N-D. Right? N-D. Who is it? You sing songs on that, right? N-D. Uh, the clue, that Jamaican fella doesn't want anything. <laughs> so, you've got to sort of imagine, oh, why is it a Jamaican fella? Yeah. Right? That Jamaican fella doesn't want anything. N-D. Second one, the initial is E. I ask them to pass me the ball by using their head. Right? It's a band or an artist again. I ask them to pass me the ball by using their head. And the last one, T-R the initials, T-R, he's got the woolly ones, but I've got the ones that run and charge at you. What have I got? What? He's got the woolly ones, but I've got the ones that run and charge at you. So what What have I got? And what's the... T-R, T-R, for the, uh, for the initials, right? Email in, podcast at rickygervais.com, we just pick a winner, send you some stuff. It's Rockbusters. Right. Rockbusters. Quick. Right then, so last week gave you some initials, again, of artist or a band. Quick! Cryptic clue and that. Yeah. Um, the first one I gave you, the initials were N-D. Yeah. Uh, that Jamaican fella, uh, he doesn't want anything, right? So you got to think about the accent there. Yeah. Um, he doesn't want anything, so, yeah. so, he's not, he's not, he's not sort of demanding anything. Okay. No, no sort of demand, nil demand. <laughs> Neil Diamond. So it's like Neil Diamond. They'd say Neil Diamond, please. No, Can no. I have some Neil Diamond. No. Right. Neil, Neil Demand. But just now it was all to do with I've got no demands. Now it's a Jamaican person going in and asking for Neil Diamond in a Jamaican voice. Yeah, I know, but it's a cryptic clue, isn't it? Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the second one was uh, the initial was E. Uh, I asked them to pass me the ball by using their head. Uh, what do you do if you chuck someone a ball? They head it back. Head it back, yeah. They, so he they head it back. So you'd say, uh, edit, edit to us. Edit, edit us. That's, that's editors. What that's, is it? Is it a it's a band that are, no, that no, no, are no, quite good No, no, there's a band called the, the Editors, but there's no band called Editus. Editus, what's that? Is it Greek, is it a Greek band? Again, cryptic. Just, you got no, to think cryptic. again, bollocks. Then the last one, uh, TR, with it, it was the initials. Yeah. The cryptic clue, he's got the woolly ones, but I've got the ones that run and charge at you. Go what, on. What have I got? Dunno. Well, sheep, something to do with sheep. Right, something to do with sheep. They're, they're the woolly ones. Yeah. What are the ones that run and charge at you? Oh, they're woolly as well. No, no, the but rams. Uh, not, not as woolly. The rams, right. Yeah, they're there. The ram ones, right? If you write that down. No, you not even write it down. It's a, that's, it's that's a, a Ramones. The so, ram ones? The ram no, ones. but it's how you say it, isn't it? It's not, because it's not. No, no, it sort of changes about a bit, just cryptic. <laughs> but so, your understanding cryptic. of the word cryptic is yeah. it can be anything. What am I thinking? Cryptic. Cryptic. Right, S C are the initials of the artist of the band. Go on. S C, uh, the cryptic clue. No, don't just stop, just stop saying cryptic because it's not. The, the clue is: I went into the restaurant on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and the fellow making the food was there each time. Right, S C are the initials. I went into the restaurant on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want, uh, the fellow making the food, he, he was there each time. What's so he changed it. Uh, was S he there? C. Was he there Saturday and Sunday or not? He can be if you want. I'm just saying he's there a lot. Oh, this Work is this is, this is like pulling teeth. I'm trying to hurry it up. And the second one, <sighs> go into that woman's store and rip her off. Right? 
Right. That's C. Okay, C. Go into that woman's store and, and rip her off. Okay. You know, if you're gonna do that. Oh, don't mumble <laughs> at the end of it. Go on. Just do the clue. And the last one, the initial E. Last one ever. You have had, had a go at laying down a track, but it ain't perfect, right? So you're sort of making a making a track. No, like just do the clue. You're making a track. You right, had a go at laying it down. Clue. Don't but just it ain't talk perfect. around it. Right, the initial is E. E. What's the clue? You have had a go at laying down the track, but it ain't perfect. Fine. A music track. Yeah. Well, no, but no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't. No, there's, they, these people can't ask questions. Uh, the first one, it's it's uh, cryptic clue. Just in case. No, this is the stop first saying time cryptic because they're not cryptic. Cryptic clue with initials of an artist or a band. Mm. You work it out. You know, you send in the answers. Mm. Right, the first one, the initials were S C, right? Um, and the cryptic clue was uh, I went into the restaurant on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm. The fella making the food, he was he was there each time. Okay, right. So you got to think about it. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, just tell us uh, the answer. What is he? He's, he's, not, he's a cock, isn't he? If he's making the food yeah. and that, mm. he was there on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's the mm. it's the same same cook. Right? Yeah, yeah. So what have you got there? Same cook. Same cook. Sam cook. Sam you cook. You said same cook. Yeah, but if I went, I, I, what well, the way I look at it is, if someone went, if I worked in a record shop, the way you shop, look at it is. If I went to the record shop, can, someone and just came say in. So have you got Sam cook? I'd go, yeah, choice sure, in the jazz section or whatever. Right, the second one. Bollocks, that is bollocks, that That's one. Go, go into that woman's store and rip her off, right? So what's a store? Shop. Right? If you're ripping someone off, what are you doing? Stealing. Uh, another way of- Conning. Right, okay. And what, what, what is it? It's a shop, it's a woman. So what, what am I saying? What's the initial? C. Con shop. Right? It's, it's a woman. Con her shop. Corn her shop. There Corn you go. Shop. So Steve worked that one out, well done there. Um, the last one. Uh, I'm stunned. You've had a go at laying down a track, but yeah. it ain't perfect. Go on then. Mm. What's that? So a track yeah, is- Yeah, what's the initial? E. Okay. So you've had a go at laying down this track. Yeah. So when you're laying down a track, it's like a- it's a- it's a mix, isn't it? Yeah. You've had a go at doing it. You've just- just, you know, it ain't perfect. Yeah. So you could say it's a- what's another word for not perfect? It's a bit of a- it's a bit of a- oh. Shit. Bit of a like that's a bit rough, isn't it? It's a bit, bit of a rough mix. It's your your rough mix. Your rough mix. Your rough mix. I, I've never heard of that band. <laughs> that's not a band. Annie Lennox, isn't it? Your rough mix. So uh, your Candice, rough mix. Candice Morris I, in, in London uh, got them. I really don't know what to say. So uh, sign picture off You're to right. her. Oh, well, I feel embarrassed that we that we're still doing okay, it. Okay, this okay. Yeah, well, we're, we're jacking it in a bit. Should we just yeah. not? Ek. Okay now. Do you know the uh, the songs that you sing at Christmas? That bloke who sings them is is brilliant at it, right? C K. Second one. M G. I told the homosexual man that oh. the grape tree was mine. What? I told the homosexual man that the grape tree was mine. And what's the initials? M G. Right. Okay. Bit of an easy one. And uh, I asked you. If you believe in Father Christmas, right? What would you say if I asked you? The initial is S. Is that specifically Ricky? Um, we might as well keep it as as Ricky. Yeah. I asked you if if you believe in Father Christmas, what would you say? So that, have they got? Is there any prior knowledge? Do they have to guess what I'd say? Well, they'd know. It's obvious what you'd say about it. Oh, this uh, is so bad. So it's, in, it's an embarrassment. Blockbusters, the um, one of the most hated quizzes. In the history of mankind. Joking, aren't you? The people loathe it. Uh, I'm loving it. Well, it's the last one anyway, so just get over, just do yeah. the answers. Hold on, we can't do another one though, because we can't give the answers out, so this is just... Yeah, this is the last one, it's just the answers for last week for people who are doing it. Okay, right. well, small mercies. Um, the first one that I gave you last week was, the initials were CK, right? Yeah. Uh, the clue was, uh, do you know the songs that you sing at Christmas? Yeah. That bloke over there is the best at singing them. So what's what what the songs you do? Carol King. Carol King, right. yeah. Well that works. Done, yeah. That works. Fair right. well done. Uh the second one, M G. I told the homosexual man that the grape tree was mine. Right? M G. Gay. Yeah. Marvin Gay, obviously. Marvin, but, yeah. but how do you get I to Marvin? What's it? That's my my vine, isn't it? That 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 I told my, you. My vine gay? Yeah. My vine. Yeah. And the last one 
<laughs> my Vine Guy. That's shocking. It's, it's, the, well, the last one, it was- Shit. The last one, the initial was S. Um, I said, uh, I asked you oh. if you believe in Father Christmas, what would you say? What's, what's the name for Father Christmas? Santa Claus. Right, so if, if I said to you, do you believe in Father Christmas, you'd sort of go- No. Yeah, but- yeah, but what, what's his name again? Santa. Right, so what would you do? You'd go, oh, Santa. No, I, I don't- I That's don't. it, that's what you do there. You go, Santa, nah. Santa, nah. Santana. So that was, that was the last one. Well done to <laughs> Bob in Yorkshire. Got all three of them right. You'll get a little <laughs> signed picture. What's a rock buster? It's like uh, a music quiz. I give you some cryptic clues. Mm. Um, yeah, they're not cryptic. As to an artist's name, and I give you some initials of that artist. All to, just, to have you seen Blockbusters? It's that, but you changed the name. Okay. Got it. Right. <laughs> no, 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 Here we go. Got it. Okay, right. I'm ready for the, okay, go for it. the first one. Give us three. That's a laptop, and the initial is A. That's quite a good one, actually. That one works. I'm disappointed. Oh, I She's looking no. at your answers. Oh, yeah. oh, You've do. got the first right. letter. Okay. I, I've, I've got Did the first letter. Did you get a point for that? I think, I think I, you've, I you've had enough you time on that one. Know. Second question. <laughs> Look how round that head is. <laughs> the Spanish person is celebrating about the present he got for Jesus. The initials there, O M. This the is Spanish good. people. This is you've got better at these. Have you got it? Yeah. I haven't if got it. Think about it. They're cryptic. The answers, Just think though. about what I'm saying. Listen yeah. to the question. Yeah, no, I am. Yeah. The Spanish people are yeah, celebrating. Right. What do Spanish people do when they celebrate? What do they say? Well, and they've got good. a gift for Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Question <laughs> three. Right. Uh, <laughs> you can actually see the brain <laughs> kick in. You know, like when you pull a, a, a thing on a boat. Yeah, yeah. He does that. He has to go <laughs> right, and then he has to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The. Asian person's leg <laughs> is a little bit angry. <laughs> TT is the initials. My God, I've got it. No. All three, I've got none of them. Well, this is really worrying. The answer Adele. Adele. Oh, ah, my. okay. Yeah. The Spanish people yeah. celebrate. Present they got for Jesus. Ole Mer, Ole yeah. Mers. Correct. Yes. I, I, I copied Georgie, yes, so I'm not giving myself is. one, but I got the last, last one. one. The last one, the Asian woman's leg is a bit angry. Yeah. TT. Tiny temper. Tiny, Tiny yeah. temper. Very good. Uh, well done. Yeah. Um, guys, listen, well done to everybody that was involved <laughs> in that incredible experience. <laughs> um, it's been brilliant having you here.